balls.
Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Are y'all on FaceTime? <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, welcome in, friends. How are we doing? Hello. I have a little, a little baby face on today. Little baby face Des. Today, we are doing makeup on stream. We're having a little makeup session. Spit it out. Spit it out. Oh, hello. Welcome in, friends. Hi, Laws. Hi, Yo-Yo. Hi, Pajomo. Hey, Splod Panther. Welcome in. Hi, DJ. Good to see you. Hi, Jack. Hi, Wiggins. Hello, hello, friends. Honestly, I'm vibing such a chill start to this stream. 14-year-old Dez. I actually look like a baby. How do I look like such a baby? This is wild. <laughs> so today... Uh, at the request of chat, I'm actually very excited for this because I always envisioned myself like doing makeup at the start of the stream and then transitioning into playing games, but I never thought anybody would give a shit about me doing my makeup. So this actually is uh, very exciting for me. I thought your shirt said Josiah Tree and I thought it was a religious thing. My brain cycle went so many places. Yeah, it says Joshua Tree. This is an old shirt. You can tell by how wrinkly it is. Um, I had it in my drawer way back in the drawer. Also, I've been using this lotion that gives you a tan and bitch, you can't tell me I am not a golden goddess. Like, I'm sorry. Have I been in the sun? Have I been on the beach? Shit. Hi, Memphis. Welcome in. Is Joshua Tree not a religious thing too? Is it? I thought it was just a place. Isn't it a national park? Chill start. Exactly. It's a park. It is. Joshua Tree is like a national park. You're a just chatting streamer. Accepting is the first step to getting better. What? You want me to be a just chatting streamer? I think eventually that's where we're going to end up. Should have worn overalls and a bucket hat. Kid looking ass. <laughs> fake tan. It is. It's a fake tan. I have no sunshine here. I got to make do. Okay. Plus, um, I am 10 times more likely to get skin cancer. So I need to be careful. So I got to use fake tan. And you know what? Maybe this will give me cancer too. So you, you win some, you lose some. Her shirt's old is synonymous with com comfortable. Exactly. Old is comfortable. And it's all wrinkly, but it's fine. Hi, Ace. Welcome in. How are you? I actually know someone who's been to Joshua Tree, but I have not been. I actually am a faker. A faker and a liar is what I am. I got this at Forever 21 when I used to work there and I got it for like $6. And I was like, that's pretty cute. You win some, you lose some. It wasn't established until 1994. I stopped learning by 1992. Exactly. So it's just, it's past, it's past that point. It's like Pluto. It's not a place. Beer and baby oil. Oh my God. Can we have Darian Con at the beach? Can we meet up at the beach? We take the cancer where we can get it. A Joshua Tree has... Oh, I love this cover. Oh my God, Doja, do more rock. Do more rock music, Doja. Be our pop rock princess. Did you lose your Australian suntan? The one that I very intentionally got. Yeah, it's starting to kind of fade. It's starting to fade a little bit, but I still on my back because I was wearing this um, bathing suit top that had like crisscross on the back so I can still see an X on my back. <laughs> That's how I tell how much the... Um, the tan has stayed. Wrinkles add character, exactly. A Joshua Tree has a religious significance in the sense that it survives amidst the harshest circumstances. Take that for what it is. Oh, I kind of love that. There was only one cactus and about a thousand Airbnbs in Joshua Tree now. Oh my God. I imagine so many Airbnbs. Airbnbs have taken over the world. Hi, Emmy. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been actually working on my skincare routine. I figured... I figured I should probably talk about skincare before I start to talk about makeup because uh, skincare is an important part of makeup. You might not think it is, but it is. I promise. A con at the beach. Converse conventions are sweaty enough as it is. Darian, please no. But sunshine, but sunshine and laying on the beach and drinking a uh, cracking open a cold one with the boys. Oh, hello, Cinnery. Oh, I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like I look very baby right now. Darian is 57. True. Dylan, welcome in. How you doing, my friend? I love the skincare talk. Well, fantastic. Let's, let's get into it. So what do I have on my skin right now? I use, I should have brought it in. Damn it. Um, I use the Ordinary brand, which is very affordable. 
It's called Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus Hyaluronic Acid. And Ooh. oh my God. And some people say you don't need to use a primer with your makeup if, if you, <laughs> hi Dom, how are you? If you have enough of a moisturizer on your skin, some people say you don't need a primer. However, I feel like my skin looks like shit if I don't wear a primer. Um, but some people use them interchangeably. Sometimes if you use uh, a good moisturizer, you can use that as a base for your makeup. Essentially what you want is something on top of your skin that's going to give your makeup something something to cling on to. That can be a moisturizer, or that can be a primer, or it can be both. If you're me, I love wearing like multiple layers because <laughs> my skin is dry. Baby oil. Oh, hi, Tangent. Hi, Dingus. What epicness is going on? Like flour, exactly. You put a little flour on your face as a base and then you start to put the makeup on. I bathe in the blood of my enemies to stay young. Exactly. I'm ready to go. My makeup clings to my face for dear life. <laughs> so I already have a uh, moisturizer on right now, but I am going to put primer on uh, because I feel like my skin looks bad without it. So I use this primer. I've used this primer since I was, uh, I don't know, 20. It's the hang Too Faced Hangover uh, Replenishing Face Primer. This is a moisturizing primer. There's multiple types of primer. So this is a moisturizing primer. You also have primers that um, are like sticky primers. Like if you're wearing a, a lot of foundation. I feel like I'm actually trying to do like a makeup <laughs> stream and Chad is just like, I'm going to just <laughs> be like the biggest troll. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I will be unable to use a mirror tonight. You know, vampires and stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, Jedi Survivor next week. Loud noises. Baby oil helps me get my fake tats off. Why are you putting on fake tats? I like the way people look without makeup person for this evening. Oh, I wanted to say something before we got started. I know there's going to be at least one person who comes in here and says, I don't know anything about makeup. I don't know anything that's going on right now. You know what? Take some notes. Very denotes. Very denoted. Take some notes, learn something, you know, soak up some information, add a little something to your life. Oh my God, Laws is going to stream the new Star Wars game. So I'm going to put this primer all over my face. I don't, I don't put a lot on my forehead because my forehead is oily as shit. Also, I don't have a mirror, so I'm just, I'm just using my camera to do this. So this is going to be fun. Why did I not bring my, my, my mirror in? No idea. So yes, the plan for today, we're doing a little get ready with me. I'm going to do my makeup on stream and I'm going to talk y'all through it. If you have any makeup questions or skincare questions, I'm here for you. I am willing to be educated. All right, take some notes. Do you think you can make me look pretty with this witchcraft? I absolutely could. 100%. My father worked for Maybelline. Oh, hell yeah. Consider us soaked. I take that back. Is it Optimus Primer? Oh, that was so quiet. There it is. Lazzy's Jedi streams. Let's go. How do I get acne off my ass? I have a genuine answer for you. You might not want a genuine answer, but I have one. Darian, please dingus. What did I do? What did I do? Um, I have a genuine answer for you. There is a glycolic toner from The Ordinary, and it's very cheap and it's very affordable. Get that, put a little bit on a cotton round and use that on your ass. I'm not even kidding. Hi, Piggy. The Ordinary. It's a fantastic brand. It's affordable. It's like pure ingredients. Shit works. I've asked Darian to do my makeup before, but then wimped out. I'll do it. Hi, Nal. How are you? Why is it called makeup? Good question. Because it makes you up? Because I'm feeling made up, darling. So cheap, so good. Sorry for yelling. You just got excited, and I love that. <laughs> Pajama's like, I wasn't asking for a real answer. My skin has no blemishes. I am Vin Diesel. I knew it. Vin Diesel does not have a single blemish. It will transform her. Okay. <clears throat> I'll do it, Laws. I would love to do your makeup. Although I will say doing other people's makeup is a lot different than doing your own makeup. And I think something important to know about makeup in general is that it's, it's about working to your strengths, right? It's not about completely changing the way that you look. It's about accentuating parts, parts of your face, right? It's all about... It's all about the illusion of it all, right? It's about working to like the, the, the shadows of your face and bringing out the parts that you like, like highlighting your eyes or your nose or your cheekbones, finding the parts of your face that you like and highlighting them. That's what it's all about, baby. It's what it's all about. Okay, 
face is primed. My skin is feeling a little, it's feeling moisturized. It's feeling good. Sub goal to do my makeup on stream. Let's do it. Let's do it, Laws. How do I not have a fucking mirror, dude? I'm sorry, that was very aggressive. Also, y'all are gonna have to tell me what to do with my makeup. I have this mirror. I'm gonna use it as a mirror. <sighs> Accentuate a tiny little piece of your cheek that you like that could be your favorite part. This stream is not sponsored by The Ordinary. I wish, oh my God, The Ordinary, hit me up. Write that down, write that down. Do you get your makeup from Tilly's? What is happening? Okay, next. Some people will do, um, some people will do foundation first and then concealer. I do concealer first and then foundation. I think it's all up to personal preference what you like to do first. But the concealer I use is the um, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I used to use the Maybelline, uh, the one with like the puff on the top. That one is very good and it's very affordable. I just really like the coverage of this one. And I only put it underneath my under eyes. I do one, one dot there, one dot there. That's all I do. If I have like a big old pimple somewhere, I'll definitely plop that bad boy on. I'm a horrible ogre. I started my new job today. Everyone seemed scatterbrained, but they were busy. And the security guard gave me a business card with his YouTube channel after giving me a tour. What is his YouTube channel? Can we support it? Teardrop tats gotta highlight the people I murdered. <laughs> I love the song. Can we do polls? What are the options? You know, that's a great, that's a great suggestion. Do you guys want to decide what eyeshadow color we're doing? Hi, Wakupe, welcome in. Chat guided makeup, what could go wrong? Stop making me look at my intrusive thought comments on pins. How do I get acne off my ass? Okay, I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Whenever Duck sees this, he's like, why are, why, that's a butt plug. It's a beauty blender, it's a sponge. So it's a makeup sponge. The reason why you wanna use a makeup sponge sometimes is if you don't wanna to have too much excess product on your skin. This will wick away all the extra pr uh, product um, so you're not just like caking it on your face. Some people prefer to use brushes. I really like to use my beauty blender uh, because I don't like to clean my brushes and this is very easy to clean. I clean it every day. Do black and blue. Oh my God. That would get lost. My curly green wig and red nose. Oh my God. What vibe do you want to go for? Do we start with each thing and then let it evolve? I know. <gasps> no one is around you. Hello, Krista. Welcome in. A booty blender? A booty blender. Eating sushi. What kind of sushi did we get? Okay. You got to be careful with concealer besties. You got to be very careful with concealer because it can get too much real quick. That's why I only put a little dot on. But look at that, look how much it's brightened up underneath my eye already. It's about, you know, little changes that make big differences. Hi, dog hair. It's all about working with the illusion, right? It's like art. Yo, Charlie, what's up? I had a girl send me a pic of a beauty blender once and asked me what it was for a Twitter trend. Well, what did you say? Hi, Angie, how are you? So there must be so many stuck inside people because they're squishy, right? Like shaving off every hair on your body, little changes that make a big difference, exactly. Very college guy interviewing people in public with a phone TikTok kind of stuff and it docks me. Oh no, that is the worst. That is the worst dingus. I said anal toy, butt plug. Yeah, well, well, there you go. And now we're looking a little crazy because we have this redness around my nose. That's, it's looking a little crazy right now but we'll get there. Don't mind me streamer, I know, right? Doing this with you, I'll post my results in the cord when we're done. All right, sounds perfect, Pajomo. How are you? I'm doing great, Angie, I'm doing great. I am very excited. It's a butt plug for people with a marshmallow fetish. What? What? A mar, what? <laughs> I'm excited to be doing my makeup. I liked uh, doing my makeup um, and doing it on stream is very fun, living the dream. Happy, fun, creative place. Exactly, exactly. I'm like in my creative zone. We love a crunch Seattle roll, cream cheese, crab, and avocado. Yes, it's like an elevated California roll. I love that. So I for now I'm gonna do foundation. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I think I just like go into autopilot. <laughs> I use a cheap foundation. 
I have had um, a pain. I have had a pain in my ass for too many years. It has been a pain in my ass trying to get a foundation that I like. I still don't love this foundation, but it's cheap and it works. And it's L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Refresh Wear. It has sunscreen in it. I didn't know that. And it's in shade 412, which is probably a little too dark for me, but it's hard to match your face skin and your neck skin because those are two different colors. So I put like a pump and a half, just pop that bad boy right on the beauty blender. You probably, your mileage may vary, but generally applying foundation with a, with a brush tends to work better. But once again, I'm a lazy bitch. So I'm gonna distribute the foundation over, all over my face and then just kind of work it in. Am I late? Hi, Game Hunter, you're perfectly on time. Am I late once again? You just taken a before pic where you look like Christopher Walken. Oh my God. Stank face to dance to this song, exactly. Hi, Ariston. I woke up seeing a flurry of snow on the outside. No way, you saw snow today, that's lit. Foundation is the hardest thing to find. I tried all of the expensive foundations. Not a single one did I like. It's really hard to find one that works that doesn't like look weird on my skin. And also to find one that matches my skin tone. I feel like I don't have that weird of a skin tone, but a lot of times it's either like too yellow or too orange for my skin tone. I have a very pink face. I don't think I'm like really, really white. I think I'm pink. I think that's my skin tone. So I'm just putting this all over my face. Could probably use some of this shit for my dark circles, but then would I scare off people in public? Just a little bit, you know, a little bit goes a long way. And now compared to this, we're looking a little, we're looking a little nutty, but it's fine. We'll get there. No. Okay. So that's actually a great question, Angie. I have learned you need to not use condi conditioner, concealer and foundation on the same skin. Cause that's when it can start to look cakey. So I don't put foundation where I've put concealer. And that's why I do the concealer first. So I can kind of avoid those areas with the foundation. Oh, Am I supposed to have lipstick on already? Yeah, already have the lipstick on all over your face. Same, I have learned so much from TikTok. I've learned so much about makeup from TikTok. If I can recommend any TikTok account for makeup tips, it is Neo It Girl, at N-E-O-I-T Girl. She is a former makeup artist who is now a model and she is so good. She is so good with makeup. She tells you why to do certain things. She is so thorough and so kind. And my God, I've learned so much, even just following her for like a couple months. At Neo It Girl on TikTok, go follow her if you want uh, makeup tips and skincare tips, all that fun stuff. Maybe she'll spend an entire evening streaming about it. Exactly. So as you can see, we're a little bit pale at the moment. not on the same skin. So like, you know how I put, uh, I keep wanting to say conditioner. Uh, I put concealer right here underneath my eyes. So I'm not putting foundation on that skin. I only put foundation where I haven't put concealer because if you're layering them, that's a lot of product on your skin. Even if it is primed, even if it, if it is exfoliated, it's just gonna look like too much product in one place. So it's better to just kind of keep them separate. We thought about using skin tint better than foundation, in my opinion. I've been using it for five months and it feels like a part of my skin and it's not cakey. Emmy, do you have suggestions? I would love to hear a suggestion. Skin tint usually for me, I've used BB creams and CC creams in the past and they just didn't have enough coverage for like the redness that I have around my nose. Um, but I would love a suggestion for a skin tint. So let's go. Next step, normally I would set this. What I used to do, my old routine, I would set this with my setting powder at this point, but I'm not gonna do that. First, I'm gonna go in with uh, my bronzer. <gasps> now bronzer, okay, here's the whole thing that I learned recently. There's a difference between contour and bronzer. Girls, settle in, settle in, settle around, crisscross applesauce, listen up. Contour versus bronzer. Contour is cool toned. And contour is to mimic shadow on your face. Bronzer is warm toned. Bronzer is supposed to warm up the complexion of your face. You can use both of them to accomplish two different goals, right? 
And some people have said if you are too pale that you don't really need bronzer, right? You're somebody that is that is so fair toned. You don't really have that warmth in your skin tone at all. But right now I do have a bit of fake tan on. So we might need a little bit of that. A little bit. Hi, hot ass grits. You saw Janet live last week. She is the queen. Oh, hello, squaggable. I can't put powder anywhere near my face. My skin just screams. Exactly. I have to be so careful with where I put my powder on my face because it gets it gets so cakey so quickly because I have dry skin. The secrets revealed. Hi, Slovox. How are you? I'm here with all my makeup laid out. No idea what to use. Oh, I got you, Squaggable. Don't you worry. Want to be orange like Trump? Get yourself some bronzer. That'll accomplish it, baby. So I'm going to be using this brush. I have all my brushes are from Morphe. Um, 10 out of 10 best brushes. I love Morphe brushes. So I have this palette that I have used to death. This was a gift from Kimmy. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit. They have two bronzers and two highlights. So this is a cool toned bronzer and a warm toned bronzer. Cool toned highlight, warm toned highlight. You can mix two, especially if you have a neutral skin tone. So you, there's people who have cool toned skin and warm toned skin and people who have neutral toned skin. I'm more like neutral somewhere in the middle, a little bit cool toned. I'm in professor mode, yes. Uh, I use It Cosmetics, but I would not recommend their CC cream. The CC cream in Medium Dewy is fabulous. Emmy, I will check that out. Thank you for the suggestion. I, <laughs> and I use the bottom right one. Can you tell? <laughs> I love this highlight. It's in Moonstone. It's my favorite. I love it so much. As you can see, I've used it to death. Um, so I'm going to use this cool toned bronzer. I've actually been using a bit of warm tone bronzer, but I did this yesterday and I really liked how it looked. So I'm going to use this like blush brush from Morphe. I think it's uh, E48. It's just kind of like a tapered, uh, it's dense. So you can really decide where you put the product. You want to be careful. I feel like with bronzer, people get these big fat brushes and they just start going ham. And then you're getting bronzer all the way down your face and that you're not achieving the look that you're going for. You know what I mean? You're just, your whole face is covered in bronzer. And the goal of bronzer is to give you that illusion of a cheekbone. That's what you're trying to go for here. So I start at the top of my cheekbone and I just want to keep it right here. That was way too much. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We can blend it out, besties. We can blend it out. <laughs> it's way too much. Just start blending. Just start blending. <laughs> Me making a smoothie. That was way too much. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So we're looking very warm. To we're looking very warm. So what's, gr what's great about contour is that you can make your forehead look smaller. And you know, I have a big ass forehead. So what's great about this is you can put, put contour. You can put your bronzer slash contour around the edges of your forehead and it will give the illusion of your forehead being smaller. <gasps> I don't even like to use powder shadow. I spray my brush with my setting spray and turn it into a cream. Oh, yo, Angie, that's awesome. Yeah, I feel like cream products have really been thriving recently. Like Selena Gomez's uh, skincare, not skincare, her makeup line has been doing really, really well. And it's a lot of creams and a lot of liquids, not a lot of powders, which I like. I was part of the YouTube makeup guru years and years ago. 10 years later, I still follow those makeup girls from back in the day. Exactly. Oh my God. I learned so much from YouTube tutorials when I was younger. I put way too much on, but it's fine. We're blending and mending. See, yeah, that's more so what you want to start with. So I'm going to put it where my beneath my cheekbone. And then I'm just going to like pull it up. So you put it underneath the cheekbone, on the temple, and around your forehead. And this creates, creates this illusion of higher cheekbones and a smaller forehead. And just kind of, girl, what happened? What happened? What did you do, girl? Come on. <laughs> this is what happens when she doesn't use a mirror. Uh character creation. We're blending and mending, but also blending the Magnetos. <laughs> I'm lost and I'm not sure what to comment anymore. Padgy, tell me about your day. 
You're off the perks. What are you drinking tonight? I am so thankful to YouTube tutorials when I was learning how to do makeup because, girl, I would have had no idea what I was doing. Great tip for me is I have a huge forehead. Girl, same. Girl, uh, us big forehead girlies got to stick together. Okay, so I'm moving it all the way around like the top of my forehead. Now that is giving the illusion of a smaller forehead. Hopefully, that's the goal. It scares me. Yeah, it's overwhelming. It's so much and it's so expensive as well. I truly, my favorite thing is finding like drugstore brands that are really good. Like going onto YouTube or TikTok and looking like drugstore makeup, you can get a full face of makeup at the drugstore and it's good quality makeup. You know, you can just like kind of practice. What's your opinion on foundation lips? Foundation lips. Is that when you put foundation over your lips and like draw them on? I am so inexperienced when it comes to lip products. We had zero make uh, YouTube tutorials when I was growing up learning about makeup in the 90s. We just had to figure this shit out on our own. And that's what led us to the blue eyeshadow era, right? So you really want to go less is more with the, with the bronzer. And I have not done that today. But do as I say, not as I do. Some people also do bronzer down here to kind of give them a chiseled jawline. But that always ends up looking weird on me. So I'm not going to do that. The girls will circle around to hear about cosmetics, but when I talk like this about nerd shit, I'm treated like a freak, SMH. Tell us your nerd shit. Tell us your nerd shit. We want to hear it. All pink blush and blue eyeshadow. That really was the era. When I show women illusions at the club, I'm a fucking magician loser. Make it make sense, society. Make it make sense. And girls these days have a TikTok and YouTube and their makeup looks flawless. And I'm like, girl, you don't realize how blessed you are. Yeah, do you want to add music? For sure. Absolutely. Would love to hear your jams. Some waterfalls. Baby leave whoever hit you. Oh my God, Viz. Don't worry, we can fix it. I'll show you how we can fix it. It's actually the next step. So now that we've contoured, next step, I'm going to set this. I'm going to set my under eye concealer. Oh, also we need a bit of nose contour. I've been doing nose contour lately. Shakira, Shakira. So I use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This is the best translucent primer I've ever used in my life, period. Uh, I'm going to take a bit and I'm just going to set my under eyes. If I don't do this, my concealer will crease and it won't look good. This is great if you have oily skin. However, I will make the clarification that... Uh, if your skin is very oily and you use an excess of this powder on top of it, your skin's going to produce more oil to combat the dryness of the powder. So you got to be careful. Can you not feel the product on your face? I mean, I can, but it's not really, I'm used to it, I think. I think I'm used to it. Like, I remember the first time that I wore foundation and I was like, oh, this is weird, but I just, I'm used to it now. Pink blush and blue eyeshadow sounds fun. It is fun. So yeah, I'm just going to put a bunch of setting powder underneath my eyes. Should I zoom in? Can't really see anything with this camera. That's what we're working with here. This is our face now. Can you still hear the music? I don't know if that's on this scene. I don't think it is. Uh, secondly, a good way... If you've gone too far down on your bronzer, say that you've extended too far down onto your cheek, like I have here, I'm gonna take some of this powder and I'm just gonna cut down. Now that's a drag tip right there. That's from my girl, Trixie Mattel. Shout out to Trixie Mattel, the queen. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And you can just create this line that maybe you messed up, but you can go over it with your powder and you can fix any mistakes that you made. Darian supports tax evasion. What did I say? Oh, Shakira. <laughs> we have the same one. Yes, Laws and I have the same setting powder. This is a great setting powder. Both Australians and Americans wear it. What's your pain on injecting bee venom into your lips? And just curious, can you drive me to the hospital? These statements may or may not be related. No, not bee venom. 
Oh, Two Door Cinema Club. I love Two Door Cinema Club. I want to see them in concert. No music on that scene? That's very funny. The Biden administration is molding. We're working with it. Now, normally I would take my fluffy brush, this one. This is a great brush if you want to put like all over powder on your face. You get a little bit of powder and just kind of put it all over your face. However, my skin has been extra dry today. So, or has been extra dry lately. So I don't want to add extra powder because it's just gonna, it's gonna look bad. So I'm not gonna do that. Benham. Why are you gay? Emmy, thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you, Emmy. I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. Uh, let me add, oh my God. Girl, this playlist, this playlist is everything I needed. A streamer owes almost $800,000 in taxes. I'm gonna vomit. That's terrible. Here, I'll add that two-door cinema club to the to the, the queue. Cin I don't know how to spell cinema. Cinema club. What's it called? Mm. Undercover Martin. I will add it to the queue, my friend. $800,000, I would literally cry. Okay, next step, besties, next step. I'm gonna go in with my blush. I'm gonna go blush time. I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using for bronzer because it's a very controlled brush and I can decide where the product goes. And even if I frick it up, it's fine. I use this, another hourglass product, are we surprised? And it's disgusting to look at. It's an hourglass blush and it's so dirty. It's called Diffused Heat. This is my favorite blush, it's gorgeous. It gives like a beautiful, like sun-kissed, sunburnt kind of look and I love it. The skin around my eyes feels a little drier but I usually forget it less than an hour after I put it on and end up wiping my eyes. Oh my God, same, same. If I don't wear makeup for a few days and then I wear makeup, I just immediately wipe it all off. Now, there's a few different ways that you can apply blush. A few different ways. So the way that I like to do blush, that I've been doing blush recently is I've been mainly putting the blush up on my cheekbones here to keep this area bright because it's the center of my face and we're highlighting the center of my face and kind of using the shadows to our advantage, right? Um, so I've been putting blush mostly on my higher cheekbones and on the center of my nose. I just flipped you off. You didn't even notice. Get dunked on. Um, but then some people like to do a fun little like sunburn kind of front of their face blush. That's very cute where they'll kind of bring it across their nose. Doesn't look great on me personally. Does not look great on my face. But some faces it looks great on. It's all about trying things and figuring out what looks good on your face. So I like to keep it up here. Hi, Ben. Welcome in. Hi, Revan. Hello, hello. I once wrote a short story based on that song. A short story. Oh, my God. I love you. I do not give a damn about any of this, but I'm smiling at how enthusiastic you are about it all. I love makeup. Makeup was like my first love. I would play with my mom's makeup so much. So I like to kind of blend it in and just give myself a little bit of peachiness on the tops of my cheekbones. Been to a two-door cinema club concert once like nine years ago. Got beat up by a big girl who wouldn't stop elbowing me. Oh my God. Oh, dog hair. That's terrible. It was some mix up with their accountant. That's a pretty big mix up. God damn. War paint. Exactly. Hey, Slappy. How are you? $800,000 is how much MC Hammer owed the IRS a few years back. A streamer making the same amount of money as MC Hammer. Amazing. Pepperidge Farms noticed. Um, and I, I'm i a blush loving girly. We're gonna layer it on. When do you start putting on clown makeup? <laughs> oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Ooh, Laura Palmer by Bastille, another banger. Adding to the queue. Oh, hello, Chews. My tummy is great. My tummy's doing swell. How are you doing, Chews? It's great to see ya. One time at an Oliver Tree show, I kept getting hit in the crotch by a woman who was making out with two dudes, one in front of me and one behind me. She is living the life. She is living the life. The ship has sailed. 
Um, I also do a little bit of blush up here just to kind of match it to the tone of my cheeks. And that was also taught to me by Trixie Mattel. Just gonna, all oh, this hair is giving me issue. Just a little bit of blush just to kind of even out the complexion. If you do another get ready with me, just slowly start doing clown makeup without it saying anything. All of a sudden we have clown makeup. <laughs> oh my God. I know I fucking, I love this song. I love Tudor Cinema Club. This album is everything. I have a, um, oh man, you know what Tudor Cinema Club song I love? Changing of the Seasons. So good. The entire Tourist History album and Beacon, I want them on vinyl. I might have Beacon on vinyl. I don't remember if I do or not. Game Show is also very good. Goddamn, I love this band. This album goes hard. I really was not a fan of her. She was living the life, dude. Are you playing any video games tonight? We will be slappy. After I finish with my makeup, we're going to be doing some community games. So we'll probably be doing like some Gardic on stream where I draw pictures and y'all try to guess what I'm drawing. Might do some Jackbox. Might do some Chat Guesser, which is Geo Guesser that you guys can play with me. Um, might do some Pokemon Stadium if anybody else has the expansion pack for Nintendo Online. I would love to do some Pokemon Stadium mini games. Um, what else? What else? What else? There's lots for us to do. I got lots of games. Darian the Clown. Hi, Wookie. Sports and track stuff. Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to do the, um, the 300 meter sprint next after this. My car actually still has a physical CD. This CD dog hair. I fucking love that. Do Smash Bros. Oh, Smash would be lit. I have Smash Bros. Rough day at work, but I took the night off. Hopefully I get left alone and don't need to go back in. Yes, choose. Fingers crossed for a relaxing night for you, my friend. The Ocean, Tegan and Sarah. Mmm. It's added to the queue. Yeah, so GeoGuessr, but there's a version where chat can also guess and we can compete. My grandparents used to l live in Joshua Tree. Oh, I love that. I got to practice music tonight for a show next month, but I'll definitely lurk off and on and join when I can. Sounds good, Slow Fox. Sounds good, my friend. I appreciate it. Mario Party and Mario Kart. It's been a minute since we've done Mario Kart. How many people can play Smash Bros at once? I think it's like eight or something. Sounds like a Brazzers movie. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love the song. Next is eyebrows. More recently, I've been chilling with my eyebrows. Really not doing much because your girl has thick ass brows. Also, I'm going to add the music to this scene. You're just gonna have to deal with the no music for a second. Hold on. Um, add output capture, input capture, output. Uh, Spotify music, there it is. Now, can you hear it? Gandalf, hello, welcome back. How are you? Is that Gandalf is with a new username? Fabulous. Eight million. Okay, so now we're gonna do eyebrows. I have naturally thick eyebrows, so I tend to go very light on them because if I fill them in too much, it looks a bit scary. So I use this brush that has, that's like an angled brush and the other end has a spoolie on it. And I use the Anastasia Brow Powder. I use a powder because the pomade is too much. And I take a little bit from both. Hold on, I need to brush them out actually. I brush them up and out. That's it. So I'm just gonna basically try to get the bottom of the brow, if that makes sense. Go straight across and then I brush it up. Please connect the brows in the middle. You want me to do, you want me to give Frida Kahlo? And I would. Hi, Gargle, how are you? It's been a while, Gandalf, how have you been? So good to see you, I hope you're well. Yes, Reaper, we're doing, we're doing a makeup stream at the moment. Any questions about makeup or, oh, Weeb, hello, Weeb. 
What makeup did I miss? You missed me putting on way too much bronzer. <laughs> How are you, Weave? Welcome in. Um, and I'm just going to do the same to the other side. Basically, just put a, a straight line at the bottom and then I brush up to give it a more natural look. I feel like the powder is a lot more natural than using like a pencil or a pomade, but everybody's brows are different, you know? You just gotta, you gotta figure out what you like. I also overplucked this eyebrow, so I have like a, it's all uneven now, but it's fine. So, say you're late for work. Do y'all still run this routine? No. Well, yes and no. Yes in that I still will do my makeup but I'll do like a quick version. I'll do a hastened makeup. So I won't stop to explain. Although some days I do. Some days I pretend like I'm explaining my makeup routine just for the shits and giggles. And I try to avoid putting powder on the outer edges cause I don't think it needs it. I think it's chilling. I think we're good with that. I think that's good. And remember besties. The eyebrows, they're cousins, not sisters. They're cousins. They look similar, but not identical. And that's fine. All right, there we go. <clears throat> the butt of the brow, exactly. Banger music as usual. Gandalf, you know it. We always got the bangers in here. Had to take time off Twitch to get used to my job. Ooh, how's your job going, Gandalf? How's it all going? Flowers by Bastille featuring Rationale and James Arthur. Ooh, love these suggestions, y'all. I think I missed a message. Hold on. Um, I think I missed a message. Hold on. My son's name is Tegan and his cousin that he grew up with is Sarah. So Tegan and Sarah always makes me giggle. Yes, I love that. Tegan's such a good name. I have a video of me waiting to go to breakfast while she did makeup. Exactly. Some days you just got to make it happen. If Darian's late for work, she just paints her face white and puts on a red nose and she's good to go. Precisely. Um, do you guys want me to do nose contour? Yes or no? I don't have to do it, but I could do it. Make them Siamese twins, please. What does that even mean? My left eyebrow by the nose is slightly longer, I think. Is annoying when trimming. Yeah, exactly. My eyebrows are different shapes, dude. I'm like, what are you doing? Good days by SZA. You got it. Do you usually do nose contour? Some days. Some days I do. Some days I don't. Make your nose disappear. Disappear. Hi, light hiker. Welcome in. Apparently my 30 minute shower is too long. It is. Hi, Rach, how are you? Welcome in. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna show y'all how I do my nose contour. It's not great. I'm not great at it. This is, um, I've just started doing it. Also, now that I'm looking at it straight on, I can actually see where I should contour because my nose is kind of crooked. Y'all see that? That's wild. My face is crooked. Okay, I need to stop looking at myself. Okay, so I'm going to take the same contour that I used for my face and I am going to try to contour my nose. Didn't notice until now. I know, same. That's wild. I had a friend in high school and every time she saw me, she would say, Darian, your face is so symmetrical. And I didn't know how to respond to that. Why are you gay? Hi. 14 months. That's the pineapple anniversary. Right? It's the pineapple anniversary. Elmac, thank you for the 14 months, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. How are you doing on this lovely day? Nose contour. I will not profess to say that I am good at nose contour. What I will say, what I will say, um, you should go watch Neo It Girl's TikTok about nose contour because she is the queen of nose contour and she knows exactly how it works. I am still... <laughs> I am still a novice when it comes to nose contour, but I'm going to show you what I do. You're going to want a brush that's very, I don't know. I use this brush. It still has powder on it. <clears throat> I still don't see it. You got to do that TikTok thing where you put your face in the middle and flip the camera to see if your face is symmetrical. That's going to make me so self-conscious. So I'm going to take this. Dream oh my God. Hi, 
Watermelon. Hi, Zeppy. How y'all doing? Welcome on in. This is going to be hard to do. This is going to be yeah. difficult. Hello, Watermelon. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Oh, I like this song. Yeah. Made it out of the jungle yeah. of white girls in jean shorts and black tank tops. What? Where are you at, Wiggins? What concert are you at? Shoot, sorry. <laughs> hey, Chris. Welcome in. Hi, friends. Okay, this is gonna be kind of hard for me to do because I need to look into a mirror while I'm doing it. So the goal here, you do not wanna put contour out here because that's gonna make your nose look wider. Bye. What we wanna do is we want to have a very thin, Bye. a very thin area in the center that is the highlight of your nose. It's all about illusions, Bye. right? Back to the whole thing of it being about illusions. I think I just wiped Bye. off some of my makeup. I feel like a substitute teacher. Bye. I'll wait. Bye. <clears throat> so you want to put the contour like right here, right? You want to have like a thin highlight in the middle. <laughs> you sons of bitches. <laughs> Poyo, el pollo loco. So, rather than doing it out here. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Thank you. Rather than doing it out here, you want to kind of go more towards the center. Hamburger. And I'm definitely going to fuck this up. Hamburger. Okay, you see that? You don't want to go on the outside, you want to go on the center. Perfect. Nailed it. So this is the finished look. We're done. We did well today. Good job, team. <laughs> Hi, Hops. How are you? Good to see you. It's a line. Perfect. There. Wonderful. And then we also want to do a, a line at the bottom to give us a cute little, cute little button nose. And to figure this out way. where you put your yes. line, a good way to do it is to push your nose up and see where it folds. Okay, so mine's about here. Now, that's the look. Two line. Yeah, little pig nose. Little pig nose. Um, so now, we're going to blend this up. And it's starting to take shape is starting to take shape, okay? So we're trying to give the illusion of this little thin, beautiful nose. That's the illusion we're going for. That's, that's how I got catfished. <laughs> so, yes, this is what we're working with. Fantastic. Now, on top of this, a good way to blend this out is to take your beauty blender and you just kind of go on top of it. Reel them in, reel them in. The lookbook. Makeup be crazy. Oh, I love this song. Science and art combined. I don't use makeup, but I'm fascinated by it as a gay. It's great. I love makeup. So now we're gonna kind of just smudge it in until it looks more normal. We're getting more normal. It's starting to look more normal. A nose so thin air can possibly pass through it. That's what we're going for, Light Hiker. Sounds good, Gandalf, you take care. Would love to see you again soon, my friend. Thanks for popping in. On top of this, a good way to kind of add highlights. So just as much, as no con nose contour is about contour, it's also about the light in contrast to the contour. Now, I'm gonna take back out my setting powder because setting powder is a good way to add light to a certain area on your face. Just as we did for the under eyes. I'm going to take 
I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to take this brush. Just like a little fluffy one. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take some of this powder. This is so hard to do without a mirror, dude. It's so hard. That's not it. Where is it? Where is she? Here she is. I have my mirror. And I'm going to place this setting powder in the center of my lines. It got a little messy, but it's fine. This is going to brighten up in between the lines. <laughs> I kind of fucked it up, but it's fine. Now it's a party. An artist and a scholar. I try to be. I'm also going to put some on the tip of my nose. Oh, I also forgot. I also forgot. I also do do a bit of contour on the bottom edges of my, uh, the tip of my nose. Cute. Very cute. There we go. Um, and then I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit before I swipe it away. So it's going to kind of brighten up a little doo doo of contour, a little doo doo. If I should ever hug you, I should wear black to get Darian's face imprint. I will never wash that shirt again. <laughs> get an imprint of my face. No, actually, I have a step to avoid that. Stay tuned. Also, I'm doing this all out of order. I apologize. Um, I'm going to use this little clear mascara as eyebrow gel. This is from Maybelline Great Lash. This is a clear mascara. I use it as eyebrow gel because it's cheap and it works. It does the job. So I'm gonna get off the excess and I'm just gonna brush it through my brows. I'm just gonna brush up. Now you're saying, why are you using brow gel, Darian? Uh, it just makes them look more finished and polished. It's not necessary, but it just looks more polished. If you're going for like a, a full face beat, you know? And all just in a scholar I am. I need you to say hello and goodbye to more people. <laughs> That's just a quick little doobie that makes your eyebrows look way more polished. I'm gonna wipe away this excess powder with this big fat brush. Now it has that subtle look. It's not too intense. It's just like a subtle look. It's looking good. She was not born with it. She was not, baby. She just learned how to work to her benefit, you know, work to her strengths. Did somebody say doobie? B-E-A, fabulous. Hi, Chillin' Gamer. Where'd it go? It disappeared. All right, next step is the most fun, is eyeshadow. What eyeshadow do we want to do, chat? I have many eyes. Can I show you guys all my eyeshadow palettes? Stop. You guys don't care, but I'm going to show them all to you. Can, can we get... Oh, can we do a prediction? I would like to do a prediction. How many eyeshadow palettes do you think I have? Hi, Surveyor. Welcome in. The options, the options. Uh, how many options can you have in a, in, a, in a prediction? All of them, all of them. We're doing the glam today, Sparks. We're doing the glam. How are you? Pasta, 69, 56, 500, 7, 217. 7 plus. Yeah, let's say three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus. Ten is the most. Okay, then let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus. I'm too scared to do it. I'll do it wrong. Hi, Stefan. How are you? Welcome in. I just did that and then canceled it. No, you're perfect. Have you ever noticed that fanned out part of Billy? I uh, eyelash, I, eye... oh, uh, I think it's just the way that her eyebrows grow. Oh. I think it's entirely genetic how your eyebrows grow. Cause my touches, touches the, the beacon. beacon. Because if you look at mine, like, are you talking about something that looks like this? This is just genetic. This is just how my eyebrow grows. Really loves me. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing it, Laws? Everybody's like, is somebody else doing it? Is someone else doing it? We'll never know. We're doing the glam. It's a glam day, Sparks. How is your day going? 
for a date at McDonald's. It does seem like a lot of trouble. But I swear, once you get down to a routine, it really isn't that much trouble. Like, I'm able to do a pretty decent face of makeup in, like, 15 minutes, maybe max. I'm just kind of taking my time and talking you guys through it. Yes, it is Whitney. Are we just here to suffer? I'm sick again. I have time for three, three days and then bam. Oh, I hate when that happens. Your body's like, oh, I'm getting better. Nope. No, I'm not. Absolutely, Game Hunter. I'm sorry. I may have missed it. Go ahead and tell me again. Also, Good Days should have absolutely been on the playlist for yesterday. Getting closer and closer to leaving Opera GX. I saw some stuff about Opera that wasn't great. Tranquility. Base Hotel. And Casino by Arctic Monkeys. Is this from the new album? No, this is 2018. I actually haven't heard anything from this album. I still haven't listened to Miley Cyrus's new album. Who am I? What am I doing? I think I did it. All right. There's a prediction. How many eyeshadow palettes do I have? Get your votes in, my friends. Get your votes in. Sparks, I hope you feel better soon. Please feel better soon. Rest up. I hope Gnome's taking good care of you. Yeah, I heard some stuff going on with Opera GX. I'm not really sure, like, that people were upset with it or something. Doesn't look bad, kind of cool, just distracting. I'm staring at, yeah, exactly, exactly. No, I totally feel you. Sometimes it is distracting for sure. Well done, Laws. All right, get your points in, my friends. Halfway done. You could win big. How many eyeshadow palettes does she have? I left the top tier queer contest. You left it, Krista? Why is that? Ooh, this is jammy. See, I struggle with liking Arctic Monkeys songs that aren't on AM. That's like the only album from Arctic Monkeys that I like. I also like Fluorescent Adolescent, but that's pretty much it. Let's see, what are you guys voting? Most people have voted 10 plus. Wow. Five, six, eight, and nine. Ooh, I'm excited to show you guys my eyeshadow palettes. What if I have zero? What if I literally had zero? So many things wrong with it so far. I saw that they tweeted today that they were no longer going to require the charity stream, um, which I was happy about because, I don't know, it felt a little bit disingenuous. Like it's supposed to be a scholarship giving money to a streamer and then making them potentially lose out on money by doing a charity stream. going on a date mm, I wish I wish I'm getting ready to play some community games with chat could opera be getting data from user at a creepy level oh maybe hopefully not okay okay my excitement is real okay let's count shall we chat let's count one this is my morphe artistry palette one of my favorite palettes look at those colors Look at those colors, I'm obsessed. As you can tell, this is my favorite color of all time, hot pink, amazing. Secondly, this some of these are old, don't judge me. This is a, the Lorac Pro palette. My mom, my mommy got this for me for Christmas many years ago. As you can see, it's been used to death. This is a great palette, this is a very good palette. Lorac palette is very, very good neutrals. Three, this is Modern Renaissance from Anastasia. This one was huge. This palette was massive. Every single beauty guru was using Modern Renaissance. Uh, my best friend got this for me. It has some really pretty like gold tones and like some pinks and reds. Beautiful, beautiful golds. Love that. So that's three. Four, this is the Venus palette from Lime Crime. This is an old one. And I got it for these gorgeous reds. Gorgeous reds, stunning. Stunning. Also, look at this. Look at the outside. Obsessed. Gorgeous. That's four. This is five. This is the Tartlet palette from Tarte, I think. Amazonian clay eyeshadow palette. This one is a good bit for neutrals. And uh, sorry, <laughs> we're getting the mirror. Stop looking at me. Um, this is a lot of good neutrals. These are really beautiful buttery they spread really well but they're pretty 
the pigmentation is not fantastic. I feel like I have to use a lot for to get like to get like actual color on my eyelid. I feel like I have to use a lot, but it's pretty. Uh, that was five. One, two, three, four, five. This is six. This is the Morphe Nyan uh, Artistry Palette. This one. Stop. Absolutely stop. Look at that. Look at the pastels. Look at the pastels. Look at the sparkles. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. I got it for the pastels because I love the pastels. Because sometimes that first palette that I showed you is just too much pigment. Sometimes I want a little, I want a little pastel moment. That's six. That one's gorgeous. I love that palette. This is seven. This is a Morphe palette. This one is 35P. This was bought for me by uh, one of my former coworkers who was amazing with makeup. This is like a purple toned palette with some browns as well in it. Lots of purples. I struggle with this palette because whenever I use any of these purples, I struggle with looking like I have a black eye um, because I'm so pale. So it ends up making me look like um, <laughs> I was injured. <laughs> That's seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have one more. Eight. This is, the, this is my eighth palette. This one is one of my most recent acquisitions. And I love this palette. I've mostly been using the combination of this color, this color, and this color the past couple of days. This is the Huda Beauty Nude palette as well. 10 out of 10 would recommend. If you're a girl who likes like nude tones on your eyes, you like a brown smoky eye or a pink smoky eye and some beautiful glitters, gorgeous. Love this palette. Love, love, love this palette. This is the eighth one. There were eight, eight total, eight wins, eight palettes. Uh, new nude Huda Beauty, Morph, Morphe and Nyan Fierce Fairy Tale palette. Morphe 35P, Tartlet, Venus Palette from Lime Crime, Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills, Lorac Pro Palette, and Morphe, I don't know what this one's called. It just says Artistry Palette. It's just like a colorful one. All right, and that's it, eight of them. Pew, 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 pew. I'm surprised it's not 10 plus. I know soon I'll have 10 plus. Can't believe it's not butter. The Morphe colors are gorgeous. Hold up. You want to see them? Wait, which one? Which one? This one? I want to eat them. I want to eat these. I literally want to consume them. Oh, the names are funny. Oh, yes, 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 yes. The names of the shades are very funny. So this one, some of the shades, they're called, um, oh my God, I can't read, I'm blind. They're called Bear, Crave, Play, Fantasy, Love Bite, Spanked, Lace, Daydream, Tickle, Excite, Infatuated, Kinky, Concealed, Secret, Tease, Raw, Charmed, and Teddy. I know. So scandalous, isn't it? Let's see what the colors of this one. Oh, no, 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 wait. I love the names of the colors in this one because it's like gay pride. So like this one, one of, one of the shades is literally named Stonewall. It's literally named Stonewall. Uh, so this one's, I think, for gay pride. Milk, pride, heart, 1978, liberation, Stonewall, culture, hashtag love wins, SF, San Francisco, Rise up, sunlight, life, sexuality. This hot pink one, sexuality. Uh, truth, harmony, healing, activism, make magic, peace. Gilbert. I'm not really sure what the Gilbert is. Thrive, nature, art, parade, NYC. Hi, Kerglo. Welcome in. Uh, kinky. Kinky. Dark side of the blush. How are you, Kerglow? Lovely to see you, my friend. Okay, so did y'all get your points? Congrats on your points. Gilbert Godfrey, that's what I was thinking. 
Uh, does he know something about gay pride that I don't? How could you tell? It literally says Stonewall. <laughs> okay. Um, so y'all have to help me decide. What are we going for? What kind of look am I doing on my eyeshadow today? Recently, I've been doing this really pretty nude look with three of these colors that I love. We could also do, we could also do like a kind of magenta, darker pink purple look with this palette. We could be colorful. We could use these two. Yes, eight was right. Eight was correct. I have eight palettes. We could use this palette in combination with this palette. We could go like really colorful. Raccoon, hi Deerna, how are you? We could go colorful. <gasps> Ooh, I've never used this color. This one looks like silver or chrome. It doesn't really have a lot of shimmer to it. It has a little bit. Can we go super colorful? Absolutely. What colors do you guys want? We should go colorful. All right, fantastic. Um, ooh, do y'all want me to do like a sunset? I could do like yellow, orange, pink like really like vibrant. We could do kind of like a sunset. That's like my favorite look to do because it's so fun. Yes, all right, perfect, let's do it. Like my sun lamp, yes! We'll do like yellow, a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, like a beautiful little sunset. Got done having an exciting evening cleaning out the water softener tank for mold. <gasps> oh my God, are you okay? That sounds dangerous. I'm glad you got it all taken care of. A little green in there. Let's do it, let's do it. I also have this. I've been meaning to use this more often. So this is the UV Taffy's Suva Beauty. This is like neon eyeliner and it's water activated. So you drop a little bit of water on it and you use this little brush and you're able to like do like neon eyeliner. I've been meaning to use that. This is not, this is not eyeshadow. This is not eyeshadow. This is eyeliner, technically. You should get a Skittles sponsor if you're going to be the rainbow. I should. Hey, Skittles, hit me up. I never knew makeup could look so cool, right? I love makeup. It makes me so happy. Rainbow in the distance of a sunset after a soft summer rain in the midst of the calm July in Ohio. Very specific. Last train home by John Mayer to the queue. Absolutely. Ooh. Kelly Clarkson, Miranda Cosgrove, say no more. Shakespeare, no fucking way. <laughs> Why did I believe she had a song called Shakespeare? Why did I actually believe she had a song called Shakespeare? No fucking way. Wait, she does? She does? She does. We're adding it. It's getting added to the queue. We're listening to it. I really like that sound effect. Which one though? Woo! It's like the little gnome dude. It's great. Woo! Woo! Yes, DJ. I feel the exact same way. It's so therapeutic for me. Putting on music and then doing my makeup. Girl, that is, that is therapy for me. Immediately followed by the double take. I was like, did I just get memed on? We're so cozy. This is mega ultra cozy vibes. Okay, so for eyeshadow, the prevailing eyeshadow primer that most people use is the Urban Decay uh, eyeshadow primer. I used it for years. However, in recent years, I feel like it hasn't really been working as well. I just feel like it was creasing my eyeshadow and I didn't like it. So I switched to the NARS eyeshadow primer. Some people use concealer to prime their eyelids and that's perfectly fine. You can do that as well, that's an option. I just use an actual primer because I don't like the feeling of concealer on my eyelids. Now you're saying, why do you need eyeshadow primer? You use primer all over your face. Good point. You make an excellent point. I like to buy useless products that make me feel good about myself. No, <laughs> eyeshadow is on your eyelids, right? So your eyelids produce uh, a lot of oil. You'll see people's eyelids tend to look oily after the end of a long day because your eyelids produce a lot of oil. 
This primer is thicker and it's going to keep the eyeshadow cemented to your eyelid a lot longer than if you had used nothing. And concealer can accomplish this job as well. And concealer will also give you like a pretty base to work on top of. Aw, thank you, Memphis. Thank you. All. Renaissance while I'm doing my makeup. Why did this sound like he was doing a cover of Africa by Toto? That's the vibe I got. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm excited. Ooh, but what yellow do we start out with? I think I'm going to start light. So here's the thing with me. I have rather, I don't know, my eyes are rather small, in my opinion. And also, you when I have my eyes open, you can't really see my eyelid very much because I have hooded lids. So I have to be careful when it comes to using a lot of dark eyeshadow because it can make my eyes look even smaller. So we're gonna we're gonna start with light and work our way darker. So I think I'm gonna start with this yellow as a base. Similar chord progression? Yes, I'm not crazy. Okay. I'm gonna start with this. I feel like you guys are way too close. I'm gonna start with this brush. This is an M166 brush from Morphe. This is good for eyeshadow, like packing a bunch of color onto your lid. This is great for that because it's all tightly packed in this brush, right? It's not a loose fluffy brush. I think I've told you guys this before, but you know, you have like a loose fluffy brush like this, it's gonna spread that eyeshadow all over your brow. If we're working on getting a base for eyeshadow, this is a better brush for that. One of those tightly packed brushes. Hey, Mindless, welcome in, how you doing? I'm saving this one, great suggestion. You get your music makeup therapy while we get ours relaxing listening to you. Oh, that makes me so happy. This is wonderful. I'm having a great time. Thank you guys for hanging out for this. I know this is like unusual content for me. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. Bless them rains, John Mayer. Weezer and Weird Al did a cover, a co-cover of Toto's Africa. I need to listen to that. Hooded gang, exactly. Hooded eyelids. Got those hooded lids. You got to work with them, not against them, you know? Okay, so... I'm going to put this yellow that I just told you, I'm gonna smooth that all over my lids. Or not smooth it, I'm gonna pack it. That's a better verb. We're gonna pack it all over the lids. Look at her! I'm gonna pack it, and I'm gonna try to keep it on my actual lid and not go too far up above. You know what else I pack? My suitcase for a vacation. Oh, so cute. Pack it and smack it. Hi, Boom, how are you? Welcome in. Doing the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine tourney, having a hard time hitting the dummies in the race. Oh my God, I remember that. Blood and Wine was so fun. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. Yes, Miranda, girl, sing it. No way she sang a song called Shakespeare. That's on queen shit. We're just gonna pack it all around the lid. Just gonna keep packing it. Keep packing and packing and packing. I wanna make it symmetrical. Oh my God, girl, yes. I feel like this one needs a bit more color. I feel like I'm making weird faces. <laughs> Ignore the weird makeup faces I'm making right now. Yes, queen. It's always unusual here, so no, you're still on brand. You never know what you're gonna get from a Darian stream. This is great content. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying. So this is just kind of our base that we're gonna work on top of. This is what we're gonna work with. So we have the yellow. I'm wondering if I do a darker yellow. Hmm, because we do have this gorgeous sunlight color. Mmm, it's called jaundice. I have a case of the jaundice. I might add a bit of this. Aw, oh, queens. 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 
She's a thought. Take care, Krista. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. I guess I didn't notice a difference. You know, it's just it's just an everyday. Oh, yes, girl. That's gorgeous. That's sunlight from this palette. Stunning. Stunning. Oh, my God. That's so pretty. <gasps> Stop. I'm going to scream. That's so pretty. That's a gorgeous color. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So now that we have the yellow, I think maybe like, hmm, I think orange. I think orange is next. So I have a few different blending brushes. And slay and yas. And slay and yas. Okay. What kind of community games are we playing later? We have lots of, we have lots of options for the community games. So we could do, we can do some chat guesser, which is geo guesser, but chat gets to play along with me and compete with me. We can do, um, Gardic on stream. We could do Gardic phone if you want, which would be a group of like eight of us. Um, we could do Jackbox. We could do Pokemon stadium. We could do, we have lots of options. A little garlic phone. So look, we have three blending brushes, which you can see they're all dirty at the moment, but it's fine. So I have a small, medium, and large. So they accomplish different goals. This I primarily use to only put powder on the outer part of my lid if I'm doing like a smoky look. This is the mid-sized one that I usually use to put powder, eye eyeshadow rather, on the outer part of my lid and also to blend it in on my crease. This is just like overall blending brush. This girl gets used all over the lid to blend everything together so that there's no harsh lines. Garlic phone, my favorite game. Are the funny faces a secret sauce or is it like a drumming face? It just kind of happens. It's the secret sauce. You have to contort your face a little bit to be able to apply the makeup correctly. So I'm going to take the middle brush the middle brush. I'm going to take that and I'm going to take this stunning orange. Look at that. Gorgeous. Love that. This shade is called M and Jen. I've never used this color before, by the way. Look at that. Untouched. I'm going to take a little bit of that and I'm, oh, I'm going to tap the brush. Girl, why are you tapping the brush? Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So when you, when you get a little bit of product on your brush, you're gonna have an excess of eyeshadow particles. And if you go straight onto your skin with that, you're gonna get a clump of product. Tapping the brush gets the excess off so you can control how much powder you're putting onto your lids. Tips from Darian. I'm excited for chat guesser, excellent. We'll make it happen, you guys. So I'm gonna take this on the outer edge and I'm gonna work my way in. I'm gonna do it all around the crease as well. Oh, this song is perfect right now. We need more pigment, girl. Where is the pigment? There it is, there it is. We found it, we found the pigment, guys. We found her. Another tip, another tip I have for you. Sounds good, Krista, thank you so much, my friend. Another tip, I hold my eyeshadow blending brushes towards the tip. You hold them towards the edge of the handle. And that allows you, that's how you're supposed to hold like a paintbrush. You're able to, I, I was told this tip by my friend who was a makeup artist. She said, hold your brushes like that. I think it allows you to have better precision or to like blend better. I started doing it and I feel like it works really well. So I'm just passing that along to you to hold your blending brushes towards the end, the edge of the handle. When Bob Ross beats the devil out of his brushes, exactly. You gonna turn this into a YouTube on makeup tips? Honestly, dear I think I should. A tapa tapa tapa. A further zoom in from this scene when you tell us more, a little more. 
a little more Zoom. It's more expressive. Would you have any tips for men for stuff like this? I guess that would the equivalent like a men's skincare slash makeup routine. Cleanser, toner, moisturizer, sunscreen. That's your skincare routine. You don't need a toner, but toner is great. All of those things. For, for makeup, a little bit of concealer goes a long way. You can get a very cheap concealer at the drugstore. Use it on your under eyes. Use it on a pimple. Just a little bit. Just a little smidge. Just a little bit. That's all you need, really. That's all you need. But you can go beyond that. You can use, like, eyebrow gel to kind of make your eyebrows look more polished. You can make little choices that don't necessarily have to have color or pigment on them if, that, if that's too feminine for you. You know what I mean? Hi, Marcus. Thank you for that. Thank you for the hydrate. I will take a sip after this. I never use sunscreen because sunscreen because it feels icky with the texture. I totally get that. 100%. I will tell you, I also struggle with wearing sunscreen because I hate the feeling. I don't like it feeling sticky. I don't like the sensation of having that on my face on top of everything. I don't even put soap on my face. Viz, you don't use a cleanser? I'm doing the same thing to the other eye, by the way. And I'm having more pigment on the outer part of my lid to kind of do this illusion, right? Of like this cat eye kind of look. Um, I will say for sunscreen, there are lots of different form factors for sunscreen. So they have serums, they have sticks. I use a sunscreen stick from Shiseido and I just use that all over my face and it feels a little bit... Feels a little greasy, but it's not too bad. It's so worth it though. Ooh, playing Warframe, Marcus, that's lit. Or you can use a spray. There's serums, there's liquids. There's all sorts of form factors. I would say if there's one skincare item I can convince you to use, please use sunscreen. It's, there's so many benefits to using sunscreen. The only two products that are scientifically proven to do anything to your skin are retinol and sunscreen. Those are the only two things. Everything else is based on placebo, is based on personal experience. Sunscreen will help aging. It will help dark spots. It will help acne. It will help everything. Sunscreen is great for you. Yeah, I know. I hate the feeling of it. It sucks. I totally agree. Men tend to expect their SO to know how to tie ties for them. Why shouldn't men know how to do their significant other's makeup? I agree, Elmac. I agree. I saw this video a long time ago of this older gentleman. He, his wife, I think, either had arthritis or some kind of condition where it hurt her hands to do makeup. And he learned her entire makeup routine and did her makeup for her every single day. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I have never exactly known how to feel good about my appearance. So this may genuinely help me mentally, not just physically. Exactly. It's all about how you feel about it as well. Makeup is less about making yourself presentable to other people. At least for me, it's more so about how it makes me feel, you know? I've heard dudes just wash themselves with water. I know I'm like some soap, some cleanser girly. The games that require owning a Switch or similar might benefit from some sort of survey or poll to show interest and availability, but I haven't a clue right now on how to best to do them. Got insurance stuff resolved. Hopefully. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you got it resolved. Yeah, I agree. Stuff with the switch. We might have to see if there's enough people available to do them. Everything I've used makes me break out. So I just scrub with water. I will say in the morning time, I don't use a cleanser. I only use a cleanser at nighttime. In the morning, I just wash with water. The soap, shampoo, conditioner, all in one does a decent job. It does a decent job. It's so wholesome. I'm going to be screwed. <laughs> okay, so we've done yellow into orange. And we've kind of, oop, wrong button. And we've kind of blended it to where you can't see where orange starts and yellow ends. So it's kind of a, a blended situation. <gasps> mm! This song. This song. Now, what are we going to do? Now what are we going to do, team? Pink? We think pink next? I don't know where to put the green. 
I feel like the green should be closer to the yellow. I could do green eyeliner. It's the great pumpkin. I'm thinking we go into like pink. Mm. But which pink? Which pink? Should we do this pink? The pink that I love? That pink? This hot pink? Or one of like, should I do this reddish pink? I use soap everywhere except my face. Okay, I was gonna say, are you using soap on your face? Cause that's gonna dry your face out. A reddish pink? Yeah, I think you're right. I think the reddish pink. This one, I think it kind of maybe goes with the look better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call, good call. So I'm going to take this smaller blending brush and I'm gonna focus on the outer corner of my eyelid. Just gonna focus there. This color is called Gorgeous Gangsta. I wanna learn how to do makeup now, yes! It's like fun, it's artistry. Embrace the pink. Pink is always the answer. That's the answer I needed. <laughs> Can that be my new Twitch name? Yeah, for a little bit of contrast. I feel that. We're very monochromatic with the shirt as well. It's all very like muted tones. So I'm going to focus this reddish pink on the outer corner of my eyelid. I'm really going to try not to move it too much. I want to keep it just isolated on the outer corner. I want to dance though. Okay, sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> Girl. Ah! Oh my God, Tonga, hi. Serving looks. What do you think, yo? I'm trying, I'm trying. That looks incredible. Love that. Gorgeous. When circus comes on, you can't help but dance. You just can't help it. Mmm, can't resist the urge to dance. Hi, Sub-Zero, how are you? Gorgeous Gangsta, that's my new username. By Sub-Radio. Game Hunter, that's the first song I haven't heard of. That's the first one that I have not heard of before. She wolf baby, let's fucking go. This playlist is banging. This is my daily mix four with the inspirations are Doja Cat, Beyonce, and uh, SZA, I think. What color palette are you using? I'm using a couple. I'm using a couple at the moment. I'm using, both of these palettes are from Morphe. I would, 100% recommend Morphe palettes if you can get your hands on them. This is like the Gay Pride one that they released that has these stunning rainbow colors. And I'm also using this palette, which, is a, which was a collab palette. And it has pastels. And I'm obsessed with them. Obsessed. If You Seek Amy, the cultural impact of If You Seek Amy. Hilarious. So funny. She's secretly saying F U C K me. Love that. Love that for her. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on this eyelid. And the shape I'm kind of going for is like a sideways V, if that makes sense. I'm kind of trying to shape it like that to kind of, uh, Shape my eyelid? I don't know. We're using more of this reddish pink. The ninth palette, exactly. Britney molded our generation. She sure did. The cultural impact of Britney Spears cannot be denied. So with the eyeshadow, we're shaping our eye to kind of look like this. You know what I mean? 
Brittany and Shakira being suggested is super interesting to me. Yeah, if the inspirations are Doja Cat, Beyonce, and SZA, and they're suggesting suge bleh, bleh, suggesting Britney Spears and Shakira, I'm like, I mean, I guess. Hi, Ham. How are you? Welcome in. Not enough ABBA. I agree. We need more ABBA. Always need more ABBA. Oh, this is looking good. I'm so excited. Need to blend more, but it's fine. We're getting there, team. Such an excellent teacher. I now feel like I know a little too much about makeup. Oh, that makes me so happy. Light hiker, that's so kind of you. I still need to darken this one. Why are you gay? Gore. Oh, yeah, thing. Very the pog, how are you doing, dare? Hi, standard Next gore. Time. Thank you so much. Thank you. <gasps> we have a Twitch baby. What would you like to name our Twitch baby, standard gore? Welcome back, my friend. It's always good to see you. I hope you're well. We can name our Twitch baby, um, Plorable. Uh, 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 Gorian. Oh, Gorian's good. I was just coming up with a random name. Uh, sh, uh, sh, uh. Sh, uh, sh, sh, um, uh, 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 beep, beep, borp. Our child's name is Borp. How about that? Borp. Beep, Borp. Our child. Oh my God. It's a girl. What would you like to name her? Beep, Borp. It's a family name. <laughs> Little baby Borp, it's amazing. We love baby Borp. Huh? Was Britney Spears the one tweeting out nudes a while back? Yes, she's in her. She's in her. Um, she's in her posting scandalous photos of herself era, and we love that. My child is also named Bort. Actually, such a hot look, isn't it? Though, oh my god, obsessed. Now, something I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some more yellow and I'm going to retouch up and add some more yellow in to where the yellow was previously to kind of make it pop more. She's in her I don't give a fuck era. Yes. Yes. Isn't Britney Spears the girl who played Hannah Montana? <laughs> Y'all ever hear the Brian David Gilbert Halloween ABBA parody album that he put on YouTube? Give me a man after midnight is about a Frankenstein creating his monster, for instance, funny, but also a bop. I have not ham, but I think I would like that. Britney walked so Miley could run. And I think Miley would agree with that. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Where, where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna take more of this beautiful sunlight color and I'm gonna add some more yellow to the lid just to kind of touch it up and make it a bit more vibrant. Cause I think the orange and the red pink kind of has a tendency to overpower it. You know what I mean? So we add a bit more pigment. Yes. Yes. They're the same person to me. They're both rock stars and I love them both. Queens. <gasps> oh my God. Obsessed. Is that She-Wolf again? Shakira, I love you, baby, but that's just not it. I'm sorry, I'm getting way too excited. Looks so good. I'm, I have sunsets on my eyes. Oh my God. Okay, I need to do some blending. We're gonna do some blending with this big old blending brush. If you guys have any specific questions, like if you wanna know like what brushes I'm using or anything like that, you can ask. I'm happy to answer. Any questions, like specifics you wanna know, just go ahead and ask and I can let you know in case you guys are looking for like brushes or you're looking for specific products or if you're just enjoying the, the show, if you're enjoying the hangs, I appreciate you for being here. So this is a really loose, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of blend everything to make it all cohesive. I watched the sunset earlier. We're basically the same. Woo! I'm obsessed. Shit in glitter, I can make it go, go. What is the meaning of existence? Pizza. Delicious pizza. 
So I've kind of blended that all together. I didn't want to blend it too much because I still want a little bit of difference between the yellow and the orange and the pink. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Pizza. So now I'm going to add some underneath my eye to match the top of my eyelids. I have to be very careful as well adding shadow underneath my eyelids because if I add too much, it can get it can make my eyelids or my eyes look very small. So I go very minimal underneath my eyes. But what I tend to do. So you're like, Darian, what colors are you going to put underneath your eyes? As a rule of thumb, I tend to take the darkest color from the top of my lid to do underneath the bottom just to kind of make it all cohesive. So based on that rule, I'm gonna use this really gorgeous red pink color and I'm gonna take that underneath my eyelids. And using the right brush for underneath your eyelids is so important. I think I'm using the wrong term, underneath your eyes, not eyelids. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find the right brush. Can I just tell you, look at this really pretty brush holder that I got on Etsy. It has like dried flowers in it and little sparkles and glitter. Look how cute. I got it on Etsy for like $10. I love it so much. It's like made of resin, I think. It's where I keep all of my brushes, all of my nasty ass brushes. Um, I think I'm gonna use this one. There's a couple brushes I use for underneath my eyes, depending on what kind of look I'm doing. <clears throat> so we have two brushes here. There's a more fluffy brush. This is the one that I use to put powder on the top of my nose. And this is like an angled brush. That's really good for eyeshadow. Uh, sorry, eyeliner to get kind of a very precise line if you wanted to do eyeliner with eyeshadow. Um, so like Sometimes people will use eyeshadow as eyeliner. They'll get like a black or a brown eyeshadow and they'll use a brush like this to give the appearance of eyeliner as opposed to using an actual eyeliner. So Darian, what colors are you gonna put underneath your eyes? I'm always asked this question. So if I want kind of a, some powder just came out of that. If I want more of like a messy kind of grungy look, I'll go for this one. I'll go for this loose brush. If I want a more refined, exact look, I'll go for this one, obviously. Um, Trying to decide what I wanna do for this one. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea, I'm gonna use them both. I'm gonna use them both. I'm gonna use this loose one and I'm gonna take this sunlight color I look crazy. Sorry, I'm trying to take that word out of my vocabulary. I look wild. I look unhinged. And that yellow isn't very pigmented, right? So you're not really gonna see it all that much, just a little bit. Now I look like I have jaundice and that's the goal. We love a good Etsy find. I love Etsy. Shuffle is really loving duplicate songs. I swear the Spotify shuffle always lets me down. So now I'm going to take that really gorgeous reddish pink color that we used earlier, gorgeous gangsta. And I'm gonna pack it onto this brush and I'm just gonna focus on the outer edge of um, my lower lash line. I'm just gonna focus on the outer edge to kind of match the top part. Yummers. Yummers. Hi, Toku, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome on in. We're doing a little makeup look here today. Oh, Mamma mia. mia. Sorry, I feel like my camera keeps focusing on the eyeshadow palette because I keep bringing it up too high. Just mostly focusing on the outer edge, just to kind of match the top. You see? Here we go. That's what we want to go for. That's the kind of look we're going for. I don't like to do too much eyeshadow on my lower. What am I calling this? My lash line, because I don't want it. I don't. I don't want it to look too intense. You know what I mean? Mm. 
In five years from now, will be taboo, but we'll have flying cars, so it's okay. You win some, you lose some. The algorithm keeps trying to suggest Breaking Benjamin, but knows it's not the vibe for tonight. Yeah, it's like, look, Breaking Benjamin is not it for today, but it is banging. Hi, 13. How are you? Tired from working, watching a movie. What are you watching? I will give you the crazy card for now, but I may revoke it in the future. Thank you, Weeb. Keep me updated. Please do. <gasps> Stop. It looks so pretty. Do I have like a, I want to put it, I want to put a sparkle. I want a sparkle. I need like a golden sparkle. Oh. <gasps> Gold sparkle. The best way to apply a sparkly eyeshadow is with your finger. So I use my ring finger because that is the most, that's the finger that has like the lightest touch out of all of your fingers. That is scientifically proven. So this, this shade is called shape shifter and I'm going to take some of it and I'm just going to, oh my God. We're gonna put some sparkle on there, bitch. We are gonna get sparkly today. I just feel like your finger applies it so much. Oh my God, it looks so pretty. It's gorgeous. I'm so excited. That looks so pretty. I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. Yeah, looks so pretty. And now my, now I'm literally made of gold. Stop. Etsy is life. Thank you. I think I just got some on my nose, which is fine. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I might bring the gold glitter into the center. Cause here's the thing. 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 Many people will use highlighter on the inner corners of their eyes of their um of their eyes to kind of brighten up their eyes. I might use this gold in the center here to kind of brighten things up as well as bring it into like a full look. <gasps> oh my god, gorgeous. Oh my god. Tell me that is not stunning. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Why the makeup, Toku? We're doing a get ready with me stream today. So we've been having fun just doing some makeup today. Think this color is going well with your shirt and hair? Oh, hell yeah. As After I dyed my hair back blonde, I realized that this tone is really gorgeous with blonde hair. I was telling your brother how thick he looked in that apron yesterday. You had to tell him. You had to let him know. 24 karat magic in my eyes. You're more precious than gold. Oh, you guys stop. You guys stop. Y'all are the cutest. Nobody suggests what is love by Hadaway for the song dance co competition and it hurt my soul. True. My mom was wondering why y'all didn't suggest um, I want to dance with somebody. Whitney Houston. I'm putting some more lip balm on because my lips be hella dry. I love how happy you get. It looks so pretty. It's so fun to play with. So because we went with kind of a gold look for the eyes, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the grooving one, the grooving, the grooving one. I'm thinking we go with kind of a gold highlight for this. I still have to do my liquid eyeliner, but I'm very afraid of doing that in front of you guys because I'm going to fuck it up with people watching me. Your screams of joy reminded me of this. I am Viz. The rain Viz. The fact that you suggested this. This is literally what I think of, too. I think of this every time I get excited. Over makeup. Hold on. Rainbow Sponge, created by D. Gruning of Posh Impressions, is one of the most versatile and Watch this. art tools. I think of this every time. So relax and enjoy. Here's D. You asked for it. So here goes. This now is how I, I feel. Ah, I did, oh, I am sorry. But this is exciting. Look at this color. Oh, I go across my stationery. 
with this and it's done. I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed <gasps> and squeezed. Twist, 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 twist. Oh, this was one night. She gets so squeeze. excited. Oh, I love it. Is that. And here are wiggles. I love to wiggle. wiggle the whole thing. Sometimes I do, you know, a softer wiggle. Just a wiggle across. Wiggles. I want you to look at all of those wiggles. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> wow. And then there. And then. <laughs> okay. Look at that time. Okay. Yes. She's so happy. Oh. 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 Yes. Oh. Oh. It's just oh. genuine oh. happiness. Yes. <gasps> it's just genuine happiness. Oh my gosh, it's so. Oh my gosh, Wiggles. Um, great. And this is me in 40 years. To blaze a rainbow path across everything in sight. I want you to rainbow sponge anything that isn't moving. Oh God, I love her. I think of that every time. Whenever I get really excited about makeup, I, I was literally thinking of her as I was getting excited. I'm so glad you linked that to me. She had so much LSD before this. She was vibing. It's awesome seeing people find joy. I agree. I completely agree. Okay, eyeliner time. Eyeliner time, besties. This is the liquid eyeliner that I have been using as of late. It is the NYX uh, Epic Ink Liner. Professional makeup in black. This is the one I've been using recently. You can get this for pretty cheap. I think it's like $8 or something like that. Um, it has a felt tip. It has a felt tip. It works really well. It works better. Can I talk? Can I talk for a second? Can I talk for a second? The Kat Von D liquid eyeliner was such a disappointment to me. That motherfucker dried out within the first use and I paid like $28 for that. I'm still upset about it. I'm still mad, but this less than half the price and works much better. I've given up on having the beanie fit, spent two weeks stretching it out and it's still too tight and it gives me a headache. Oh, Barcardum, I'm sorry. My melon is too big. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's such a bummer. Can we, can we maybe put it on like, um, can you get like a, like a stuffed animal and put it on the stuffed animal? Maybe, maybe that could work. <gasps> Blaze a rainbow path across everything in sight. True words were never spoken. It's infectious, joyful excitement. How I could describe Darian's stream. Oh, this is gonna be on me on VHS home video in 40 years. So liquid eyeliner, this is scary. This shit scares the shit out of me um, because it's not gonna go well. It's not going to go well. I'm going to get stressed out. I'm going to fuck it up. But you know what? We're going to trust ourselves. This is the moment. <gasps> okay, Gwen Stefani, walk me through it, girl. Come on, hold my hand. I'm going to take the outer edge of my eye and we're going to go up. And then bring it in for a wing. I don't do too big of a wing because it intimidates me. I'm focusing. Did I just, I did just lick it. I sure did. There we go. You're doing amazing, sweetie. I'm trying my best. What it tastes like. Doesn't taste good. It does keep it moisturized though. Same thing on the other eye. Oh baby, we're focusing. Just a little wing, just a little one. Do you have to disinfect that thing? Yeah. I definitely do. Absolutely. 
Definitely isn't a Definitely isn't a safety hazard. Time's getting a little crazy. Little lazy. Come save me. By the way that you treat me. I feel like this eye looks weird. Yeah. Should I hmm, try and decide if I should bring it in further? Yeah, maybe I will. Look at all how all the colors reflect off of this. That's so cool. So now I'm just going to try and keep it as close to the lash line as I can because I don't want a super thick line. Most people drink water for moisture instead. I drink liquid eyeliner. Do I disinfect my tongue? There we go. That's looking good. That looks good. So depending on the day, I decide how far to bring in the, the eyeliner. Because if I want my eye to appear more open, I don't bring it in as far. But this, we're going for like a full, a full cat eye a moment. You know what I mean? So I'm bringing it in further. And I'm starting from the outside and working my way in. I'm sorry, I have to focus really hard for this part, so that's why I'm not talking as much. Boop. There we go. Eyeliner done. Woo! Yee-hoo! Is that case separating RGB, bro? You can literally see the RGB from my mixer on here. I was once tripping out of my mind and drank nail polish. That was a fun, oh my God, nail polish. Kids don't drink nail polish. It's called the RGB box, baby. All right, there it is. There's the, we could do like a bigger wing, but I'm just not feeling a bigger wing today. I feel like it takes away from the gorgeous look that we've created here. You know, people have been doing the, the extended eyeliner that goes in that looks really gorgeous, but I feel like I really want to highlight this really pretty gold in the center here. We're already flying. No. 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 <laughs> I love smelling nail paint. <laughs> nail paint. Okay, now what? Now do we do besties? What do we do? What do we do? Um, mascara or highlighter? Let's do highlighter first. I want more of like a gold highlight. So I think I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back to this palette. Fuck. And I think I'm gonna actually mix these two highlights. Hi, Tractor Man, welcome in. How are you today, my friend? Looks phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you, babies. I also eat lip balm, but is it the lip balm that's intended to look that to, that's intended to like smell like it's edible? You know what I mean? I'm going to mix these two summer and moonstone together. And I'm just going to put the highlight at the top part of my cheekbone. Stop. I'm sorry. I love highlight. She's making those cheekbones pop, girl. Look how it sparkles. Like those lip balms. Did y'all ever have those lip balms that smelled like soda? Did y'all ever have those? There was like a root beer one, a Dr. Pepper one, a Coca-Cola one. I didn't like the Coca-Cola one. I try not to bring my highlighter too close to the center of my face because I don't want shiny right here. You know what I mean? It's, more, it's mostly to give this like cheekbone realness. And a few other places to put highlights. So we're working with shadows and highlight. That's what it's all about. It's all about the illusion, the shadow of the contour, and then the illumination of the highlight. Other places on your face. This is all dependent on your face shape, where you're most likely going to put highlight in order to accentuate your facial features. For me, my favorite place to put highlight, underneath my brows. Watch this. Look at how much it brightens up my face when I put highlight underneath my eyebrows. 
it like brings them forward and makes it look so much lighter. Mm. Another place, the bridge of your nose. So while we have these darker portions, the light portion will bring that forward. The highlight brings it forward and the contour that's, you know, focuses it to the back, pushes it to the back. So it's giving this illusion of a thinner nose. And then of course, the tip of my nose. I love a little shiny tip of the nose. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. Another place is your Cupid's bow, which is this little place there. I put way too much on, but that makes your lips look bigger. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Look like I just did cocaine. I promise I didn't. I promise I didn't. And that's it, girl. That's it. Now it looks like I have a little mustache. I have a little milk stash. Don't worry. When we put on lip, when we put on uh, lipstick, it'll look normal. It's a little milk mustache. It's kind of cute. Looks like you dipped your face in Coke. <gasps> look, she's glowing. Yes, queen. Okay, it'll look more normal, I promise. Don't worry, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. She is radiant. She is divine. Breathing heavy is adjacent to the quarry clips of pocket sand and distraction. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. That thin nose trap. That nose is so thin. Surely I can fart with less risk now. Let it rip. She cannot smell. She cannot breathe in. Firehouse subs ad. Shout out to Firehouse subs for advertising during my stream. Thank you, bestie. Okay, now I'm going to do mascara and then I'll do lips and then we'll be done. So I am going to use this. Uh, I'm going to use this eyelash curler now. Have a good night, Game Hunter. Wait, today was your birthday? Game Hunter. Stop it. Stop it right now. You stop right now. Everybody stop. Happy birthday, Game Hunter. The happiest of birthdays to you, my friend. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much for being here with us. You take care of yourself, get some great sleep. Happy, happy birthday. Thank you so much for being here. You're the best. Happy, happy birthday. Happy ham dance birthday. <laughs> that nose is just for aesthetics, darling. One time my coworkers went to Firehouse Subs and got me one of the children's fire hats and told the employee, you just made a little boy very happy. I was 20 at the time, I think. <laughs> That's amazing. Nice car. DJ, thank DJ you so much. Tiana gifted a tier one sub to Nolo. Oh, DJ, oh, thank oh. you for gifting a this sub to Nol. Let's go. Show. Nobody is unsubscribed here. Thank you for reminding me that I'm old. Nah, another year wiser. Take care, Game Hunter. Get some good rest. All right, so time to curl my eyelashes. If this kind of stuff uh, freaks you out, If this kind of stuff freaks you out, avert your eyes for a little bit. <laughs> we good? We're good. We're great. I just dropped my palette. Everything's fine. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I'll let you guys know when it's done. I'm going to curl them. If it freaks you out, look away. Best way to do this. This is a really cheap eye eyelash curler. I don't love it. It's an elf one, but it works. My really nice one that I had broke. So I got a cheap one and it doesn't really work that well. Thank you. Ow. Oh my God. My strategy for this is I have it open and I close my eye. I open my eye into it and then I curl. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. <laughs> if it freaks you out, look away. And then I just kind of pump it. I just kind of pump it. And that usually tends to work. So I put it on, I closed. I open my eye into it. So the eyelashes get put into the eyelash curler and then I pump it. 
That's what that thing is? Yes, it's an eyelash curler. And it works really well. It makes a big difference with your eyelashes. You might think it doesn't make that much of a difference, but it does. But if it freaks you out, you can just use mascara. It's fine. Mascara, isn't it? I saw this video where this girl was curling her eyelashes and they got cut off. Yeah, you gotta be really careful. If you like twist or if you squeeze too hard and it kind of slips, you can rip all of your eyelashes out. So the mascara that I use, the mascara I use also for the say for the, oh my God, what am I saying? For the eyelash curler. Um, I've heard that the Shiseido eyelash curler is very good. I'm using a cheap one from e.l.f., but I've heard that the Shiseido one is very, very good for like all eye shapes. And depending on your eye shape, one might work better than the other. So I would say research it before you buy one. Okay. Oh, yeah. So the uh, mascara I'm using, this is covered in garbage. This is covered in makeup. This is actually a newer mascara for me. This is the Essence Lash Princess False, La False Lash Effect Mascara. Got this on Amazon for $5, actual $5, and it is very good. I would recommend it. Mascara is another one of those ma um, makeup products that you do not have to break the bank at all. In fact, I would say none of the expensive mascaras I have ever used have been better than drugstore mascara ever. Go cheap. Get one from the drugstore. Get the um, L'Oreal Telescopic. Amazing. This one, literally $5, and it's very good. Hi, Scooty. How are you? Um, for mascara, I just kind of do this little wiggle action. I do not know how to wear false lashes. I have them, and I've worn them before, but I think they look weird on me, so I'm just not going to do it. I've given up on wearing false lashes. I've given up. It's not for me. So I just do this little wiggle action and I almost always will get mascara on my eyelid, but it's fine because we have Q-tips. Q-tips are a lifesaver when it comes to getting mascara on your eyelids. If you get it on top of your gorgeous eyeshadow, just grab a Q-tip and smudge it off. I should probably zoom in for this. There we go. Oh, Scooty, I'm sorry to hear, my friend. Sending you a hug. Rebecca Black told me it's Friday. Mascara wiggle helps the application, exactly. The wiggle helps, actually, legitimately. It makes your eyelashes look bigger. I also kind of just, like, blink. Sorry, the camera's not focusing. Wiggle and blink. This is how I apply mascara, but some people apply it differently. You gonna make me need bail, you know that. You know that. Oh my gosh, it keeps going out of focus. I'm so sorry. And I'm just gonna keep going. Just gonna keep going until I feel satisfied. You know what I mean? There we go. Yay, mascara. Mascara really like opens up your eyes. I'd say if you were trying to break down a makeup routine into something more simple, I would say concealer, mascara, and lip gloss. That would be like a very simplified makeup routine. What would be worth it? No, little German boy. Don't go to the weed cave. But I want to. But I want to. The mascara, I feel like, just kind of polishes the look. I do not put mascara on my bottom lashes, as I have very long bottom lashes. Um, and I feel like it's kind of a harsher look for me. Oh, my God. We've already heard this song. Girl! You know what Britney song we haven't heard? You won the tourney. Let's go, mindless. Let's go. Congrats. Well done. The Wiggles and Blink-182 is quite a night. It sure is. All right, so that is the mascara. Next, we're going to do the lips. And I'm thinking for this, I think I'm just going to do my traditional lip. The lip look I do every day. This is the lip look I do most days. 
I use these two products. You'll see me on stream just like doing this because these are the two products I use and I keep them with me. So I start with, oh, actually, I have this really awesome ColourPop Lippy Sticks Lip Primer. ColourPop is, in another, is another amazing cheap makeup brand. Not cheap, inexpensive. ColourPop is great. ColourPop has beautiful lipsticks. They have amazing highlighters. ColourPop is very good, very affordable. So this is a primer. Some days I use it and some days I don't. This is good if you're wearing lipstick and you just want more staying power. So this is just like a clear primer to put on first. Okay, so this is the Bite uh, Power Matte Soft, sorry, Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick and Sugar Buns. And this color, I'm sorry, this color is perfect. I love this color. And it's very easy application. And I feel like the color just complements me really well. It's like a really pretty mauve. And then I use this Fenty, this Fenty Skin Lip Oil. They released this recently. It's cherry scented. It's cherry scented. I put that on top. To kind of make it a little bit less matte. So it's a bit more glowy and dewy. It smells like cherries and it makes this really fun sound when I open it. some ASMR for you. Um, so I use these two products mostly for my lips and then that's it. That's pretty much, that's pretty much the glam. Sometimes I'll do some freckles. I don't know if freckles fit this look. What do you guys think? Yes or no? Freckles? I have a freckle pen. Sometimes I do freckles. No, no freckles. Please. I have a no and a please. Maybe? What color freckle? They're brown, light brown. I'm not very good at it. Just do it. No, up to you. I don't know how it would look. I know, I'm like, I don't know. No, yes. Daddy, I want it. Mixed signals. <laughs> I think it could work. Ooh, also another tip. This freckle pen is great to use if I have like a sparse patch in my eyebrow as well. I'll sometimes use this to kind of fill it in and it'll look really, really natural. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say let's, let's leave it without the freckles. Yeah, let's leave it without the freckles. I'm kind of vibing this. Okay, I think that's it, y'all. I think that's our finished beat. So we're gonna set it all. So my setting spray that I use is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This is the setting spray, girl. This is it. This is the setting spray that you need in your life. I used this when I went to DragCon and I was wearing like full face of glam. That did not move a budge, uh, did not budge even a smidge. Uh. And this is what I have to thank for it. This is my holy grail setting spray. It is the best. Fix Plus is life-changing. See, Rach gets it. So I'm gonna use this all over the face. And now my face is gonna look wet. We're just gonna look wet for a little bit, but it's gonna dry down and girl, it's gonna stay. It's gonna dry down and it's not gonna move. And it also feels really nice on my skin. That's the that's what you have to look for in a setting spray. You have to look for something that's gonna make your skin a little bit wet and then it's gonna dry down and it's not gonna move. It's just gonna stay there. This is a very good look. We did well, chat. We did very well. More water and day cool. Yo, yo, are you sick? Are you, are you sick? I douse my face in it and then fan it until it's dry and it will not come off. Get yourself a little hand fan. I do not have one, but I see the makeup girlies with like their little fans and they'll like fan themselves dry. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. I was escorting a man covered only in soap bubbles to get some clothes. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So 
so Gorilla Glue. Looks so good. Oh, thank you. 10 out of 10. Yay. There we go. That's the look. Pow, pow. And now she's finished. Finished look. We got a little sunset look going. Yay. Thank you, guys. That was fun. That was so fun. And it took us two hours and 20 minutes. Not bad. Not bad, all things considered. What are we doing, boys? Where are we dropping, boys? Here, let me move all this makeup back into my little tray over here. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Great fun. Sometimes I'll, after my whole makeup look is set, I'll also brush out. You're um, doing amazing, sweetie. No, you. Sometimes I'll also brush out my brow just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural because the, You're doing amazing, sweetie. the setting spray and the brow gel can make it look a little bit too like one cohesive piece. So sometimes I'll brush it out and then it'll look a little bit more natural. Balls. Two hours. We did take our time though, admittedly. Hair down is fire. I know I don't wear my hair down much on stream anymore, do I? I got a mini Japanese fan when I was visiting Japan for like a dollar and I still use that. <gasps> oh, I need to go to Japan. How was Japan? Rach, when did you go? That's awesome. Really two hours. I know, how did we spend two hours doing that? Pretty poggers. I have been talking so much and not drinking enough water. A little bit of Gorilla Glue on your face just to kind of dry everything down. I'm really into this gold. This gold on the inner corners of my eyes. I'm really into that. Such a fabulous character creator. Such an in-depth character creator. All right, so my beautiful dear friends, do y'all wanna do some community games? I'd recommend going into anyone, even if you don't speak Japanese. I'm planning on going back when I graduate from my degree and I'm so excited for it. Rach, can I ask you what you're going to school for? If it's too personal, don't feel pressured at all, but I was just curious. Are you natural blonde? The colors all go so well with your hair color right now. Oh, I am a natural blonde, but my natural color has gotten a bit darker. So it's more like, this is probably the most natural. This kind of like dark blonde, light, light, light brown kind of tone is where my natural is now. But when I was a little baby, when I was just a wee babe, my hair was quite blonde, very light blonde, yeah. Tell them about your YouTube makeup video. Do I have a YouTube makeup video? What are you talking about, mama? Oh God, my ears. Or you mean a, a throwback one? Do I have a video with makeup? I'm trying to remember. When hi. Oh, you mean my TikTok, my TikTok. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so if you guys wanna check out, if you haven't seen, I did make a TikTok where I did a full face of makeup while I was a little stoned. Um, I recorded it specifically for TikTok, so it's on no other website. It wasn't on, it wasn't live streamed. It was only for TikTok. I also did that. So if you want to see more makeup looks, definitely go head over there to my TikTok and check that out. Um, if you guys would like to see more makeup streams, let me know. I would love to do this more often. We could have themes. We could have chat interaction. It's a fun time. I enjoy it. I don't understand the language. I know that's where I feel like I would be scared is that like, I don't know the language. So I definitely want to learn more before I go. I'm going into my final year in the fall and I'm a psych major with minors in anthropology and Japanese language, the random combo, but it's a fun time. My psych classes and anthropology classes were some of my favorite classes in college. So I totally get it. Those were, those are the best. When people fascinate you, those are like the, those are the areas that you go in there, you, you, that you go into. You go into psych and you go into anthropology because you're like, people are just fascinating. Yes, yeah, so if you want to see more makeup streams, hit that like button, smash that like button. With squeals in our hands, am I just you if you were six foot six NB? Exactly, we are the same. Definitely more makeup streams, hell yes. I got you, I got you. Goth makeup stream win. Oh, I definitely could. I also do have a goth wig. I have like an all black wig in my closet. So we could do a, a full, a full goth look. 
If you stay in the bigger cities, there's English everywhere. I also have lots of easy tools to help study Japanese. And you're welcome to DM me if you want to share. Yeah, I mean, Laws actually knows a little bit of Japanese, right? There's like three different languages. Not languages. There's three different like types of um, like uh, letters. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Alphabets, three different alphabets, depending on the what you're speaking about, right? We'd love to see it. I love what I study. It's such a blast. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Letter collections. Lazy is a weeb, confirmed. Um, I do want to give this chat guesser a go. If y'all would like to play with me. Oh, I have to log in. Okay, hold on. Y'all can't see this, can you? Okay, you can't. Hello, Sinnery, welcome back. It's making me log into Twitch. How dare you? Makeup for cosplay is Michael Sarah for the Barbie movie. <laughs> oh my God. Darian is now connected. Why the fuck did it say that? Um, it says I get five minutes free of play. So do you guys also have to have GeoGuessr Pro to play longer than five minutes, I wonder? I was doing errands tonight for a long while and for some reason I am still winded. Am I dying? Am I dying, Squirtle? Am I Squirtle in this case? You're still winded. Do you? Did you ever have COVID, Weeb? I'm in the matrix. How much is Pro? It's a stupid amount of money. I love my pink, but I also have that goth side too. Yes, I think hot pink should be a subsect of goth culture. Hot pink and black go so well together. I'm like a virus spreading around trying to turn all my friends goth. Goth is such a look. I thought it would work from chat, but I think you guys can play for five minutes every 15 minutes. We could just give it a try before any of us spend money. We could give it a try and see how it works. And we can move on to something else because I don't want to make you guys pay. That seems silly. Um, let's see. Exclamation point CG. Somebody who loves me. Can you guys do exclamation point CG? Log in with Twitch, make your guess, and press guess spacebar. Paste the command into chat without editing. Huh? I do, Nal. I have some Jackbox that we could do as a backup for sure. I was sick for a week plus and had such severe pain in my left arm. I wanted to go to the hospital, but COVID test said it was negative. So maybe. I definitely think there's a lot of false negatives with COVID testing for sure. I just know that like the shortness of breath can sometimes last a lot longer if you've had COVID in the past. It's gonna take more than five minutes to figure out those instructions. Exactly, we only get five minutes of play as well. I had a bright hot pink strap for my base whenever I performed, partially because I liked it and partially because it helped to stand out. Yes, the hot pink. I clicked on the link and logged in. Okay, it works. So what are you seeing right now? Are you like geo guessing? Or are you just like waiting in a menu? I see a map. You see a map, okay. Let me try and, I see some planet, not sure. Okay, let's see here. Play? Default settings, two minute time limit moving allowed. Okay, there's a time limit guys, that's stressful. That's very stressful. Uh, can I change the round time? 10 minutes. We'll make it 10 minutes. With few options. Okay, let me start it. Let me start the game and see if it works. Uh, start game. Hello, that was loud. Okay, here we are. We get 10 minutes to guess. Guesses are open. Does it work? 
Okay, where are we? A Prius? What is that? What are those? Is that meat? Y'all got meat on the street, dude? I feel like uh, light, uh, license plates are kind of a dead giveaway. Is this America? What does that say? Any signs whatsoever? from anyone what <gasps> oh that is not english i tell you what oh my god laws is already in first place what the hell y'all have so much time is that is that japan How, of course laws would know where this is oh my god Bitch, I don't know. Bitch, I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna say right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. Who wins? Cinnery wins? I d oh my God, this scared the goddamn shit out of me. <laughs> it was not 10 minutes, okay. We can do another one. We can do another one. I didn't realize what the hell are they advertising to me on the right there? What is happening? Is that a sex thing? Okay, let's do another round. Let's do another round. Uh, Cinnery won first place. 13 was second. Laws was in third. I was in fourth. We was in fifth. And Huggable was in last. Is that chastity? Why is that? Oh boy. Okay. This is the next. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Geo bingo. There's another game where you compete to find specific things for free called Geo bingo. Okay. This is giving field. Okay, so I'm not gonna vote until the end of the timer. I didn't realize it closed it for everybody when I voted. That's my bad. Okay, this is giving field in the middle of nowhere. Also, can you guys see, can you guys scroll around like I can or do you have to go based on what I'm showing you? So yes, everybody in chat can play. You should be able to click the link if you do exclamation point CG. You guys only see what I show. Okay, cool. Then I will, I'll keep zooming. We only see the map. Okay. HYB electrical. That's in English. That is English. That sure is. What's that? Does that say Jesus? No, mobile tours. But where? What's that area code? I can't read shit, dude. All right, let's keep moving. Oh my God, Darian, stop spamming the chat. God, stop spamming. Y'all already get your guesses in? My goodness. This is beautiful, by the way. Gorgeous. Balls. That's the bus's Balls. social security number. Balls. Cars on the left side of the road. Uh, how? You should be able to click the link. The chatguesser.com slash map slash very Darian. Scenery, you already guessed. <laughs> Are you still trying to guess or is it bugged out? It might just, it might just be bugged. Cars on the left side of the road. I was wondering if maybe it was a two lane situation. Cause this is yellow or this is white, not yellow, right? So this is just two lanes going the same way. It gives you one guess as a viewer. LMAC is currently the closest. Let's see. Where does this look like? Look at the oh. vegetation. 
The vegetation. It gives you one guess as a viewer. <laughs> Gum! Hello, Spade. Welcome in. How are you? Good to see you. Y'all got six minutes left. I didn't see that. You're all good. It looks like Alberta to me. A little Canada? Really? It's so interesting how so many places on Earth look similar. Um, This is a dungeon. Somebody's building a dungeon here. That's absolutely a dungeon. Hi, Spade. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome on in. I should probably change my title. I am no longer doing Get Ready With Me. Northern Midwest. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, I'm also getting Midwest vibes, but that's probably influenced by the fact that I lived in the Midwest. So that's probably why. A lot of, a lot of cinder block. A lot of cinder block. Oh, shit. Oh, hello, Sin. Hello, Raiders. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. How we doing? Sin, how was Fallen Order? Our absolute gamer up in here. Sin, how was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> Hi, Beat. Hello. Hi, Saver. Hello, hello. McFly, welcome on in. How are you? Raid time. Hi, Prez. Hi, Sin. We're guessing locations. We sure are. We just spent a little time doing some makeup. And now we are currently doing some geo guessing. Sin was slaying them stormtroopers as as she does. It's so good, but Darian, <gasps> there are spiders, space spiders, space spiders. Absolutely not. Thank you so much for the raid, Sin. Thank you, thank you. Rusty rages regularly. I love the alliteration of your name. Drenched in Sin. Raiders, welcome on in. My name is Darian. Fantastic to meet you all. Thank you so much for raiding over. I'm a variety streamer. We play all sorts of games on the channel, mostly story-driven games, RPGs, that kind of stuff. Right now we are doing um, an Ocarina of Time playthrough, my very first playthrough of Ocarina of Time. Um, and we're also doing, you know, some just chatting streams every now and again. Yesterday we did a 420 themed stream where we um, baked using an easy bake oven while I may have been a little bit high on an edible. And that was a fun time. Today, we're doing some fun community games. So if you wanna hang out and have a little, a little party fun time, you've come to the right place. We're gonna be playing some chat guesser, which is geo guesser where chat gets to participate, as well as some Jackbox, some Gartic, some, um, maybe some YouTube, maybe some Pokemon Stadium, dude. Pokemon Stadium for the Switch just came out. So maybe we check that out as well. Uh, this is chat guesser specifically, but oh my God, space spiders. I'm terrified. So we're trying to figure out where we're at right now. We don't know where we're at. I have no idea. I feel like it might be America because some of the writing on the walls is American. <laughs> it's American. They speak American here. It's written in American. Hi, Cactus. How are you? But Sin, thank you so much for the raid. Much appreciated, y'all. Sin is a inc is an incredible gamer. Very kind human. Incredible vibes over there. Go check out Sin. Go drop a follow. You will not regret it. If you like story games, RPGs, Sin is also a master at those. It's letting me keep guessing. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. How far did my Pink Floyd song go? Prez, did you submit Comfortably Numb? Because if you submitted Comfortably Numb, it got down to the final two. Hi, Surfer, how are you? So sad I missed the 420 stream. I got to watch that. Oh, it was so much fun. We had, we had the best time. I was a little, I was a little stoned and I was using an easy bake oven and it was... <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. I still I still ate all of the food, even though it was terrible. Like it's just mounds of re-moisturized powder. That's like the, the essence of the food. And I still ate it. I was like, that's kind of good. Cirrus Minor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Actually, it made it pretty far. I think it made it to the second or third tier. Vizcla, you already guessed. Vizcla, you already guessed. <laughs> It says I already guessed. It doesn't update the guess. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. 
can I can I be a hater for a second? Can, will y'all enable me to be a hater for just a brief moment? Um, I feel like too many people have pickup trucks that don't need them. I feel like you aren't hauling anything around in that. You don't need that. Just stop. You don't need a pickup truck. Just get a regular car, darling. You take up way too much space. I have no idea where this is. I'll be completely honest with you, Chief. Not even a single inkling. It's giving a field in the middle of nowhere. What is this, Australia? I'm so glad you guys agree. Yes, too many trucks, especially in Texas. But they do have small dicks, and there's no other way for them to indicate that. So I get that. Best guess. Oh, shit, dude. <sighs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking middle America, Kansas, Missouri, something of that nature. I'm thinking Kansas. I'm going to guess here. I'm so wrong with my guess. Nah, what seems like Elmac got the closest. We guessed the same exact place. Aren't they on the wrong side of the road? I think this street, because it's white in the middle, it's two lanes that are going the same direction, I think. I'm thinking Kansas, Sweet Home Alabama. The exact same place. Uh, so I'm wrong. <laughs> Sweet Home Alabama, baby. All right, 15 seconds left. I like trucks. I feel like you can like trucks, but being aware of the fact that maybe most people don't really need them, right? They're not hauling anything around in that. So I'm wrong because <laughs> you're down here. Okay, I'm going to submit my guess. Oh God, it's like a machine gun. It's like a goddamn machine gun. It's so unnecessary. Why are you like this? I'm going to turn the volume down. It was... South Africa? Have a good night, mine. Let's get some good sleep. I got a bail early to wake up at a stupid early hour for record store day. Oh, yes. Yes. Have the best time, Prez. Show us your haul when you get home. I want to see what you get. You were so smart. Oh, my God. No one got it, including myself. Did anyone get even close? No. Not, none of us were even on the right continent, y'all. <laughs> I was in Spain. We were all around the world. Some of y'all thought it was Australia as well. So Elmac was the closest with Spain. <laughs> I just said it because I hate Missouri. <laughs> okay, I know we get 15 minutes of free play. Okay, so we have one more minute of free play. We are uncultured swines. Leon, you got to go to bed. Take care, my friend. We'll see you next time. Google Maps still hasn't logged. You want me to do it? Okay, shit. Okay. Oh. Sag. It won't even let me do it. Should we do some McGardic on stream where I draw for you guys and you guys try to guess what it is? Or maybe I play the free version that Cinery linked. What do you think? Google Maps hasn't logged most of Africa yet. That is wild to me. Oh, I love this song. I know we already listened to it. I just love it. It's Rihanna and SZA, like, of course. It's fun. What, which, what, what, what are you saying yes to? <laughs> it's like when you ask somebody an or question and they say yes. Do you want this or this? Yes. <laughs> Can you turn it up a little bit? Oh, I so can. No, little German boy. Don't go to the weed cave. The one that we haven't done yet. Gardic phone looks fun because of Rubber Ross. No, I was just showing laws Rubber Ross last night. I've actually never done it on stream before. I figured it could be fun. How high are you? Yes. Um, Let's see. Gardic phone. I've actually never done Gardic phone.
Um, okay. Anonymous authenticated. Yes. Let's do the authenticated one. Hi, how are you? Um, presets. Oh, this is fun. Invite. Link copied. <laughs> how are you? Five foot ten. Do we use our phone? Can you guys can you do Gardic phone on your on your phone or can you do it on desktop? Or is it is it only desktop? <laughs> Words. Words are hard. You can do either. Excellent. How do we draw? With your hands, presumably. I'll send you the link in chat. I will put the link in chat. <laughs> and then that's how you join, I think. Here you go. Here's the link. Are you ready? Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? There's the link. You have to authenticate with Twitch. You have to log in with Twitch. Um, let's do the normal mode. You join by hiccuping. Do a little hiccup. An open letter to the entire country of South Africa. Dear South Africans, your country looks like the Midwest. That is all. I haven't been in the Midwest in a hot minute. I wonder how it's doing without me. Oh, Spade. Thank you, Spade. Have a wonderful rest of your night, my friend. Always a pleasure to see you. Thank you for popping in. Bangers. Um, okay, so this, this is Gardic Phone. So the way that Gardic Phone works, it's kind of like the game of telephone if you ever played it. So what happens is that the first person either gets a prompt or creates a prompt with words, right? And then the next player, so you have a lobby of like eight people. The next person gets that text prompt and has to draw something based on that. And then the next person gets the drawing and has to come up with a caption that they think was the caption for it. And then it gets passed along and passed along, caption, drawing, caption, drawing. And then at the end, you get to see how it evolves and you get to see how it gets misconstrued and it's very silly and fun. Yeah, this one's fun. I like this one. This song is fantastic. I'm nervous. No reason to be nervous. I cannot draw for shit. Oh, I should probably, here, let me change my title and my, nothing. Gardic phone. All right, there we go. This telephone Pictionary, exactly. Can you send the link again? I absolutely can. Bum, 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 bum. So you. Oh shoot, I can have up to 14 people in here. Sheesh. That might be a very long game though. This music, you're very silly and fun. Wait, that's, I didn't mean to compliment you. It's like draw with friends, draw with friends. I don't know that I've played that one. My PP too small, welcome in my friend. Great to have you. You're in the lobby. Should I leave? No, why would you leave? Who went, one of y'all went, who was it? Secrecy, I'll turn that one on. Estimated, oh, it tells you an estimated duration based on how many people are in here. Oh, that's awesome. I'm more of a sporadic lurker than a commitment gamer. No worries, Elmac, all good. I think that was the sound then. Can you confirm that I dropped out? I'm pretty sure you did, Elmac. I don't see you in the list anymore. This says estimated duration 16 minutes based on how many people we have. So it's not that bad. I thought it would take much longer. We have three slots left. If anybody else would like to join, the link is in the chat. Now we have 11 people. We have 11 out of 14. Bum, bum, bum. Could you hear me guessing every state? No, it didn't do a sound effect. It just popped up in chat and was like, Viscla has already guessed. Viscla, you've already guessed. <laughs> it was very funny. Thank you for, thank you everyone for making me happy. Reaper, thank you for being lovely. Is it gonna dox me or something? I, I'm just gonna show everybody. No, I'm not even gonna joke about that. No, I would not. I would never dox you. I'm not even gonna joke about it. I could be very funny, but I'm not going to. 
I'm not even going to joke about that because that's not a funny. I'm an old man when it comes to Twitch. Same. All it's going to show is your username. That's all. The lawless and will cry if I finish that episode of Clone Wars. So I'm back until I can grow a pair of tits. Spade, do you want to play some Gardic phone with us? If you want to hop in the lobby, let me know. I'll give it a go. My phone is dead, so I'll be drawing for my laptop mouse pad. This could be fun. Mine's going to be so bad. I'm, I'm drawing with a vertical mouse. Here is the link. If you would like to join, we have three more slots open if y'all want to come hang. That was the game sending that, not you. I see. I was, I was directly messaging you being like, we haven't, like, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Just tuning in, kind of disappointed you didn't put any effort in looking good tonight. Really disappointed with the look today, Darian. <laughs> Mad respect to any and all vertical mouse users. We love to see it. It's so much better for my wrist, but holy shit, how am I going to draw with that? How do I even play FPS games? How do I play Deep Rock Galactic? Like, how does that happen? Memphis bringing the sass. I love to see it. In you. I thought that's what was happening. You thought I was messaging you? <laughs> Viz, you already guessed. You already guessed, bestie. That's so funny. She is better at Deep Rock Galactic than me, and I use a PS5 controller. I am not. I am not better. Deep Rock Galactic is hard, but you know something funny that we realized is that from the beginning, we were playing on a challenging difficulty from the very beginning, and we could not win a single mission for, like, hours. We were playing Deep Rock Galactic for, like, eight-plus hours before we finally won a mission. Because we were playing on the challenging mode and we didn't realize. Hold it by the tip of the brush. You guys did listen. You were listening. That makes me so happy. Pure skill. Okay, so we have 12 people. We can do it with 12 people. Let's do it. Estimated duration is 19 minutes. Um, no. Okay, I think we're going to start. Okay, guys, it started. You should be getting a prompt of either writing a sentence or making a drawing, I think. Um, you're coming up with basically a prompt for someone to draw. So something that is TOS friendly, something silly, something fun to draw. Let your mind run rampant. Quite the stamina, 19 minutes, my goodness. I have to watch Obi-Wan's girlfriend die one more time. I'm gonna fucking lose it. How many times has she died? I have to come up with a sentence. Um, 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 I think I did it. <gasps> Why does it smell so good? <sighs> Something smells amazing. Oh my God. What is this? What have you made me draw? Why is it censoring the sentence? I think it does it to keep it secret. I'm not sure why it does that. Why are you Ruby? Uh, uh, uh. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Thank you for the nine months, Ruby. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I can't show you guys because it's going to give it away. But we're just hanging out. We're chatting. We're vibing. I know. I can't see the sentence either. I was like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, boy. Okay. I have to draw. I have to draw. Something smells so good. I think there's food. What is happening? Wait, I think I may have done something wrong in the setup. I think I may have done something wrong. Because what is happening? I can't see my own drawing. I can't see it either. Did I do a setting wrong? Here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let me, let me, let me restart it. I'm restarting the lobby. Hold on. Maybe I did something wrong. Oh. Yep, I did do it wrong. Okay, that's on me. That's not the right link. <laughs> okay, here's the link. We try again. Here's the link. <laughs> There's the link. Okay, let's try again. Creamy garlic noodles. Mom, it smells so good. It smells delicious. Ruby, how have you been? It's so good to see you. You're good. I'm glad to hear it. So, so good to see you, Ruby. Welcome back. Hi, Sco hi Scotty. How are you? I almost called you Scooty. 
How are you, Scotty? Welcome on in. Um, I think here's the new link. If y'all want to join again, sorry about that. I didn't realize that secrecy mode did that. That's my bad. But I've been resting today, a bit tired. I hope you're taking good care of yourself, my friend. I feel like it's been a hot minute. It's so good to see you again. She's only died once, but it's an important episode and a really well-made one. Oh, RIP. I was like, how many times is, is his girlfriend dying? My goodness. I have backed out. Good. Okay, so we have... I'm in there. Laws is in here. Cactus Queen is in the lobby. Godless Weeb is in here. Sub Zero, Cinnery, Slow Fox, Spade, Rayubi, Rach, Little Oddity Games, and 13. The notification sound is the website. If anybody else wants to join, let me know. Otherwise, we're just going to get started with this same group that we had. I've seen like the first 50 episodes of Clone Wars, something like that. Maybe 20, 20 or 50, somewhere, somewhere on there. Okay, let's get started. Um, okay. Pew, pew, pew. Oh my God, this, is, this house smells so delicious. It smells so good, I smell the garlic, it smells amazing. Oh, hi, Wakupe. Oh, thank you. I spent a lot of time on the makeup today. I feel like it turned out good. Oh, thank you, Krista. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Uh, on my way. All right. So, yes, I'm on full cam right now because I don't want to show you guys my drawing because it's going to give away the fun. I'll show it all at the end. Oh, my God. This is good. Um, so. Chat. I have a question for you. Chat, did you ever, did you play any sports when you were in high school slash college? And if you did, what sports did you play? Did you enjoy it? Do you think if you were to go back, you would do it again? Because I was somebody who didn't ever play sports when I was in school. I did like PE, but I didn't ever really do sports after a certain age. And uh, sometimes I wonder if I should have. Oh my God, this is so hard to do at the same time. This is so hard to do at the same time. Um. Okay, all right, we can do this. Yeah, so I never really did sports and I wondered if I missed out on it because I think there's definitely a bonding that happens. I don't even know if this is what this animal looks like. I'll be completely honest with you, Chief. There's like a certain amount of bonding that happens when you do sports. And I didn't really have that. But I suppose any group would have that if you did like choir. Like I did choir and theater. And I feel like I feel like there was a lot of really awesome bonding that happened there, too. But if I had been in sports, maybe maybe I wouldn't be as out of shape as I currently am. Bowling, golf, yes. Both are pretty enjoyable. More so golf. Never too late to start golfing. Ooh, golf is a fun one. There's like a lot of different tools you can use for this as well. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Oh, dear God. Imagine your little by heart would have exploded. I mean, maybe the awakening would have happened earlier. Perhaps it would have happened earlier. The exercise endorphins can definitely be a factor. Yeah, I think I think that probably would have been probably would have been good for me. I just I wasn't into sports growing up. I was like more so into like art and like I wanted to sing. I wanted to act. I wanted to like I wanted to like do artistic stuff, you know, like photography, stuff like that. Ooh, karate. I, I really want to learn some form of like karate, Krav Maga, jujitsu, something of that nature. Like boxing, dude, kickboxing would be so lit. What in the world have I been given here? What is this? What the hell? Oh my God. Um, uh... 
I'm so sorry. I have no idea what I was just looking at. <laughs> Stujitsu. Oh my god. I have no idea what's happening right now. This game is hard. What the shit? I was not prepared for this. Oh my god. Sing it, Beyonce. Girl, sing. Um, pfft. what did I just draw? What did I just draw? Literally, what happened? Oh, uh, it's what LMAX said. It's like Pictionary Online. Exactly, yeah. It's like playing online Pictionary. I can't show you my screen right now because if I do, it'll ruin the surprise. It'll ruin the surprise. And that's the best part of this game is at the end when all of the prompts and the pictures of the entire process are shown. So I don't want to ruin it for you. So right now we're just kind of chatting. We're just vibing. And at the end, it'll be worth it. I need to get a new playlist. This playlist is cycling. Okay. Oh, no. I messed up. Oh, no. Okay. Let me find a new playlist for us. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, wow. Anyone <laughs> have tips on how to stop being hopelessly in love with someone who the timing never worked out with? Oof. That's a tough one. I suppose it's just a matter of acceptance. If the timing just never really works out. You just got to trust the universe, right? Knowing that the right person will come into your life. You got to trust the universe. And I think it's a, a lot of it. A lot of it is being happy with being alone and loving yourself as cliche as that sounds. Um, because finding out what you like and being more aware of who you are as a person will aid you in finding someone that you get along well with somebody that you can be with long term. Did you just start playing? Yeah, so we we put out the link and we got a, a lobby full of people. And so we're uh, we're currently playing the game. It'll take about 20 minutes and then we'll be able to reveal all of the drawings and it's going to be amazing. This is so hard with the mouse. It really is. Holy shit. And when drove me to drink, I didn't have the decency to thank her. Oof. I can tell you it does not work from experience drinking. Be grateful for the time you had to remember it fondly. Be grateful for whatever ways that they're still in your life. That's good advice. Yeah. Can I play next game? If we do another round, we might do Gardic on stream after this, which is a game everybody can all play together. So we might do that next round. I just kind of wanted to give this one a try. I like the question mark in this one. Like somebody drew something and no, and someone had no idea what they drew. They're like, uh, is it this? Question mark? I don't know how to draw that actually. I actually don't know how to draw this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What have you all done? Truly, what is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I have no idea what to draw. Yeah, I'm struggling here. I'm doing this on touch screen. See, touch screen, I feel like would be a lot easier. I've been doing laundry and chores. You're on my TV. All oh, hops. I'm happy to be on your TV. Hope I'm bringing the good vibes. Do you have to draw responsibility or was it respect? It's like, how do you even actually draw that? How do you even actually do that? I need to find a playlist. Let's see. I'm going to look for a playlist. What kind of vibe are we feeling? Let's go into the mood playlists on Spotify. Um, 
feeling happy. Good vibes. A good vibes playlist. <gasps> we got some Kali Uchis on here. Yes. Ooh, we should listen to the new Miley album. I haven't listened to the new Miley album yet. After this Kali Uchi song, we'll listen to the new Miley Cyrus album because I still haven't listened to it yet. Somehow. No, you're all good, Elmac. You're all good. Hard with mouse and a tremor. I bet. I bet. I had a friend in high school who had tremors and she struggled with drawing a lot of the time with for like school projects and whatnot. What in the world? What in the world have you just submitted to me? Some Miley is good. Um, What in the hell is this? Link. I wasn't supposed to say that out loud. Sorry. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I have this habit of when I'm streaming, just saying what I'm thinking, just to fill the silence, and I didn't mean to do it. I fucked up again. Oops, is it blue, Darian? It was not. So we're all just messing around. It turns out mine are still bad. No, I love it. I love it. It's going to be so good. You're welcome, Daz. <laughs> what the hell is this? Oh my God. How am I supposed to draw this? This is not TOS friendly. Uh, this is not TOS friendly. What have y'all done to me? What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. I'm trying this, y'all. We're trying, we're living, we're thriving, we're moving, we're schmoving. How am I supposed to draw this in this amount of time as well, by the way? Like this is art, okay? Art takes time. Okay, sorry y'all, I'm focusing. I'm focusing up. Should we be allowed to write on the screen? I drank coffee, help. What kind of coffee did you have, Nal? Some of these are wild. Some of these drawings are genuinely wild. <laughs> In a golden hot tub. Thank you for the lurk, Ruby. Thank you, thank you, my friend. No words, no words, well shit. Well, it's too late now. Okay, let me switch to Miley. All right, I got Dunkin' Coffee. It's not bad at all. Ooh, is it like super sweet or do you just get like a regular iced coffee? What kind of thing do you order? A draw pad is like hundred bucks, but if you prefer like an artist draw station, I would set you back a decent amount. Yeah, like those, uh, those really nice drawing tablets, mad expensive. <laughs> Hi, Ez. Welcome in. Doing well. How is your day going? The gold color is fire. Oh my God. I would love to show you. This is the makeup look of the day. Do you like? I feel like it looks so good. Are you looking at mine? <gasps> Wait, this is beautiful. Amazing, fantastic work. Someone has serious skills. Okay, who is up in here with the actual art artistry skills? Amazon needs a dark mode, agree, plus one. Is it okay if I do this? Does it anyway? That's me in a nutshell. What? What have y'all been drawing? Merc Oz, welcome in, how you doing? My mediocre drawing skills, feel that, feel that. What does this even mean? I truly don't understand. They're flexing. Oh, I want to see them. I want to see the drawing. I haven't seen it yet. 
the drunken badger in a Russian circus. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little bloopity bloopity. A bloopity bloopity. Okay. Oh man, if I was able to use a drawing tablet right now, that'd be so much easier. Holy balls. What does this even mean? Like, what am I looking at? What is happening right now? Truly, what are we even looking at? You know what I mean? Who are we as a human species? I wanna see the person who's actually very good at drawing. Yeah, so I can't show you at the moment because I don't wanna ruin the surprise. But essentially we're playing Gardic Phone right now. If you haven't played Gardic Phone, it's like the game of telephone. But instead of only a message being passed from person to person, one person submits a, um, a prompt, the next person tries to draw based on that prompt. And then the person who gets that drawing tries to ascertain what the prompt is from that drawing. And then it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth um, until you have no idea. We've lost the plot entirely. Yeah, super soon. We're at 10 out of 12. So y'all, we're almost there. We're two rounds away and y'all will be able to see. What is a Clippy? You don't know Clippy? Clippy, um, the um, Microsoft Assistant, that's a paperclip. My friend kept some of my drunken doodles to use against me if I run for office. Ooh. Well, I want to know what they are. They're probably problematic, aren't they? Whoever submitted this, I look, no hate, no hate at all. What is this? I'm sorry, what is this? What did you just send to me? <laughs> oh, it's a Choco Taco. You're so right. It, you're so right. Oh my God, the song, Miley Girl, sing. Shaming someone publicly, couldn't be me. Could not be me, absolutely not. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Um, <laughs> what? Never mind. Never mind. It's not gonna be good, actually. I lied. I lied to your faces. How do you even. <sighs> Why did I think this was actually gonna be an easy one? It's, it's in fact not very easy. Ooh! Fuck. <laughs> is she even trying? Truly, is she even trying? Hi, Ziz. Welcome in. This is a disembodied mustache. It is indeed a disembodied mustache. No worries, Wakupe. No worries. We're going to have lots of fun games tonight. Don't you worry at all. Amazon box filled with hay. I'm so jaded. That's so far. Miley just sounds like a discount Lady Gaga to me. <gasps> Isn't that like a massive compliment, though, to sound like Lady Gaga? Oh, my God. She's such an icon. I love her. I'm not an artist. I wish I was. I wish I was naturally very good at something. Me, when I'm not immediately good at something, I'm, I'm just, I'm upset. I wish I was immediately good at all of the things, you know? That would be very nice. If I never had to practice and I was just naturally good at it, that'd be lit. <laughs> That's the thing, Duck. Duck is actually a very good artist. And we used to ask him like, oh man, like, you know, how did you get to be so good at drawing? And he's like, oh, practice. Don't tell me that. Tell me that you're naturally good at it so I can just never do it. You know what I mean? The squiggles I gave my tattoo artist and he made lovely art. I don't know. Their minds are just built different. If at first you don't succeed, give up. That's my. <laughs> That's how I live my life. 
Oh, 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 oh. It's happening. It's happening, guys. It's happening. The moment has come. Are you ready? Display mode. Um, manual. Voiceover. I'm going to turn the voiceover on because I think that's very funny. Choose if the albums will be shown from the beginning or from the end. From the beginning. Yeah. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Start. This is my album, okay? T-Rex with tiny arms at a picnic. Ryubia! You stop right now. You stop immediately. This is so good. I love him. I love him. I want to put that on merch. That's how much I love it. <clears throat> Lil Green Dino getting ready to have a picnic. <laughs> oh, Luggy. <laughs> I love, I love, I love food blanket. <laughs> food blanket. I love it. Perfect. Dinosaur picnic. Perfect. Okay, but where does it go from there? <gasps> oh, he has a friend! <laughs> he has a friend! Uh, I love how this story is progressing. Gorgeous. Stunning. Long neck and stegosaurus picnic. Beautiful. <laughs> I love all them uh, i forgot what a stegosaurus was fair that's fair this is just a gray dude with some spike is that guy fiery is that guy fiery keep in mind i'm on a touch screen you know what i love it you guys are so good two dinosaurs having a barbecue oh it does look like a barbecue <laughs> that's so good that's gray fiery actually the second one is just this. I fucking love it. Guy Fieri from Jurassic. I love it. It's perfect. You've captured it perfectly. Also, this line work, I have to say, for this dinosaur, spot on. T-Rex grilling another dino's family. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> You put this evil on her. You put this evil on Laws. She didn't deserve that. He looks angry. He sure does. Lawsy got the dark ending. You put that evil on her. This is the bad end. This is the bad ending. The evil ending. Alien versus Predator with Predator on the grill. <laughs> that was amazing. I really like that one. Gorgeous. Okay, next one. It turned dark so quickly. Our little dark minds. Guy Fieri and the Loch Ness Monster eating a cupcake. I thought it was a T-Rex cooking the dinosaur's family. I mean, who wouldn't think that? Naturally. Hey, look, there's a limited amount of time for coloring. Okay, we do the best with what we got. Okay, so laws. No milking almonds. What now? What's happening? <laughs> Rach, this little face, this gnome's face is everything to me. Also, how did you make, how did you make this almond look so realistic? This is so good. I love it. I'm sorry in advance. Oh no, what happened? What happened? Gnome nut milk. I did what I could with the tools that I had. You did fabulous. This face is everything to me. I love it. Gnome puts poop in milk carton. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no! What have you done? What have you done? I need this in full cam. I need to zoom in on this. Oh, I can't zoom in on it. Holy shit, that's incredible. He's so chill about it as well. I thought they looked like almonds. I saw the almonds. I saw it. Pro artist, motion lines and everything. That's a sexy gnome. I didn't want to be the one to say it. Frame it, put it on the wall. This is gorgeous. An apathetic gnome puts shit into a carton of milk. I'm scared. I'm genuinely afraid. I'm genuinely afraid. <laughs> I mean, definitely captured apathetic. 100%. Like, this is the apathetic face. Well done. The message is getting through. The turd cookies go in the sour milk. <sighs> the turd cookies. The turd cookies. <gasps> no! It's chunky. Oh no. Cake with chocolate on top. Oh, maybe it's not a bad ending. Maybe we got the good ending. Maybe we got, maybe we did not get the bad ending. <laughs> That's what it was. I knew what it looked like. I refused to participate. I feigned ignorance for the good of the of the of the family, okay? For the good of the family, you ignored it. Choco taco. Choco taco. It's a choco taco. <laughs> it looks like Pac-Man eating a chocolate bar. Ham, ham. Looks like he's about to eat. Ham. Chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President. Uh, Givo Art, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Yes, if we do another round, absolutely, we'll 100% be open to viewers. We might be switching to another game after this, though. So stay tuned, my friend. This whole thing was like trying to think about something as you're falling asleep. Why is that so accurate? Okay, this Spider is man fishing on a beach. This is Cactus Queen's suggestion. Oh my god, well done. That's beautiful. I see where this one went wrong. I see where this one went wrong. Spider-Man fishing. Yep. Mhm. Mm Oh, him so cute. I love him. Spider-Man goes fishing. Absolutely. <laughs> Why is that one so scary? Why is that one so scary? This one scares me. This one has Slenderman energy. That's a big old fist. Firmly grasp it. Carnage fishing. <laughs> Holy shit. Hellboy goes fishing. <laughs> Not Hellboy! <laughs> the turns from Spider-Man to Hellboy. He's got the muscles on his hands. Dude's been working out his hands, man. 
Not the Hellboy. Not the Hellboy. You know? That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. For the time that we're given, that's actually not bad. I'm sorry I'm on a touch, a touch screen. You did great, 13. I love it. I love the artistic expression. The hooves and the horns. It's absolutely Hellboy. It's a cute little hair bow. The big meaty fist. All right. Red smoker fishing. Okay. Okay. I understand now. I understand now. I get it. I am Wade. I d look, red smoker. F I was like, excuse me. What does that mean? What does that mean? It's a red, red smoker fishing, I suppose. Is that a scythe? <laughs> Hi, Kai Guy. Welcome in. How you doing? I phoned that one in. Did I Gardic phone it in? He's using his crotch to fish. <laughs> he got too lazy to hold it. He got too lazy, so he just he just used uh, he used his crotch. Pleasant ice fishing. You know you're not wrong. Thank you, Akupe. I appreciate it. Oh, weeb! This is very good. I'm gonna use my crotch scythe. You know I haven't got the time today. I'm gonna use my crotch scythe. That's very cute. Incredible, incredible. Well done. Red man with turbo, turbo cock. That was a good end. Weeb, you're a true artist, an artist and uh, a gentleman. I ran out of time. It was good, I liked it. It's so adorable. All right, <clears throat> Weeb's prompt. Clown about to cry, but trying to hide it. <sighs> Y'all could have been very funny. Y'all could have been very funny with responding to that. <laughs> I was going to say, if you guys drew me for that one, that would have been a sick burn. I can see the sorrow immediately off the rails. Perfect. Nailed it. A hairy boob. <laughs> I mean... Remember when we was like, I love my prompt. <laughs> they kind of did draw me. They kind of came for me. Do you know? Not You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hairy nose. <laughs> Harry knows. This was the prompt that I really liked when it was Harry knows? Question mark? Harry knows? I'm like, I don't know how to make it look more like a nose because then I drew lips and then it just looked terrifying. It looked really scary. So I just left it like this. Nose hair. Nose hair. I mean, yeah. Slow Fox, you, you definitely did a better nose hair than I did. When you brought up the question mark, I knew this prompt was what you were talking about. You're like, nose hair? I left out the nipple to keep it PG. Yeah, you did great. You did great, little oddity. Perfect. You had to, you know, you got to make certain decisions, certain artistic decisions. Nigel Thornberry. Darian's nose hair. And then Laws gets this prompt. Laws gets the prompt of Darian's nose hair. <laughs> Nigel's what I was going for. You nailed it. That's absolutely Nigel's nose right there. Slay. 
Slay. <laughs> The eyeshadow, the eyeshadow is what gives it away. However, if I saw that, I would think somebody just has severe jaundice. Hi, Gary. Yes, this is like digital Pictionary. Exactly. You nailed it. I'm closing my eyes. Slay. Surrealist Darian. Also, this is exactly what my nose looks like. It definitely is not shaped like a penis. Not but so has. Jaundice is the goal, as we discussed earlier. Also, Gary, welcome back. Great to have you. <laughs> Are those balls? Can we get some balls in the chat? Balls in the chat. Balls, balls in the chat. Balls in the chat. Balls, balls in the chat. <laughs> balls, balls, balls. Is that balls. some balls? Balls. Is that balls? Balls, balls. That's some balls. 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 Those are some balls. 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 Those sure are. Balls. I was thinking the same thing, chat. Balls. Balls. I like the balls. little mouth. The little mouth is my favorite part. Balls. 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 Oh my god, I love this. Balls. I love this. Balls. Ask and ye shall receive balls. I really love this image. I can't tell you what it there's a style to it. There's an artistic style to it. It's green. I love it, Sub-Zero. This is, I like it a lot. Very good. Okay, Sub-Zero, what was your prompt? Again, Flamingo playing volleyball. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. What did you think? Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. Adorable. Nailed it. And I like the, the, the duck's legs are like out to the side. Quack. Where's the ball? Oh, shit. You're right. Where is the ball? I forgot the ball. Where's the... Balls. Balls. The duck is Balls. the ball. Merch it immediately. It's in chat. Balls are in chat. Balls. A chicken and a flamingo playing badminton. Balls. You know, you're not wrong. Balls. <laughs> 13 was like, I'll give you one. I'm not giving you both. I'll give you one. I'll give you one for the price of two. <laughs> Without a ball, they could be in prison. It could be some prison, prison birds. A bargain. <laughs> I ain't paid enough to draw both of them. A flamingo playing tennis. You know, we're still, we haven't lost the plot too hard yet. Oh my God, this is so good. Jailbirds, how did I miss that? Ripperoni. This is great. This is beautiful. Bird law, baby. I'm well versed in bird law, actually. This is beautiful. I love it. Flamingo playing tennis. Great. We're doing well. Oh my God. Did you make the flamingo on fire? This flamingo is on fire. It's on fire. Somebody please. Flamingo's tennis game is fire. This shit's fire, bro. Flamingo. Oh, that's fantastic. Lamoy, this tennis game got violent. This flamingo is spontaneously combusting. We're retaining the original theme, which is difficult, but we're making it happen. <gasps> this is so good. You guys did so well on this one. This is so cute. The duck became the tennis ball. Yeah, the duck is right here getting hit back and forth. I do not apologize. What have you done? What have you done? What is this song called? I was thinking, I like this one too. Violet Chemistry. Violet Chemistry is what the song's called. Flamingos doing tennis. They are in love. <gasps> oh. Oh, they're in love. <gasps> oh, OK, 
okay, are they making out? Are they making out with tongue? Are they making out with tongue? <laughs> They're in love. Little cuties. They definitely are. How else, how else would you show that they're in love if not making out with tongue? We love Miley. Gary, I've been listening to this new album. This is my first time listening to the new album and I'm already in love. The tongue makes it more romantic. They're both women. I know because they told me. <laughs> the, the newest sapphic romance. Flamingos who play tennis. I, I also have heard that. Many people have been saying that. This is the good ending, the true ending. Okay. The Cactus Queen. <gasps> oh, this is fantastic. This is great. Dedicated to Cactus Queen. Oh, well done, Laws. Well done. The Flame Ingo. Well done. I think this one kept the plot too because this one's very similar to what I drew as well. Lesbian Flamingos. That's a great band name. Can I get 10%? Because we came up with it here. Chat gets 10% from the Lesbian Flamingos. I didn't get to finish it. It's already perfect. Cactus wearing a crown. This is mine. This is my cactus. <laughs> A little friendly cactus, a little smile, the little happy face. I had to make him happy. He's so cute. You want to be in the band? I'm there, 13. I'm there. I can play a mean tambourine. Don't hug that cactus. It wants to hug you. Yeah, it looks like it might fall over like it's been sliced in half by a samurai. And it's that moment before it like slides off and drops, you know? Hi, Noricio. Welcome in. How are you? Good to see you. I'm kick-ass at the triangle if I can also join this band. <laughs> the cactus toy from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <gasps> you just unlocked a very deep memory. Holy shit. That's amazing. The slide delay in the movies is my favorite. It would be funny if Lesbian Flamingos was all dudes. No, I have to be in it. Please, I have to. A cactus in a pot wearing a crown. Oh, we did well on this one, didn't we? We did well. <gasps> oh, I love it. Do we need to be a lesbian to be in this band? I feel like being lesbian is a state of mind. You know? Look at the little spiky dude. Cactus with a crown. The only one with thorns. I know none of us drew the spikes. Dual triangle. We're fighting with triangles. Oh, that's epic. I want to be there. Only requirement is that you have to do a backflip. Yes, all lesbians have to be able to do a backflip. It's so cute. Oh, so freaking cute. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, Cactus Queen, this has to be your new profile picture. It's gorgeous. A triangle duo, like friends and buddies playing the triangle together. I like this idea. They filled out the cactus. They did an outline. Well done, Rayubi. Gorgeous. Mwah. And the, the little heart. queen less than three. Oh, I love. I love so much. Oh, how did it get even better? How did it get even better? And I love that she rules with an iron fist. Like, she's got attitude. She's like, I'm not going to take any of your shit. She's like, she's given that look. Could also be a pickle. Pickle queen. Cucumber queen. Off with the head. She's about to say that. That's the exact vibe. With the golden scepter. The zucchini queen. Oh, my God. I'm so happy right Cactus now. queen with scepter. Oh, I love the little blush lines. Uh, Zuqueenie, if you will. Zuqueenie. And slay. And, and yeah, Zuqueenie. Hello, Hunty. Hunty has joined us. Hello, Hunter. I love you very much. 
You're doing amazing. I love sweet. the little blush lines. Zucchini. Love that. Well done, team. The cactus is ripping a fat bowl. Oh, it does look a little bit like a piece, doesn't it? Hi, Shen. How are you? Good to see you. Hello, Hunter. I love you. Where are you? Oh, he's going to his corner. He's going to go hang out in the corner. All right, next one. Slow Fox. Sherlock Holmes has a really scary pet F. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this was dude i looked at this and i was like what are you what is this i had no idea what this even was i had no idea i sat there and looked at it and then i had two seconds i had two seconds to put a caption so i apologize i don't even know what i wrote that cactus is coming for revenge for sure. You put its mother in a pot on your window and they're pissed. They're pissed. It was supposed to be a duck. I know where this goes. Oh no. Holmes in his, tw he does look like, oh my God, his tweed jacket. See, I did not get that. I guessed fish as I only saw F. That's a good, that was a good guess. Man with fish friend. I <laughs> I had two seconds. I had two seconds to put it in. <laughs> I love them. I love them so much. I love the little, the little smirk. I fumbled, but Laws picked it up. Laws saved it. She saved the day. Little fish friend. Fish friend. Oh my God, so cute. Typical Tinder fish pic. This is literally the photo that's on Tinder of every dude, every straight white guy holding up a fish. It's not dead. They're posing. They're besties. Riddler shows up at a Sherlock Holmes, at Sherlock Holmes home and leaves a dead fish on the floor. Figure this one out, Sherlock Holmes. Ooh, this song is very good too. This one's called Island. I like this one too. Farmer holding a shark. I suppose you're not wrong. It's a fish waifu right there. Five bucks and it's yours. A fish bowl on its head, like sandy cheeks and SpongeBob. I had that prompt last time and glad we stopped and got this one. A scary pet duck. That would have been very funny. I love you, Deborah. <laughs> I love the facial expression. The facial expression is spot on. Can I change my profile picture to this? Please do. Please do. Farmer and Shamu, Shamu at prom. Gorgeous. Just stunning. A farmer and his favorite fish, Deborah. <laughs> That's Deborah. This is my best friend, Deborah. I love Deborah a little too much. Does Deborah have a bow tie on? Rach, did you put a bow tie on Deborah? I need to know. The lore. Oh, thank you, Waku Baby. We went for kind of a, a sunset looking eyeshadow look today. I absolutely did. <laughs> Deborah deserves that bow tie. She deserves it. And she's serving. It's a look. A bow tie. Lonely farmer hallucinates his wife as a fish inf inflatable. <laughs> oh, shit. Farmer and a fish named Deborah. You're not wrong. Oh, look at them. The fish ranger. The fish ranger. She was deserving of one. She absolutely deserved it.
We're full circle, dude. Full circle. We're back to Spider-Man fishing. Spider-Man again. Spider-Man fishing a second time. Part two, Electric Boogaloo. Amazing. I thought you drew and wrote for each prompt. Oh, I see, I see. A time travel paradox. Spade, this is how we find out that you're a time traveler. This is how we find out. It's Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. I mean, it's not a bad Spider-Man. I can't, I can't deny it. That is. Clippy commits several war <sighs> crimes. my god this is an incredible prompt this is a fabulous prompt well done the green beret as well like the the details are there deborah has been relocated to pet pigs yes yes deborah lives on <laughs> propaganda against microsoft holy shit something was always off with clippy i always knew we've been new Spade said several. This is fabulous. Oh, <gasps> laws, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's okay. It's okay. See, I got this. I got this image, and I had to come up with a, a descriptor for it. This is the photo I got. I was like, excuse me? Clippy the paper clip mugging an innocent man. <laughs> At least Clippy lives on. At least Clippy lives on. You know what I mean? Is it a knife or an egg beater? It does kind of look like a whisk, doesn't it? For more crimes to just regular crimes. We've downgraded to regular crime. Just some just a just a little run of the mill mugging. Honestly? It's not bad. Honestly, it's not bad. Here comes my cursed picture again. I like this one. I want to see what 13 interpreted this as. Man getting robbed by Windows paperclip. We have not lost Clippy yet. Y'all still knew it was Clippy. Yes, Clippy lives on. If we can keep Clippy throughout this entire thing, I will be pleased. The brick wall is nice. It really does give you, it sets the scene, you know. Crime always happens in front of a brick wall. My high ass gravely mistook a paperclip for a staple. My bad besties, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, you know. A staple robbery. A staple. A staple. Holy shit, that's hilarious. <gasps> wow, I love how this has evolved. Clippy does look mean. Clippy looks like angry. Like Clippy is enjoying this, you know what I mean? But this is this has created a very good image. The burglar attacks with a stapler gun. With a stapler gun. That's wonderful. I love this. Sinry, this is well done. The literally like just like the the stapler getting pulled out. Those legs. The legs even look like staples. The stapler robber has staples for legs. Is this an acoustic version of flowers? This is the demo. Wow. What a good album. Poggers. Iron Horse with Knock Knees. Advanced level. Advanced level robbery. Hold on. Let me go ahead and do this. Oh! <gasps> You stop immediately. This is so good. This is so good. I love it. Well done. Well done. Never drawing again. I know I'm like, I, I draw so shit compared to this. Oh, I love this song, too. I should save this one. I should save the whole dang album. I should. 
Well done. Truly amazing. Link in a suit. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I got this one. I think we may have kept the plot on this one. Link in a suit. Look at him. He's so spiffy. Link in dark night armor. Ooh. I need to watch an anime of a bank robber with a staple gun. Yeah, we need to make that happen. Rayubi. We got to see it. We got to see it. At what point do we just have a stream of giving Rayubi prompts to draw? Literally. Literally. He's got to go to a business meeting after this. This is my first one. I had no idea what I was doing. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. I love it. I love the chaos. Yeah, Rayubi, um, can you, do you have an art page where you post your art? If so, please put it in the chat. We want to check it out. His little face. His little face. <laughs> I love his little face. I love his little face. I love his little face. He's just a little guy. Linktimus Prime. Oh, well done. Oh, well done with that. He's just a little guy. Yes, y'all, check out Rayubi's Twitter. Very, very wonderful talent. Nice John, thank tier you! HMD zero Ux 64 gifted a tier one Let go! Ray by TV. John, thank they you for the gifty! Gifting our dear friend Rayubi! Link to Miss Prime. Why are you apologizing for this? This is incredible. Oops, I became the greatest staple gun knight in the kingdom after dying in a fire. Coming to Crunchyroll in fall 2023. It's so good. I want to see what Cinnery drew. Oh, okay. 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 That makes sense now. That makes sense now. Link, but he's in Minecraft and maybe a robot. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> you writing essays out here? Prompts, prompts more like an essay. <laughs> and maybe also a robot. It's like, it's giving Minecraft. Nailed it. Strap, strap on people, mine's coming up. Strap in, strap in. <laughs> he looks like a ninja. But actually, he might be Lego. I can't confirm that. Anyway, give it a crack. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> also, he boops. He beep boops. I love him. He's a ninja. Suddenly, suddenly, Link is a ninja. Do you take commissions? Hey, 13, do you take commissions? We gotta know. Give the people what they want. Ayo, streamer. Ayo, John. What's up? It's giving hya beep boop. Very obviously Link, though. My kitty is laying on me. Oh, are you getting so much love from kitty? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Just like the off-brand one, though. Hi, Biff. How are you? Good to see you. Link holding a sword. We still maintained Link. I love that. <laughs> That's a bit of a personal question. Wait, that's actually very good. That's very good. That's a good Link. Get me drunk and I'll draw anything you want. Let's fucking go. And sounding surprised? I mean, it's very good. Very mean, Darian. Very mean, Arian. Full tingle suit. I love it. Great work. Darian as Link. <laughs> yes! 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 I love it. It's on brand. It's on brand. And I love that, like, the, the, the shirtless part is, like, so nondescript. Like, that's the best part of it. Yes, queen, you nailed it. False. I mean it in the least horny and most canon way as possible. I got you. I totally got you. 
Am I missing a left finger? Yeah, I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect. I love it so much. <laughs> well done. The coloring on that one was very good as well. Frog hopping over a rock. Love it. Is she? Oh yes, I did a shirtless run of Breath of the Wild. That's that's why that's why we were shirtless. It's on brand. It's on brand. And Rach is doing a pantsless run, so that's how we met. So it just it makes sense, you know. Oh, I love him. I love that even the rock is smiling. Yes, go follow Rach if you're into Breath of the Wild streams and just truly good vibes. Go follow Rach. Go drop a follow. Frog testing his limits and having a good time smile. Oh, no. You gave Sub-Zero way too much artistic um, freedom with this one. You, you gave them too much freedom. Testing his limits? Please. <laughs> he's just got some cool sunglasses on he's got a little got a little blunt in his mouth spud mckenzie oh no notes literally perfect the literally perfect this is my favorite my magnum opus, truly. Now this belongs on a t-shirt. I'm not the only one who can draw a frog. <laughs> it's very clearly a frog. Frog smoking weed. Yes! What's the matter, bud? Hunter's here and he wants love. Hi. Do you want to come up? Oh, there's the baby. Hi, baby. Hi. You want some love? Okay. Hi. Hello. Oh, you want hug? Hello. <gasps> yes, look at you. Look at you. Thank you for saying hi. He's humongous. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Should I give him a treat, guys? He has a big head. Okay. Y'all want to see? Okay. Have a tree for him. Good boy, good boy. This a baby. He's just a baby boy. Yes, a good boy. Come, 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 come. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. We're the bestest boy. He wants to, he wants to sit exactly where I sit. Do you want to be the streamer, Hunter? Do you want to be the streamer? Do you want to be the streamer? Oh, he's a streamer. Dog streamer. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. Bork, bork. And no. A dog stream. Dog stream. You want to get down? Okay. Oh, he's a baby. Yeah, the butt slappers! The butt slappers! The endless slappers! Damn. Boy! Damn, boy! boy. Damn, Damn, boy! boy. He's thick! <laughs> boy! That's a thick ass boy! Damn! That's a thick ass boy! Oh, nice! Score! Boy. Thank you so much! Two gifties! Let's go! Those are for you, Hunter. Those are for Hunter. Those are Hunter's gifted subs. Subs for Hunter. I will pass them along, don't you worry. Okay, thank you. Did you guys get to hear him on the mic? Did y'all get to hear him? Oop, I pressed the wrong button. Subs for Hunter. Did you get to hear his ASMR? He was brilliant. Oh, you did so well, Hunty. I'm so proud of you. He is baby. Tim's baby. Good bud slap samples good.
You can use that on any track that you guys have. You can use the butt slaps for anything. Oh, man. Okay. Frog smoking weed. Oh, that's a cool frog. I want to be friends with him. Oh, this, this song. What is this song? This is Jaded. This is from the new album. Stoner giving birth. See, this is the prompt I got, stoner giving birth. And I said, huh? I said, what? Huh? You want me to draw what? Um, so this is what you got. I did what I had to do to survive, okay? <laughs> I didn't see a frog. Where did the frog go? We lost the frog. It was a bad frog. You stop. It was not a bad frog. It was not a bad frog. It was a cute, it was a cute frog. It's the confusion. Exactly. Exactly. That's what makes the chaos. <gasps> 13. No. Oh, that's a vagina. Giving birth. We found the plot again. We found it again. Oh my God, little oddity. That's actually so good. What have I done? Just flabbergasted. It's The Rock. It's called Art Darian. Look it up. Look it up. It's called Art. Oh, The Rock. Stoner. Oh, I see. I see. The umbilical cord and everything. I see it. I see it. It came with like two seconds. It's all good. That's what adds to the chaos of the whole thing. Emerging from a dragon fruit. So that's where babies come from. It answers a lot of questions. The frog is hallucinating. <laughs> Imagine hallucinating that you're giving birth. That would be traumatizing. Vine boom sound effect. I don't have that, but I do have. I have that one. If I was like tripping on drugs, on hallucinogenic drugs, and I hallucinated that I was giving birth. I think that would be true purgatory. That would be that would be torturous. When I start a sentence with um, California girl accent, exactly what I think and do. Um, it's called art, Darian. I do not like imagining this. Okay, let's An move on. Octopus eating a sandwich. I don't remember getting this one. Oh, him so cute. Him so cute. Octopus eating a burger. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! Stop, Cinnery, this is so good. Both of these octopi are very good. Kraken enjoying his meal. God bless him. God bless him. This is <laughs> oh, this is the one where I fucked up real bad. I kept accidentally using the fill tool. Same. Big same. We have accurate octopus anatomy going on. Yes, the dedication to the craft is what gets me. There's a fill tool. Yeah, I think some of us didn't realize there was a fill tool. Yep. Hold on. My headphones are underneath my chair. Ow. Fuck. Ow. <laughs> it's the bucket. Whirlpool waves. Whirlpool waves. Fabulous. Oh, I, when I got this one, I was like, this is very good. I'm sorry, I hit my head on you guys. There's an undo and a redo as well. There's an undo and a redo. There's a fill bucket. There's lots of options on there. This is beautiful. 
This is gorgeous. That Japanese piece of art with the waves, wow, whoosh. Exactly. That's <laughs> wow, whoosh. <laughs> Wait, Rayubi is next. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm going to I'm going to stand on my chair. I'm standing. I'm standing. I'm ready. Stop. You knew exactly what I was going for. Wow. Holy moly. Whipping that out of your ass like it's just casual. Great wave of Kanagawa. That's the one. That's the one. And slay. And ya. Yeah, literally. Don't you get like two minutes to do this? Can I do a chair spin? I'm going to do a chair spin. I'm going to do a chair spin. Okay. It's just a doodle. That's all and it is. Slay. And That's all it is. Smoke weed every day. You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> and oh god, this song takes me back, dude. Sean! 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 Hey, Sean, how you doing? Welcome on in. How was Jackbox today? Oh my God. Yes. Welcome on in Raiders. How y'all doing? Press X to Sean. Sean. Welcome on in friends. Minion Prime number. Welcome in. The hyphen. Welcome. Welcome. Rojo. Welcome on in. Hello Raiders. How we doing? Sean, how was your stream? How was Jackbox today? Hello. Hello. Welcome on in. We're playing a little Gardic phone, having a silly little time. One of our viewers, Rayubi, drew this incredible wave of Kanagawa, and I am obsessed. Isn't it gorgeous? You're doing amazing, sweetie. How's the Gardic phone treating you? Oh, it's going swell. It's going swell. We're having a great time. Um, we realized that Rayubi is the best artist out of all of us here, and we're being shown up time and time again, which is always fun. <laughs> but Jackpot was good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it, y'all. Sean has the best vibes. Very chaotic fun over there. Go check out Sean. Thank you for the raid again. What year was this song? Great question. We've also been jamming to some Miley Cyrus as well. When did this album come out? 2013. Sheesh. That's a long time ago. Sean. 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 I'm sure everybody does that in your stream. They think that they're unique. This song didn't make the 420 list either. Raiders, lovely to have you. My name is Darian. I'm a variety streamer. I play all sorts of games. We like to do a little bit of just chatting as well as some gaming as well. We've been playing Ocarina of Time for the very first time recently. It's been quite a fun endeavor, but we also like to do some just chatting segments and community games and that kind of thing. So if you enjoy the vibes, don't forget to drop a follow, but we are just happy that you're here. And Sean, if you need to go take care of yourself after stream, get yourself some water, some snacks, go stretch your legs, please feel free. Thank you so much for bringing your lovely viewers over here. We will take care of them. But if y'all want to hang out, please feel free. The vibes are excellent over here. It was only a decade ago. Oh my God, a decade. Stop. Wow, I feel so old. Sean! Sean! The Great Wave Painting. Absolutely. You nailed it. <laughs> get to see 13 do it <laughs> my friend matt is the seller artist whenever we play i still have a bunch of their drawings that's like have you guys ever played in jackbox tko where you draw where you um make drawings for t-shirts and they pair them with uh different like phrases that people input as well and you can get them actually made we had a few community members actually order them because we had some unhinged ones last time we played Sounds good, Sean. You enjoy your foods, my friend. Enjoy, enjoy. Thank you again for the raid. I appreciate you. Strap on, everyone. I mean in. TKO is the best. TKO is like, it's a big investment of time just to get all of the drawings and all of the phrases in. But once it's in, oh my God, it's incredible. Can we do that today? Y'all want to do TKO? Balls. 
You're not old until your music was at least two decades ago. Minion, sometimes I listen to music from the 80s and I'm like, I was born in the wrong generation, you know? Da Vinci, eat your heart out, bestie. Look at this. <laughs> Is that a flag? Is that the flag of um <laughs> Sweden? Is that the Sweden the Swedish flag? <laughs> Talent. I bought a shirt that said Arson on it. And was the Elmo Fire meme? I need that in my life. Ukraine, my bad. The Swedish flag after the rebellion, after the rebellion hit. Do we have time? Can we to play TKO? Yeah, we have like two hours left of stream. We could definitely do some TKO. This is more abstract, 100%. The other day she played a song that came out when I was in high school and called it Dad Rock. Llama, which one was it? Which one was it? <laughs> I love Dad Rock. I saw this TikTok the other day that was uh, two girls. One of them had parents that weren't divorced and one had parents that are divorced. And all of the Dad Rock songs, the divorced, the child of divorced parents knew. And I was like, is this just something all the, the children of divorced parents you, like unite over is Dad Rock? Is that what it is? Audio slave like a stone. Yup. <laughs> My keyboard went wild. <laughs> Laws is sauced. It was two girls. Oh no. Oh no. What's the next one? Eating a taco. Fantastic. Love that. Blue da bu di da bu di da da bu di da bu di. I would love to partake in a round of TKO. Let's fucking do it. Does anybody know which um which Jackbox it's on? Is it on three? I think I have it. Givo, we're probably or is it Givo or Jivo? We're probably gonna do TKO after this. So this will be a, that'll be a game that you guys can also join and draw, but we probably won't be doing Gardic. We'll probably do some TKO after this. Spade, is this within TOS? Mong event, welcome in. How are you? Great to see you. It pains me when people call music from my high school days old, but then again, that was around 15 years ago. The time goes so fast. It really does. Music that I was listening to in middle school and high school, and then like, like the Zoomers are like, oh my God, what is this? Ah, uh, ah, uh, have you got... Have you guys seen that trend going around TikTok where you breathe out all of the air in your lungs and then you push down on your throat and it makes a weird sound? I haven't, um, I haven't done it, but I kind of want to. Oh my God, it is PG rated. Do not, please. Yes, I have. Do you play Gardic often? Manga, this is actually the first time I've ever played it, but I think it's really fun. I would love to do this more. I've been kind of experimenting with doing some more just chatting streams every now and again, because I mostly play games. I mostly do story games, RPGs, that kind of thing. But I love the just chatting streams because we can all just kind of hang out. Everyone is learning what their death gurgle will sound like. <laughs> do you think so little of me? Well, I know, you know, <laughs> as lesbians. <laughs> Taco Bell time. Taco Bell time. We appreciate the scope of your genius. That's exactly it. I kind of want to do it just to see what it would sound like. <gasps> Slow Fox, this is great. This is fabulous. I stream surf and draw in Gardic lobbies a lot. Oh, hell yeah. Are you, are you an artiste? I love the artists. I want to see all y'all drawings. I love that emote. Look at it. It's so cute. Nacho time for tacos. Nacho time. Oh my God, this song. I love this song. Oh, it's going to make me cry. I love this song. It's so delightful. <laughs> R.I.P. 
R.I.P. <laughs> Holy shit, this is amazing. They're so sad. Look at the horror. Look at the horror on this taco's face. Nothing can match it. It's my blind baby basilisk OC from D&D. Mongo, you're a D&D &D fan? Oh, I love that. Blind baby basilisk. It's adorable. If that's your art style, I think I would love to see your art. It's so cute. Just chatting feels like so much how I would imagine a sleepover with Daz. Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so glad y'all are here. Their nacho blood is on your hands. This is really well done. The Taco Bell Massacre. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> they're dead. You killed them and they're dead. Cactus Queen, this is so well done. Poison Pacman. It didn't go well for me. Poison Pacman. <laughs> It does look like poison Pac-Man. Wow. That's very well done. This is well done all around. I think we did well. She can see things we can't. She sees 10 years into the future. She really does. Can't draw tacos, but I do a good Pac-Man, clearly. You really do. That's so well done. Pac-Man has a cold. Okay. Oh, he, you have to clean him. You have to clean him. He's dirty. <laughs> I, 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 I gave him a little bit of snot. Just a little, little bit of snot. I didn't want to give him too much. How else do you make somebody look sick? You give him a little baby bit of snot and then the Kleenex that goes off. That was fun. Is that it? Oh, is that the, oh, wow. A little bug, just a little one. That was so fun. We'll have to do that more often. That's incredible. A wild ride. That was beautiful. A little boogage. Nice art, thank you. I tried my best. That was truly a roller coaster. I'm jealous that Darren got a month with you. Exactly, as you should be. As you should be. All right, y'all wanna do... Y'all want to do some. Oh, Laws has been sending me the screenshots of them. This is fantastic. Thank you, Laws. Laws sent me screenshots of some of these amazing pieces of art. Okay, so let's get going. Let me get this game running. I need to switch categories as well. Uh, party pack. Three. Yeah, it's party pack three. Iklo, welcome in. Yes, we're about to hop into TKO and we will be opening up to everybody in the chat. It's going to be Jackbox party pack three is the one that we're in, but you can do, you can just do regular Jackbox party packs. I think there's like a, a category for all of them. I'm pretty sure. Would you like me to leave a spot open? No, get your booty in here. Get your booty in here, Laws. Oh my God, this game is always so loud. Okay. TKO, please. I give all my artwork to other people to use. That's how it ends up going, right? Somebody just like pairs your artwork with a funny like sentence and then you lose. It's like, but I drew it, but I am the artiste. Okay, play game. I've never played this before. I'm gonna do it on my phone because I feel like it's easier to draw on the phone than it is on desktop. So you need to open up a either a browser on your computer or on your phone, and you just need to go to jackbox.tv. I'm going to mute the game because I want to listen to my music. And I'm going to give you a code.
Um, I should probably require. Yeah, you're going to have to log in with Twitch as well. You're going to have to link your Twitch account just because we don't want people coming in and making up names that are not. Okay, Laws, I sent you. Oh. Laws, I sent you the code. I want to get Laws in here and then I'll open it up to everybody. So you just go to jackbox.tv and you put that code in and then you're good to go. Yeah, so you either open up a browser on your computer or you open up a browser on your phone. And if you use your phone, you can use like a touch screen to draw, which might be a bit easier. Does Jackbox let you use a tablet? Yeah, so basically anything that you can open a browser on. So if you can open Safari with your iPad or your, your tablet, you should be good to go. Pajamo! Hello, Padgy. How are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, Padgy. Okay. Um, the code. The code, my friends. NRSX is the code if you would like to join. Happy B Day. Thank you, Padgy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, I like this one. I think I like every song from this new album. It's very jammy. Yes, no bad names. No TOS, breaking TOS names. <laughs> I'm 99% sure you can join the audience as well. Yes, so if you guys want to participate but you don't want to draw, you can also join the audience and you can make votes on which ones you like the best. I'm pretty sure. Yes, the game filled up fast. We are already full. There's only eight slots total, and I'm at one of them. But you guys can be a part of the audience, and you can be a part of the game if you like to. Did I get in? You did, Laws. You did. You did indeed. What are you supposed to type in that sentence? Um, a victory quote. So basically, if you win the game, it'll just, like, pop up above your head with a little quote. So you can put, like, um, uh, uh, bleeble blorble, if you'd like. Yes, Weeb, you got in. Yeah, like your victory speech, exactly. We got three of you in the audience. Okay, so I think... Very nice of you to say, though. Okay, so I think we're ready to start, my friends. I think we are ready. Let's get going. Glorble glob, exactly. Bleeble blorble. She is uh, the queen. She is the queen of improv. So he's going to tell instructions. The instructions are, uh, you're playing TKO. We're making t-shirts. It's going to ask you for phrases. These phrases are going to get put onto the t-shirt. And then you're going to have drawings that get put onto the t-shirt. So you want to come up with silly, short little phrases that would be funny to put on a t-shirt, as well as drawings that would be funny on a t-shirt. You're going to end up drawing a few of them. Um, so you get a little bit more time than we did in Gardic Phone to draw them. Your aim is to just make everybody laugh. That's the goal. That's all you got to do. Um, we're not listening to the audio because we're listening to our own jams at the moment. And it's going to be cacophonous. Can we draw an unforgiving curse? You could certainly try. You could try. Actively unfunny as possible. Well, maybe you'll be so unfunny that it loops back around to being funny again. Okay, so now you should be able to draw on your guys' devices. I think you have to draw two things. So manage your time. You can change the color of the shirt as well if you look at the bottom and you can have different colors. So just draw whatever you like. Draw whatever you like, Dorlin. Oh my God, party in the USA. Can y'all, can I get some varied jams in the chat? With a dream in my card again. Fame excess. Am I gonna fit in? Look to my right and I see the Hollywood sign. What am I drawing? The world may never know. Does this have a fill tool? The answer is no. 
So I'm having to color with my little fingers, with my little fingers. Drawing in Microsoft Word to feel included. <laughs> Please do, Padgy. Please do. Tell me what you're drawing. Keep me updated. My head like, yeah. This is another one of those ones where it takes a little bit of time for us to get to the funny part. But just vibe with us. Just hang out. And it'll be very funny, I promise. Oh my god, this is so hard. Why did I do this to myself? I didn't even finish, bitch! What happened? Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can still submit, you can still submit. So now we have another 90 seconds. We should have two drawings. We should have two drawings submitted at the end of this. So we gotta speed run this chat, we gotta speed run. Oh God, I gotta draw, I gotta draw another one, don't I? Oh. It's fine. I only did one drawing. It's fine. It's fine. If you draw a penis, I swear, I swear to Christ. If you, if, if I just get a bunch of penises in here, y'all are getting banned forever. I think we all only did one. Except Null. Null got two in there. Well done, Null. Following instructions. Fantastic job. Hunty! I love you. Have you all seen the videos of when people will use makeup brushes on their dogs? They'll like put the, the brushes on the dog's face to make them feel included. Some days I want to do that. No ween tonight. No penis in this, in this club right now. They're... I feel Jesus in this room tonight. I only did one as well. It's okay. Sounds good, Cactus. We'll see you soon. If only I hadn't muted the instructions. <laughs> oh, God. I had a neighbor who would dye their dog neon colors. That's epic. Were they ever pink? Suggest a phrase or slogan. I think you can do as many as you want. Something funny or clever or anything at all. This is the part that I love. I love coming up with captions. Um... Is this a cover? Queen shit. Darian not checking instructions. Couldn't be me. Could not be me. Uh, okay, now you're gonna get pairs of drawings and phrases and you have to try to make the funniest shirt. This keyboard. <laughs> Is it this keyboard, Laws? Are you using the Logitech one? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, my thing crashed? Oh no, Ryubi, no! Ripperoni. Good enough, you know, it's good enough. It checks out. I drew half a picture and submitted thinking it would give a second. Oh, no worries. It's all good. You know, trial and error. We make it work. Pajomo, no way you came in here and said, I think the dog died. I'm, you're getting, you're getting out. You're getting a timeout. Oh yeah, you might be able to rejoin since it's account bound. Chapter two, Shadow of the Shirt. Versus. Fart. 
And by fight, I mean enter your votes on your device. This drawing for the one on the left is doing things to my brain. This one on the left, dude? This conveys an emotion. <laughs> That's actually so fucking good. I'm so sorry, Deborah. Yeah, voting is very quick. It's all very quick. I'm so sorry, Deborah. Versus. <gasps> Jesus born, it's Jason Christ. Oh my God. Wait, y'all did so well. Not sorry enough, Jonathan. Not sorry enough. I think I'm back in. Hell yes. I was going to wear my TKO shirt to the concert tonight. You should have. I would have been funny. Jason Christ. <laughs> I love that drawing as well. Well done, team. Uh, okay, versus eat shit. <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Who is that little fella? Who is that little guy? Who are you? Oh no, who is he? Who is that little fella? Hey, Dobakin, how are you? Beast boy. Who gave you permission to use my picture? <laughs> oh, I can't listen to this. That song seems to me cry. Eat shit! Shrek Jr. <sighs> Mom says I'm special. Welcome back, Cactus. Uh, I did not drew. I did not. I did not drew it. Oh my god, English. I didn't draw him. I just put the drawings together. Welcome, Gummy Giraffe. How you doing? Great to have you. I love him. I love him. You drew him, Laws. I love him. Who's the little green guy? Versus. We all went with green. A lot of us drew green fellows. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Oh, you didn't draw the little green dude? Which one did you draw? Oh, I like the song. I really like the eat shit, sh the eat shit shirt, which is tough to say. Stroop waffles. That sounds delicious. The tiny thumb looking guy. I think we've all d done very well here. <laughs> oh my God. Who drew that little baby Yoda? What the fuck? Who drew that? <laughs> Oh, who drew that little guy? Who's that little fella? Who's that little fella? I want to buy. Did you draw this, Darian? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. A little nodule. A little feller. Darian wins. Versus. Why did we all draw little green people? That's wonderful. That is incredible. The artistry. We all drew little green people. What is that exactly? It's art. That <laughs> frog weed. <laughs> we went for the little green people and honestly love that for us. We have a single brain cell we're sharing between us and it's green. Streak winner, gauntlet winner. Let's fucking go. Well done, team. Chapter three, back to the dojo. So I think we we draw again and we do some more phrases again, I think, for another round, I think is what we do. Oh my God, the climb? No, too emotional. Too emotional. Okay, back to drawing, team. Okay, for those of you who aren't drawing, go ahead and suggest stuff for us to draw if you're in the audience, please. I need your help. Mm. Oh my God, Miley. Pump it up, Miley. Pump up the jam. Oh, you know when you draw something really big and then you're stuck coloring it in? 
Jason Christ. I'll draw him for you. Chunky Dunks. Chunky Dunks! Come on down to Chunky Dunks. We got your chunks and your dunks. There we go. Draw very Darian. Okay. If no one picks your drawing, it doesn't get shown. Yeah. If no one picks it, then it won't get shown uh, on the t-shirts. I experienced that many times. Oh. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. Your drawing will get shown this time. There's just so many good drawings, you know? How much time do I... <gasps> 10 seconds! Who Got it in there. Got it in there. Okay, second drawing. Let's go. Oh, there was only one drawing that time? <laughs> okay, all right. We're coming up with slogan slogans. Um... Um, I submitted. I truly did. I believe you. She submitted. She submitted. I believe it. Um, 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 uh, Whoo! Let's fucking go. Okay. Now try time to create a t-shirt. Did y'all really draw a penis? Did I really get a penis? Not y'all drawing a penis. Not y'all sending me a penis. Which one of y'all was it? Which one of y'all sent a penis to my phone? Absolutely not. <laughs> Duck Raiders! Welcome in, Raiders. How are we doing? Lovely to have you all. Welcome on in. Y'all can help us vote on these t-shirts. Which one do you like the best? Oh my goodness! Look at these drawings! Well done. Duck, how was your stream? How was Lu 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 Luigi's Mansion? Did you get spooked? Did we get spooked in Luigi's Mansion? How did it go? Y'all hanging out here. If you want some variety you want some retro games you want somebody who is very good at video games go check out duck duck is my real life brother and very good at video games he is where i got my love of video games so go check him out you beat it no way you beat it in one stream let's fucking go and i only cried three times well done i'm proud of you i love that drawing just farted <laughs> My body is a temple, and by a temple, I mean it's Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> Fuck yes. But welcome in, Raiders. Lovely to have you. Hi, Bianchers. Hi, Yo-Yo. Hi, Duck. Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, shorter than I thought. He was so scared and so brave. Truly an inspiration. Shout out to Duck for being so brave. It's quite a short game. Only like, what, five, five and a half hours? Or were you chatting for a bit at the beginning? <laughs> don't do drugs cocaine like five hours damn that's a quick game are you gonna play the newer luigi's mansion for the switch you can borrow my switch if you want i'm so fucked up <laughs> we were y'all chatting about D, D. whenever i hear duck chatting a lot before his stream or at the beginning of the stream i know i know it's always going to be about D. &D. Might play the new ones? Well, you can borrow. You can borrow my Switch if you want to play the new Luigi's Mansion. Just let me know. <gasps> oh, I love him. I love that little frog fellow. I love him. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Very Mama made some delicious garlic noodles. I don't know if they're delicious, but I'm assuming from the smell that they're delicious. So go get yourself some noms. We're just having some fun doing a little community night over here, playing some games. We were playing Gardic Phone, and now we're playing TKO. I smelled it too. It smelled so good. It was incredible. Versus. <laughs> I 
I love the look in his eyes. He's so happy. He's blissful. Look at that face. I love him. I love him. Is that Shrek? Well done, Laws. Well done. Punctuation does matter. Hillbilly, brother, lover. <laughs> Recently divorced. Divorced with two V's. I love this song. Punctuation really does matter. True. Real and true. Don't bully my typing. <laughs> it all comes back to frog. Rayumi! Hi, Stradivarius. Welcome in. How you doing? Yeehaw. <laughs> He's just a little fella. He's just a little fella. He's just a little guy. Frogs are totally in. I agree. I should go get my Man I Love Frogs t-shirt. Frogs are so in this season. <gasps> Look behind me. Look at the beautiful sun lamp. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. You recovered from baking? I sure am. I sure am. I got a good night's sleep. I got baked and did some baking. It was a good time. Y'all liked the yeehaw? No way. Ro Froggy so happily. <gasps> it's like those photos of Nicole Kidman when she got divorced from Tom Cruise and she's like singing in the streets and she's dancing. That's the exact vibe. The two Vs make it more accessible to languages that use W and V in the wrong ways. Exactly. Exactly. Currently wearing my little guy outfit versus yeehaw. <laughs> Tough decision. Tough decision. Hmm. Froggy's so happy he's recently divorced. He's so he's so stoked on life. That's a tough one. Yeehaw is just a little guy. He's just a little fella. Yeah, so people, when they're building the t-shirt, they have to pick it. That's when your, your drawings will show up. So sometimes your, your drawings won't get chosen. Like there's several of mine that haven't shown up as well. It just all has to do with like the prompts that come up. If it matches up with like a slogan to put on the t-shirt. Yeah, we're, we did okay. Considering we forgot to do two drawings, we're fine. We're doing great. Currently wearing my little guy outfit is so good. I know all the t-shirts. Well done, guys. Well done. Weeb might take this one to the end. This might be a winner. <laughs> the, the energy of this one. The energy of like hands on hips. Eat shit. I love it. I love it so much. Also, how, is, how are you guys feeling post 420? Did anybody get baked? How are you feeling today? Having a little weed hangover, perhaps? Eat shut. Very to nails. Eat shut. It's so good. Still baked, Sonic. I love to see it. Still baked into the next day. Is me? Our drawing? Wait, nobody actually drew this? Wait, no one actually drew that? That was from the video game? <laughs> That's very funny. That's very funny. <laughs> AI art, disgusting, disgusting. I slept so good last night, same. I slept so hard. I smoked a Jay and Silent Bob joint. Is that just like a huge joint? Is that just like a big boy joint? I want the Jesus board as Jason Christ on a shirt. That was, I will take ownership of that one. I definitely did uh, that slogan. Stream yesterday felt like when you feel drunk around other people, other drunk people, even if you didn't drink anything yourself. I'm glad that it was contagious. AI made the funniest shirt. That's disappointing. Hey, Pleb, welcome in. We do not support AI art in this household. We do not. <laughs> Eat shot. 
<laughs> Rigged. How are you, Pleb? Welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, so we have some options. We have some some options, team. Let's see. We could do another Jackbox game. Let's see. What do we have available? What Jackbox games do I have? This song is also a banger. There's also Quiplash. Quiplash, Blather Round, Champed Up, Talking Points, uh, Trivia Murder Party, Split the Room. What are y'all vibing? Yeah, Quiplash is a lot of pressure. Split the Room, Trivia, ooh, I like Trivia Murder Party. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick little break. I need to get some more water. So I'm gonna take a quick little break. So I'm gonna do Gardic. Uh, hello, where is Gardic? Gardic. Dot io. Draw, guess, and win. That's the one. No, that's not it. Which one is it? Which is the one I normally do? Gardic on stream. This is the one. I was like, which one do I normally use? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a quick little break, grab myself some water, stretch my legs. I implore you to get yourself some snacks, maybe get some water, um, take care of yourself. Excuse me. Shush. Hey, take care of yourself, Rach. Thanks so much for hanging out. It's been lovely having you. Yes, have a wonderful weekend. Take care, Rach. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to have you. Yes. Okay. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do a Gardic while I'm AFK and then I'll come back and we will decide if we want to do maybe a trivia murder party or maybe Gardic on stream. We'll see what we want to do. Got a cute dog next to your name. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And there will be some clips on stream as well when I am AFK. All right. I'll be right back. See you soon. I'm also going to run some ads while I'm gone. Hi. Not that one. There we go. This is our goth unicorn unicorn goth clown look do we have tape this is yes this is this is our horn i don't think the tape would stick to be honest this is our look ta-da did i nail it did i get it did i nail the look we're horny for the horn hey okay, shit okay okay all right uh, shit. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I don't know what my volume is at for Google Chrome. Hold on. Come. <laughs> Scared the absolute Jesus out of me. Look at that cutie little thing. Shit. Look at that shit. What do you think? It's fucking magic, isn't it? Oh, oh. Fuck. It's magic. Okay, we're going in. It's called a board. It's a square of wood. At least you don't have the screwdriver at an angle. Fart in my butt. I can't believe I forgot about that. I get you. Don't you worry. Hiya. See, my wrench did come in handy. Oh, goodness. Oh, looky, looky. Ready for some nookie. <laughs> That's my new shtick now. Oh, my God. Oh. Why is he giggling? Are we, did we get to the sex? We about to do the sex? I want I want the pillow bed. Oh. I want to sit on it. I don't know what that is. Oh jeez! 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 There's no cheese on my screen! It's a sea of cheese! I'm here, all team! Moving. I'm here! <laughs> You're in the sea of cheese! Quick, grab my hand! Grab my hand! 
Don't get sunk oh, no. into the sea of cheese. It's taking no. Oh my God. Hi. Hello. How we doing? I'm here. I'm back. Cheese. Oh, hello. How we doing, team? Oh, thank you for the welcome back. How we feeling? Let's go ahead and decide what we want to do. So I have some options. So Gardic Show is a game where I am given a prompt that you guys cannot see, and then I attempt to draw it, and you guys have to figure out what I'm drawing. So that's an option. Uh, we could play Trivia Murder Party. We could... Um, we could do some Switch games. I know not everybody has a Switch. White woman jump scare. A white woman! Geo bingo. What exactly is it? What exactly is it? Geo bingo. Multiplayer street view bingo game. Sign in with Twitch. Let's see. Oh, trivia, you're a murder. First one, please. Okay. You. Oh my God, this song is so old. I love it. Um. Yeah, we can do a round of. We could do it all. Honestly, we still have lots of time. Want to do Gardic Show for a bit? Why don't we do that? Okay. Excellent. Um. I think I need to set it up specifically so that way, I am covering up the correct part of the screen. Gardic show is cool. Excellent. Fantastic. Well, let's do it then. I have to put my camera here though. <laughs> there. That looks totally normal and not at all weird. It's fine. This is where I meant to be. Okay. Um, system words, 90 seconds. Let's do 10 rounds. We'll do it all. We could literally do it all. Right? The sun lamp looks so good. Let me move this because it's harsh in my vibe. Words to look for. Set a timer and then everyone has to try and find those things on Google Maps. Oh, that is fun. Okay, yeah, for sure. We'll do this first. We can do it all. Fuck it. We'll do it all. All right. Let's do this. So the way that this game is played, my friends, my friends, what will happen is that I am the only one who's drawing. So I will start drawing things and you guys will have to guess what I am drawing. I am covering up where it displays the words. So you guys will have to guess and all you have to do is type it in chat and it will count as a vote. But Darian might try to uh, try to confuse you. She may. So, you know, good luck. I should probably switch these. Hold on. Oh no, I can't. Cause it's capturing that monitor. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just play like this. Oh, all right, let's do this. You ready? Are you ready chat? Are you ready? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what color to use. So many colors. Start guessing. What do you think she's drawing? What is she drawing? What could it possibly be? Well done, Null. Well done. Mount Everest. Uh, oh my God, such a similar prompt as last time. Tesla stock. Well done. Oh, this is good. This is topical. Love this song. <laughs> that looks funky. That looks funky, chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gimp suit. I don't really know what it looks like. I'll be completely honest. I don't really know what it looks like. I changed to gray, bitch. This is supposed to be gray. 
<laughs> what is she drawing? It's a scythe. Nice! Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. See, it was a reference. It was a reference to earlier. Because he's a fisherman, remember? He was fishing earlier. She tricked us. <laughs> Is this nothing else matters? Oh my God, this, this cover. This cover, this Miley Cyrus covering Nothing Else Matters is like my emo girl hours. I'm like looking out the window, there's rain falling against the window and like a single tear is being shed. You cheeky, you clever girl, you clever minx. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Okay, 90 seconds. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Enjoy the jams. Uh, never mind. undo. It's fine. Everything's fine. Boobies. Three boobies. Oh, this cover is so good. Feel the music, chat. Feel the music. Start guessing. What do you think she's drawing? Miley did a Metallica. She she sure did. I think these are the colors. <laughs> what the fuck? Oxygen mask. I mean, that's a hard prompt, to be fair. That's a tough prompt. I know. It was that or the other word was wilt. Excuse me? Will Wheaton? What? It's too specific. A hospital mask. Wilt from Foster's Home. Oh, I forgot that was even his name. I thought his name was Walt. It was in a and it was in a plane. I was trying to signify that with the with the chairs being the same. We're all oxygeniuses. <laughs> what does any of this mean, brother? This will be a quick one. This will be a quick one. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm gonna be really elaborate with it though to make it last longer. That's not how that looks, Darian. <laughs> Fuck. I hadn't even drawn the nail yet. I hadn't even drawn it yet. I was still drawing the hammer that goes to the nail. Did you draw the hammer backwards? I think I did. I was trying to draw the, the other side of it and I just couldn't make it happen. Elizabeth, yes, Elizabeth is here. Elizabeth Bay. Oh, okay, no, I got it. No, I got it. No, this is it. This is the moment. This is it. This is the moment. Um, 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 I don't know what color to make it. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me 
mom said you have to let me play the game. Mom said you have to let me play the game. You have to let me play the game. Mom said it's my turn. <laughs> Not fair! Not fair! Y'all know me too well! Lesbian. I didn't have my headphones in while you were yelling at me. Mom said it's my turn to play the game! It's my turn on the Xbox. They predicted. They predicted so well. Okay. Um. Let's see. All right, 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 all right. Tuba with the gas cloud coming out. I don't know what angle I'm hoping to go for here. An uh, an a top down angle, apparently, apparently that's what we're going with. That is apparently what we are doing here. Kerchow! Kerchow! <laughs> what is it? Is it not making sense? Is it not making sense? <laughs> Apparently, I wanted to go for a top down view. Apparently, that was the vibe I was going for. Black lines. Windshield wipers. Window wipers. <laughs> I was sure it was a toilet lid. <laughs> Oh, this cover is amazing. Miley's cover of zombie. Uh, I can't use one of these words because it's a slur. I know. Um, I also, I don't know how to draw the other one. Can I just show you guys? It begins with an E. Maybe not a slur. It's an outdated term that we don't use anymore. We're not supposed to use it anymore. Do you want us to guess the slur? <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Guess the, no, no. You're lightning fast. You were ready for it. I know. I know. Guess that slur. Yes, we don't use that word anymore. For those of you who don't know, we don't use that word anymore. Okay. Ooh. So I'm going to clip my hair up again. Yes, Inuit is the preferred term these days. Yeah, recently, in recent years, um, it's be, it's kind of fallen out of favor. Inuit is uh, is the preferred term these days. I'm just gonna pin it up a little bit. I'm gonna pin it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to draw this. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. Weeba, time out. Slug is a slug. I'm not entirely sure on the history of it. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure there's probably some article. It was commonly used in Alaska to refer to Inuit and uh, Yupik. Tits, little buttholes, tiny little cucumbers. cucumbers. Just look weird. Hate them pickles. It's a colonial so name I... imposed by non-indigenous people. So it was 
imposed by colonists and they're like, that's not what we like to be called. That's essentially all it is. I guess slug first. Uh, Gardic show is rigged. Rigged. Uh, let's see here. On my screen, I was first. Well, you guys are all winners in my eyes. You guys are all winners in my eyes. Are you ready for this next one, team? Oh, that's fucking good, dude. That's fucking good. Tell me that's not good. That was actually a very good drawing, and I'm proud of myself. I'm quite proud of myself. No worries, chilling gamer. No worries, my friend. Definitely want to know why we're not using the words, right? For sure. Yeah, not all people are actually in you it. So now we need to know the actual term. So I guess it's just asking questions, right? Fantastic drawing. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. A dissolving Starbucks straw. A dissolving paper straw. Most definitely. First one I recognized. Oh, right. Asparagus. I love asparagus. Do y'all like asparagus? Mm, I have two good suggestions here. Which one do I go for? Guys, should I do one or two? Not the P thing. What's the P thing? One, okay. This one's a little bit harder, but I like it. I like a challenge. Okay. Uh, no fucking way. No fucking way. Are you kidding me? Is that a joke? You're a psychic. You're, you're getting, the, somebody's whispering the answers to you. That is the only explanation that makes sense. Clearly a red barn. It's gotta be a farm. I'm going to ban weeb right now. <laughs> Just hide it for the first 30 seconds so you can draw honestly. Streamer needs to have her fun. Weeb wins. Anyway. <laughs> You crickets me. It's a battle of the crickets. We're start throwing crickets at each other. Don't leave, don't believe anyone really likes asparagus. They just like slathering stuff in mayo and then using the word slather. I love the word slather. You know what's good slathered in mayo? Girl, take a corn cob, a corn cob, right? That's grilled. Put take a bit of cupy mayo. Drizzle it. Women Put a little Cupy mayo on that bad boy and then eat it. Delicious. Mayo on corn cob is so good. Dios mio. Sitting with this expression. <laughs> Very deme. How did I get 70 points? That's a good question. I think you must have won a round, didn't you? Game crash before we saw the leaderboard. Ruh row. Second place is like half of the goddamn, st literally. We've got all of the points. I love my amazing uh, psychotic powers in my other pants. I didn't bring them with me today. Be nice to leave. This is all he has. British accent. I've got you. I've got you, my friend. Who is slathering asparagus in mayo? That's the thing. I have never done such a thing myself. I've never put mayo on asparagus. I love to roast asparagus in the oven. And then put a little, balls. put some bowls on it. Put a little bit of garlic salt on it. And it's delicious. It's all it needs. It's very simple. A little bit of olive oil, of course. It's delicious. So good. 
Asparagus is interesting, like Brussels sprouts. Both help counter strong, delicious flavors, so they can be delicious again. I can't do, I can't do Brussels sprouts. Maybe I'll try them again because I'm, I'm a bit older since the last time I tried it. Two girls, one mayonnaise. That's my new title. It's my new title. It's my new title. There it is. Well done. <clears throat> Hello, Lulu. Welcome in. How you doing? Lovely to have you. Got so bored of asparagus when I was younger. I kept having to go to business meetings at fancy places and asparagus was apparently every place's idea of fancy. <gasps> anybody, does anybody know the song? Does anybody know the song? Anybody know the song? Who knows the song? I need you to stand up. I need you to stand up if you know this song. This is a banger. This is a certified banger. This comes on the club, dude. I'm on the dance floor. Mm. Just wait till wait till the chorus hits. Wait till the chorus hits. Wait, 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 wait. If you buy asparagus from the Maryland Eastern Shore, there is enough metal content that it will dance in the microwave. No way. <laughs> That's incredible. Wait, 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 wait. VOD watchers, listen to See You Again by Miley. Don't you dare crickets me. Don't you dare crickets me. Banger, banger. Sorry, I had to, I had to feel that moment. I had to be authentic to the moment. And that was the moment. Brussels sprouts, cut them in the quarters, salt, pepper, garlic powder, olive oil, roast in the oven. So similar to asparagus. I should give them another try. I should give them another try. Now it's exactly what I signed up for when I joined this community, that fantastic title, Two Girls, One Mayonnaise. What could go wrong? Should I go to sleep or play video game? You should play video game. What video game are you playing? I can't remember what I did last week, but I remember every single word to these songs. Oh, oh this album, this album was everything to me. She's just being Miley. Yes, this is part of my soul. Want to give this geo bingo a try, chat? Uh, play with friends slash chat. Oh, this is a whole goddamn thing. Oh my god. Oh, this is a lot. That's a whole lot. Sinery, this is stressing me out. Oh my God, this is stressing me out. Okay. This is gonna be hard. So you basically chat, I have to pick things that we will then have to try to find in Google Maps. So right now I'm looking at different prompts for different things that we have to find. So I'm just, uh, Struggling to find things that I think would be easy enough to find. You can join here. Wait, you can join already? Oh shit, you can. Nice. Oh yo, freelance. Freelance. How are you doing, Freelance? Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How was your stream? Hello, hello. Playing some Monster Hunter. How is Monster Hunter going, my friend? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. You like my Kirby plush? Kirby plush. Me again. Hi, Freelance. How you doing? How was your stream? How is Monster Hunter today? Did we take down any monsters? It's good to see you. I feel like it's been a hot minute. Wonderful to see you. Can we do trivia? It's too late for me to learn new things. I know. I'm like, this is a lot for me. Might take a long time. I know I'm a bit stressed. How about a game of Tetris? 
I've got installed. Okay, guys, we have to help Spade decide what to play. Genshin, Cyberpunk, Outer Worlds, Apex, Momodora, Code Vein, and Battlefront 2. I vote... I vote... I don't know what half of them are. I would go Cyberpunk. <laughs> play Yakuza, literally. Laws has been so into Yakuza recently. Doing a little celebration for my birthday. Is it your birthday, Freelance? Is it your birthday and two-year stream anniversary? Hey, congrats on your two-year stream anniversary. That is massive. Hey, congratulations. Watch some old clips at a FF14 house tour and the newest update for Monster Hunter. What a fantastic day. Holy shit, I love that for you, Freelance. Well done. Congrats on the two years. <laughs> Happy birthday and happy stream anniversary! Well done. We're proud of you. That sounds like a kick-ass stream. Lazzy loves everything, though. She's such a wonderful soul. She is, truly. It's got to be a game I can play on mute so I can keep watching stream. Ah. Yes, congrats and happy birthday. Happy. I. There's something I have to do for every birthday. Oh, fuck. Happy birthday, Freelance! Woo! My brain got a little swish around, didn't it? I got swished around. Woo! Uh, you ever try peeps jousting two people? Each gets a peep. Each Give each peep a toothpick and put them in the microwave. The peeps expand until one gets speared on the toothpick and explodes. Elmac, I need to do that. That sounds incredible. <laughs> Genshin. You'll use any excuse to play this song. Yes, I will! Okay, I think I'm going to do Trivia Murder Party because um, this is stressing me out. I'm not saying we won't ever do it. Sinery, I would love to do this another day. This is just stressing me out a little bit for today. So I think I'm just going to do Trivia Murder Party for today. Your Midwest is showing. <laughs> Can I play as a pretty woman? That is my only stipulation when it comes to playing a game. Can I play as a pretty woman? Yes or no? All right. Let's get this going, shall we? Y'all want to play some trivia murder party? If not woman, no play. Only play if woman. I don't own Yakuza and I have 450 spending limit. Spending, speeding ticket. Spade, why were you speeding? Were you late? <laughs> Zips up, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's do some, let's do some trivia, shall we? 3D waifus and husbandos are culturally important. It's for the culture, y'all. Ooh, another good song. Um, I'm just gonna stay in just chatting. My nightmare road trip. Oh, oh, I think we're actually gonna need the audio for this one though. Cause I feel like this one's weird without audio. Trivia murder party. I was curious thinking it was a cover. So I Googled who originally sang See You Again and was Khalifa's literally every result that popped up. Yeah, her version, Miley's version is from like when she was still trying to become not Hannah Montana. So it's still kind of in the Hannah Montana era. So people don't recognize it as like an actual Miley song, but it is, it is. Have you ever played Gone Home? Wait, that sounds familiar, Spade. What is that? Benedictine monk music, like Gregorian chant. Oh, Ichiban Kasuga has a pretty woman inside of him. I believe it. I believe it. Okay. Okay, there's gonna be another code for you, team. Laws, do you, would you like to play? Would you like to play some um, trivia murder party? It's spooky. It's a little indie game that's super gay and adorable and it'll make you sob. That sounds really familiar. Okay, Laws, here is the code. What is it? We got this nice music in our left ear. So uh, in order for you guys to join this game, all you have to do is go to jackbox.tv 
and I will give you a code momentarily that allows you to enter in. Now this game is trivia murder party. So essentially you're just asked multiple choice questions and you try to answer them to the best of your ability. It's just random trivia. Yeah, I don't know why, but this is like in my left ear. The music is only in my left ear. Is it not in your left ear? It's in my right ear. It's right. Are my headphones fucked up? This is why in video games, I'm always looking for enemies over here and they're over there. My headphones are jank. It did work, Laws, you're in here. Okay. No, they're the, they're the, it's the right way, I swear. I have them incorrectly. Okay, here's the code, my friends. It's gonna be in the chat. No, I swear it's going the right way, I swear. Gone Home is that super walking sim that got pushed everywhere because the creators knew everyone in the industry. You play as this girl getting home from a semester abroad and no one is home and her sister has left her a note saying not to look for her and you have to go find pages from her journal. Oh boy. Am I gonna cry? Should I do it on stream? It's 40% off on Steam right now. Got it free from Twitch Prime. Oh, nice. My ears are installed backwards. Okay, uh, I think we have a full lobby already, if I'm not mistaken. Great stream game, but it's, oh, it's only like an hour long. Oh shit. Am I gonna cry though? Be honest with me, will I cry? Full lobby, excelente. All right, everybody's in. Let's do it team. You can join the audience and from the audience, you can place bets, I believe, on who you think is going to win. I'm gonna sob, oh good. So it should be at the end of a stream. So when I'm a mess, I can just leave. The speed run is 12 seconds. God damn. You cried about snakes the other day. They don't have arms. I spent an hour on this. Not a full AAA title, of course. Okay. So having like realistic expectations. Sounds good. Yes. Freelance, thank you again for the raid. Happy birthday. Congrats on the stream anniversary. You go get yourself some snackos. You deserve it, my friend. Well done. Have you considered you have your left and right confused? Maybe. <laughs> you're Deborah, Nall. You're Deborah. Yeah, the audience can win as well. So if you want to join as the audience, please feel free. First question. Which of these Rock and Roll Hall of Famers were inducted the latest? The latest. Bob Dylan, the Beach Boys, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones. That means you weirdos in the audience too. Yes, you you uh, audience weirdos can vote too. Time to run out. Hey, my guy looks like me. I'm a little green dude. I'm just a little weird green and dude. The answer is, who got the question right? Yikes. The rest of you, come with me. Could have a small game night as in several short games in a row. To room Ooh, that's a good idea. Like an indie showcase, do like okay, a bunch of them. This one is more of an experience. Gifts? One person's family heirloom is another person's punishment. What, Get choose a gift? Okay. Inside. Choose wisely <laughs> or randomly. Oh. I wish I had real snacks, but I only have candy. What candy do you have? Ah, crap. It's my dad's old hat. Just know this, dad. There's no way I'm gonna let you survive this game. That's not a threat. That's a promise. You have a fedora! <laughs> who, will who will die? Maybe the audience. Hey, audience. Good luck out there. <gasps> Milady? Oh my god, everybody point and la laugh. Weeb's got on a fedora. Milady? He can't help it. Weeb can't help it. All of a sudden, Milady? As a professional series, just comes player, out. Environment is a real concern of mine, as you might imagine. Bearing that in mind, which of my murder weapons would take the longest to naturally biodegrade? Huh. My leather strangling gloves, my aluminum bat, my nylon noose, my jagged shard of glass.
That's a good one. That's a good question. I like that one. That's fun. I have random stuff from Easter. Do you have a do you have a big chocolate yes. bunny? The rest of you. And I see you in there, father. I want to show you something. I see you in there, father. He's calling you daddy, weeb. I think he's flirting with you. Let's play with spooky dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the okay. player with the lowest score. But go over you can't go over 21. I love you, son. Forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. You can't go over 21. It's kind of spooky to see skulls on dice. <laughs> How do I keep rolling ones, dude? Ooh, oh no! Explosions really are the best I kept rolling ones, dude. I rolled so many ones. Penis, shit, tits, little buttholes, tiny little cucumbers. Doesn't mean you have to drop out. Glass going, takes millennia to degrade. I don't think I knew that. I gotta roll better. I got a skill issue, dude. Skill issue. Let's try We've again. living life on the edge. Homemade chocolate chip cookies and milk? Yum! That sounds delicious. What color were Dorothy's slippers in the original novel? Oh, that's such a good one. That's so good. You can get rezzed. You can still win, Waz. You can still win, even if you die. You can come back later. Fuck! I thought it was gold. I knew it wasn't Ruby. I thought they were gold. Roger Federer. I thought gold as well. Oh, chalices! Safe player, a poison pellet. Pick a chalice to drop your poison. If I get poisoned by laws, that's gonna be so romantic. The alliteration. I knew the answer. I just didn't want to spoil it. But what about? Oh, the silver slippers. Oh, the alliteration. That's beautiful. If you want to survive, I'd pick a cup with no poison. <laughs> Yummy. Now let's see what everyone drank. No! It's refreshing and toxic. Frick. Frick. Is that the one you put it in, Loss? Did you put it in the first because one? The unassuming looking one? That has to leave the game. You have a will on your controller right now, and you have a few seconds to leave it to someone who really deserves it. But you, you have to give fast. somebody the gift of the fedora. You have to bestow it upon someone. I tried to pick the most boring looking one. I did. Don't worry. Y'all both poison me. I swear. Dies, they can fill out a will. It says they left their gift to you. <gasps> Cactus! Uh, it was Null. I poisoned big boy. Cactus Queen, you get the fedora. You have to do the obligatory milady. Milady. Next question. Hard to see in black and white. Ah, that makes sense. What character did author Beatrix Potter create? What? Almost out of time. <laughs> Who picked this? Sheesh! I'm so proud of myself for that one. Just because I can, my father. <laughs> it's time. Cactus Queen, you got brought into this and for what? My first correct guess was Hopefully guessing Darian would die this round. ASP. You just knew Check it. You sensed it. Fits this category. <gasps> Everyone else will answer too. One of the Maybe 12 astrological signs of the Zodiac. Oh, oh, this is fun. This is fun. Who do I think? Okay, 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 okay. Any potential mind readers. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I thought for Wizard of Oz, I knew that they did it in red because it was like Technicolor. So I thought that was the reason. And I thought, you know, what would be the best would be gold, right? But it was silver. That makes sense. Now, Your daddy, Cactus Queen. Matches. Your daddy. If you get your mind red, you get your mind dead. Wow. Oh, hello, Ash. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. R.I.P. Basically, we wanted to pick uh, an astrological sign that would be the same as one of the people who was still alive to try and pick the same one. And if you did, then they would die. Glad to see you're the, one to make the original set for the Adams Family was pink. Yes, I love the photos of that set. Oh my God, we're already at the end. Good to see you, Ash. I'm doing well. I hope you are too, my friend. Tap each answer that fits the category. And this is anybody's switch. game. Anybody can win from this point on. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space Why did everyone dead? Answer. I don't know. Well, you would have moved closer to the exit if you'd gotten any of those right. Oh, wait. Did you think it was going to be just you? So anybody can win at this point. It can be anybody's game. And there are certain answers that only those who have died can pick. So we get a little bit of an advantage. No, could win it all. Coexisted with dinosaurs. Girl, I don't know what the hell these are. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, we're coming for you. We're coming for you, Null. I have no food in my house. I'm going to starve. Can you order some, Skluggable? Types of lumber. Get them, boys. All right, the ghosts are coming for you. I hope I'm shaking. You got this, Null. You got this. You got to be on your A Aesop's game right fables. now. Aesop's Fables. You're doing great, Nal. You're killing it. Nothing's open except for Wawa and Sheath. I shouldn't order food. But you don't have anything. You just have candy. That's That sucks when all you have is candy. You're like, I want actual uh -oh. snackos. The four matched. Oh, I killed one another. Gotcha. Meow. Hello, Pajamo. Melissa, Melissa McCarthy Parker movies. Is. This was made for me. Time is almost up. Yeah, she wasn't in any of those, dude. Oh, Laws is coming for you. Laws is coming. Vitamins. That was a trick. An option. Yeah, you don't have to press any of them if you don't want to. You ran out of peanut butter the other day. I have bread, but nothing to put on it. You don't even have cheese. You could have cheese bread. Someone killed the audience. <gasps> How could you? Books in L. Frank Baum's Oz series. I don't know. You have hummus. Let's fucking go. You're still winning, Null. Grill that cheese, baby. Oh, oh! Cactus is right there. Here comes the next question. Food named after people. Fit the genie. Fit the genie. <gasps> wow. Hollandaise was not named after someone? That's a surprise. Wow. Oh my god, it's so close! It's so close! Former British colonies. <laughs> Australia, looking at you. Former? Ayo? Probably named after a place. Oh! Oh, Lost takes the lead! Oh shit, it comes down to this! For your final it comes down to this. Countries bordering the Indian Ocean. I'm so bad at geography. I'm bad at math. You have to get all the right answers to escape. You have to get all the right answers to escape. Oh! <gasps> Yoinked! 
Yoinked at the last second by Shen. You have to get all of the right answers to, to win at the end. I didn't realize that. You got yoinked at the very last moment. Well done, Shen. Well done. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Let's see, how did we all die? Victim of ESP, Cactus Queen, Null, Stolen Spirit, Lazi, Rolled Bad, Ripperoni, D D happens all the time. Uh, your friend Cinnery, mind meld accident, dairy, an unhealthy amount of poison, that'd do it. Uh, Pleb, picked an obvious answer. <laughs> Weeb, unhealthy amount of poison, yep, mm-hmm, you didn't have to copy me. Audience, could not escape in time. You just, you rolled a one. You rolled a one, a nat, a nat one. You were teased with hope. Well done, team. You guys want to go again? You want to do another round? I, yeah, in the future, I got to drink healthy amounts of poison. Healthy amounts only. Um, question. Does anyone else want to join? Or should we just do a reboot of the same characters? I will leave so somebody else can play. Do other people want to play? Other people waiting to play? Do I get to keep my daddy hat? Yes, you do. Aw, you guys are so nice. You lovely humans. I'll leave. Okay. Uh, let's do new players. And y'all might be able to rejoin again. Let's see. We'll just we'll just see if anybody else wants to join in. I appreciate you guys letting others uh sub in. Basic arithmetic, my one weakness. Snacking too hard to participate? Absolutely. You enjoy your snackos. Oh my god, fresh made chocolate chip cookies right now? That is the code. So you go to jackbox.tv in your browser. You can do it on your phone, you can do it on your computer. And all you have to do is enter in that four letter code to get put into the lobby. That's all you gotta do. And you do have to link your Twitch account as well. We have five slots left how is Sagittarius the obvious answer I thought of Sagittarius first but then I put Leo because of course self-centered Leo naturally my one weakness you can link twitch by clicking the hamburger menu hamburger I thought Sagittarius gets forgotten I think it's deceptive in that way it's deceptive. Hamburger. hamburger. Um, I think most people would forget about it, but I think if you know astrology, that's just like a very generic, like Sagittarius. Burger. We currently have four slots open. So if nobody wants to, if no new people want to join, then we can get people from the last round to come back in. We got two more slots open. First come, first serve. I tried to cheat and enter a Chinese zodiac sign. Did it not let you? I'm bad at trivia murder party and I'm mid hummus. Oh, you got some hummus, bro. Some crackers and hummus. Let's fucking go. Most people don't have Twitch linked. I think people from the previous game should be good to join. It blocked you. Wow. Get in there. Two more slots. This is open to everybody. Nobody likes Capricorn. Oh, I like Capricorn. I think that one is forgotten. I think Capricorn is more forgotten than Sagittarius for sure. Capricorn people are like listing off the different zodiac signs and they're like, I'm missing one. What is it? Capricorn. Is it like candy corn? It's delicious. Going once, going twice. Two slots open. All right, one slot open. I tried to put Fox and the host called me dumb. Wow, you got called out. My bestie is a Capricorn. Loss is a Capricorn. We love Capricorns in this house. You're a Capricorn too? Let's fucking go. One slot left. This is open to anybody if you want to join, even if you were in the last round. Get your little booties in here. There is an open slot. Laws is in here, don't you worry. She's in. We have Cinnery, Pleb, Elmac, John, Laws, and Shen. 
Want another personality test and compare it against my sign? All right, we got Cactus Queen. Perfect. All right, let's do it, team. You ready? Let's do it to a... Open slot was my nickname in college. <laughs> Capricorn and Sagittarius are the ones that don't immediately give away what they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Leo is a lion. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You can still join as the audience if you would like as well. You can place bets. I'm going to skip the opening. Hi, Bubbles. How are you? Welcome in, Bubbles. Great to have you. I hope your Friday is going swell. It's freaking Friday, dudes. Welcome Are y'all so hyped? My bestie being a Sag and a Capricorn? Yes! Libra is forgotten as well, I think, for sure. Only one of you will survive. Okay, first question. You signed up for health insurance today. Wow, I'm so proud of you. That's awesome. Which superhero is and not royalty? Oh, that's a good one. Laying down for the night? Oh, Bubbles, I hope you get some wonderful rest, my friend. Get some fabulous, fabulous rest. I hope you have a wonderful weekend with lots of rest and relaxation. Did we all get that one? How to get my own because I turned 26? How expensive Which is it? Is it bad? City. Which of these is a country's capital city? Time's running out. Who picked this? Wow! We all we messed that one up, didn't we? Time for consequences. Hoo wee! Housekeeping. We're at room I thought I chose poorly. No, you were the only one that did it right. That's it's Istan. Bullshit. Oh, not pegs. Not pegs. Is Istanbul not the capital of Turkey? I thought so. I thought so as well. Thank you for the hydrate, Ash. Cheers. Chat gets pegged, not clickbait. Okay. Yeah, Bubbles, this is Jackbox. This is a uh, trivia murder party. Pick a spot to drop from. Are we all safe? This was a lot harder to build than you guessed. Yes! 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 Well, Let's go! Right? Let's go! We all won. Yay! Everybody wins. Do you think we could all win? Maybe the winner is the friends we made along the way. I get it through work, so I'm paying $85 a paycheck, but it's actually good coverage. My deductible is only $500. That's pretty good. That's awesome. Yep, turning, what's well, 26, right, when you have to get your own insurance? This is a shot in the dark. Bitch, I don't know. This, I, what? I never watched this show. I love Orphan Black. Is it good? Should we watch? This. <laughs> the rest of you. I pain. love it. I always think of the movie Orphan. Sure. With like the little girl who ends up being like a full grown adult. Uh, the lost art of letter writing. Dictation. <gasps> oh! I'm going to dictate a message to you. I'm going to turn up the volume. As much of what I say as you can. The player who writes the fewest of my words. You have to write down die. what he says. Okay, let me lean back in this chair and get my feet up. And we begin. Dear guests, while I appreciate you wiping down the exercise equipment after use, please refrain from doing so as I am currently trying to collect 
those fluids. Thanks for your cooperation. Mondays, am I right? Time's up. Now let me just see what we have here with the um, quick And what's the result? Well, <laughs> oh no! That was That's so not even hard. Close to what I said. <clears throat> that was hard. Uh, that was so difficult. That was a challenge. I struggled with that one. <laughs> Hi, Kai. I know, right? It sounds like I was talking with my voice effect. Hello, it is me. And you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. It's so cool and really shows off the actress's talent. You'd love it as it's sometimes a little gay. Sign me up. If it's a little gay, Let's sign me up. You get executed by Obama himself. Fire. I'm on, I think I'm on state health insurance. Species of sunflower? Jerusalem artichoke? That's so specific. It's literally me. It's literally me. How are you, Kai? It's good to see you. This. It's too specific, dude. They wouldn't put it in there unless it was the right the answer. That is answering Holy test questions 101. If there is an answer that is way too specific, that is always the right answer. Or it's always C. Congrats. Those are the two things. In my scratch ticket giveaway. Oh, it's Scratcher. Dollar signs to live. Guess who will if die and win a hundred bucks? I'll give you cash for every dollar sign you find. But if you scratch off even one skull, you die. I've guessed. Get the way we tie health insurance to employment in the U.S. is one of the biggest scams we've played on the population. Big agree. Big agree. Ooh, wouldn't it feel good yeah. The health insurance spots? as a whole is just wowza. What a dump of money. Someone's definitely dying. Hundo P. Oh, we got three deaths already. Four deaths. The contest is almost over. You got your Gengar squish? The squish! Oh heck yes. If you have a losing ticket, come with me. The first one? Oh, Cinnery, that was bad luck. The very first one. My same reaction to exactly. It's, it's it was too specific. I'm good, Kai. I'm good. I did some fun makeup today. I did like a sunset on my makeup. And I feel like it's when very cute. Alive, it's very cute. <gasps> oh, it's just me. Wait, me and Laws are the only ones alive. Shit tits. Little buttholes. Tiny little cucumbers that just look weird. Hate them pickles. I'm so angry. This. Oh my god, my guessing skills are on point today. It's time. She's cultured. She took music 101 when she was in college. She a hundred percent guessed. Oh, I love this one. I love this one. We have to do all the math we can. We have to do all the math we can. Okay, Laws, you gotta get in the zone. Let's go. So Americans say math, but the British say mass. Oh, I That's fucked it weird, up. Right? Yeah, why do you guys say maths plural? What's the deal with that? Hurry up and finish your math. Oh my god, Pleb, you're a fucking maniac. 18? Are you kidding? Are you serious? Girl, that was mean. I know. That was mean. That was. That was ruthless. It's simple maths, love. Why y'all call it maths? Why do you make it plural? You've made it so far, but can you escape? But can I escape? Only I'm I could escape. Names for Santa Claus from around the world. Excuse me? No fucking way. Answers. No way. You would 
advance one space for every correct answer. Senor Blanco is not an answer. There is not sufficient disk space to continue recording. Thank you. I ran out of disk space just now. No, 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 I'm winning. No, 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 I'm winning. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And they get a third chance to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Nice. You guys better not. You better not. You better stay away. You stay away from me. You ghost, you stay away from me. Kanye West albums. How did I know that more? Your palette, what a legend. I need the eyebrow tea. I, I swear, all I do for eyebrows is a little bit of eyebrow powder and a little bit of like a clear gel and you're good to go. Very simple, very minimal. Born in South Africa. I don't know. Decide on Outer Worlds because I'm still playing through the new update version for the first time. <gasps> a new entire side quest and science weapon on Gorgon. No way. Hell yeah. Hi, Goon. How are you? Let's Welcome in. <laughs> Y'all better stay away from me, you ghosts. Are you afraid of you better stay away from me. Lines from Liam Neeson's speech and take it. Time is almost up. Get off my plane. I can tell you I don't have money. He says that? <gasps> no, you stay away. You stay away from me, ghost. Geologic time, time period. Uh, I took geology, by the way. It's mathematics, love. Oh my god, I love that picture. It's mathematics, love. I can hear it in her in her accent. But what I do have is a particular so set of skills. I don't know. I don't know. They added day night cycles and weather and raised level cap to 99. No, Spade, I haven't. When did they do that? Did the audience die? <gasps> don't look back because there's a ghost right Shen? There. You better keep you better keep your fish but away from me. Butterfly, Butterfly life, life cycle stages. <laughs> I don't know. There's a ghost. There's a ghost chasing me. Oh, I'm so scared. I have to get all of the answers right. Perfect answer. Okay. Give me a question about balls. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sure. You have to get all the right what? answers to escape. I did! I did! What do you mean? Tons oh, my God. Oh 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 my god. No! GG's. GG's. GG! That was so stressful. You could you could feel it. It was tangible. Well done, Cactus Queen. Well done. Clap clap. Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. I missed out on the two girls one mayo. What exactly happened? It was a wild time, goon. I can't even verbally explain to you what happened with the two girls one mayonnaise. It was a wild time. Right? The end gets so stressful. It was in March. They had next gen support. Oh, <gasps> yo, I'll have to check it out. Big celestial balls. Moons are balls when you think about it. You and Lazi get to stay dead, stay dead together. Nice consolation prize. Aw, it's kind of romantic. If it was for Papa Cactus knowing Jupiter's moons, I'd have died. Aw, that's so cute. Bum, bum. They're so full though, I'm jelly. I literally brush my eyebrows to make them grow more. I have always had these big old bushy eyebrows and I've learned to embrace them. 
For the longest time, I was like, I don't have small, thin eyebrows, but now, now I love them. I embrace them. It gave me considerable pause when choosing who to raid. Chat, it was said in chat, and I was like, I have to. Now I just have to make that my title. It's perfect. Could swear chrysalis is what the butterfly is in, but it's the pupil state. I think the researchers are wrong and I'm right. I think so, Shen. Buy the whole damn game again, BS. I know, $10 upgrade is feasible, but the whole game again, absolutely not. He taught me so many times, it stuck in my brain. I love that so much. Chrysalis and pupil. I'll, eyebrows to keep the forehead warm. Exactly. My quote became a stream title. It's a mark on the bingo card. Let's go. Yeah, thicker eyebrows, I think, are making, they're making a comeback. Pupa? Pupil. Pupa. Gave me considerable pause. Time, my worst enemy. Yeah, the upgraded outer worlds. I'll need to play it. Does the next gen update, does that, is that just automatic to PC or do you have to pl uh, pay an upgrade? Pupil? Pupa? At work one time, a project manager decided to name our project after a planet and then name each phase after the planet's moons. And as soon as he left, we fucking abandoned that naming scheme because holy shit, nobody could pronounce the names. Did y'all know, is it Pluto? There is a planet, I think it's Pluto. And one of the moons is called Karen. It's very funny. They suit you? Oh, why, thank you. Was that me and surrounded in a room of old men? Ew. Ew. I think I died because I scratched too much. Oh, yeah, you did keep scratching. You were trying to go for the big payout. You got to pay the upgrade. The textures are noticeably better. Ah, when they talk, they have the Moon Man mask on the jaw moves. No way. The jaw moves. That would have been such... That would have been such good content. Oh, this music is kind of jammy. It's pronounced like Sharon. It's pronounced Karon. Karin. It used to pull off the notch in the eyebrow look, and I just looked. I lost... I look like I lost a fight to a door frame. Yes, the little the little slits in the eyebrows. It's always a look. It's always hot. Yes, Pluto will be a planet in my heart forever, forever and ever. Unique animations and conversations. Damn, I'm gonna have to go back to it. I only scratched two. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I was killed by a friend. Elmac couldn't stop scratching. It makes it sound like you had like a rash. Laws, math problem. Shen revealed a skull. John scratcher disaster. Pleb couldn't stop scratching. There was a there was a bit of a, an issue with the scratching. Cinnery scratched a skull. Oh, audience could not escape in time. Y'all got rashes. My goodness. I died from a math problem. It's the way it should have been. You know, math is scary. It's relatable. Minor polish stuff that had to get cut for a time in the original release. That's so cool. I'll have to check it out. Had an eyebrow slit. No, I'm growing out my now I'm growing out my eyebrows. So I'm just a little silly little goose with a tiny eyebrow comb doing my best. Now I lay my yeah, nobody thinks of like the regrowth period, right? Like if you do like an undercut or like if you shave like a side of your head and then it has to grow back out. And then you have hair that's like this long. That's the only reason why I didn't get an undercut. Otherwise, I absolutely would have. I'm sorry for murdering you with math laws. Yeah, say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. Quadratics. Pluto has six moons. Moons. Karen, Nyx, Hydra, Cerberus, Styx, and Triton. Those are cool names. I like those. Oh, the thin brow era of the early 2010s. Yeah, eyebrows take a long time to grow back, don't they? I've always been afraid to overpluck mine. But I will say, when I was in, don't do what I did. When I was in middle school, I didn't like the idea of plucking my eyebrows. So I took my razor that I used, you know, for shaving the legs. And I just shaved right down the middle. Let me tell you, that's not a good strategy. Not a good strategy. Don't do that. 
This sounds like a level in Hades. Exactly. Just straight up shaved mine off and drew them on, drew them uh, on every every day, never again. That's such an enormous amount of work to draw them on every day. I know some people just like regularly do it. That's wild to me. Literally, I had a five o'clock eyebrow shadow. Do not do that. Don't ever do that. But I've had times in my life where my eyebrows started like here. Because the shaver was so wide, I would just... Brrr. They were never twins. They were cousins. They were distant cousins. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. It was not good. It was not good. But, you know, we grew out of it. And the hair grew back. Thankfully, it grew back. So we're good. Only shaved my eyebrows once or twice. They grew back fast. Oh, really? Pluto is the Roman version of Hades. Ah. Karen is more a companion planet than moon because Karen and Pluto both orbit the same point in space. They have a specific type of gravity, right? It's like an orbital gravity thing where like, Instead of them spinning individually around each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, this is how they orbit. They always see the same side of each other. Which is actually so cute. It's actually so sweet. And I love it. It's so cute. They're always looking at the same face of each other. <laughs> I love them. One time I did have a woman wax my eyebrows and it lasted like three weeks. I looked damn fine. I have... Oh my God, can't be tamed, bitch. I've never gotten my eyes waxed or threaded or anything professionally done. It's always scared me. The eternal prom dates, they're so in love. Stop grabbing the planets like their butts. I do a little squeeze, a little squish. It's my brows, they're distant cousins, twice removed. Gay rocks, gay rocks. Tidally locked, yes, yes, yes. Which is the same with our moon. I love that. Yeah, the other night, Laws and I watched this video about Pluto and the last photos that we'll ever have of Pluto that we got from a satellite that was launched. And it took forever to get out there. And then it just kept going. It's still out there in deep space. And we probably won't be sending off another satellite to see Pluto ever again because it's not a planet anymore. Which is so sad. So very sad. But it was an interesting video. If I could find it, I might put it in the disky. It's a good video. In my Starfinder game, I have a planet that's too hot to live on, but it's tidally locked to both the sun and its moon. So there's a constant eclipse and the shadow of the moon is a massive city that just ends abruptly at the edge of the shadow. Oh, I love that. Gay rocks. Yeah, I really like that spade. That's cool. The founding member of the Kuiper Belt. Uranus still deserves attention. Let's send a satellite that way. We need to learn more about Uranus. Yeah, I haven't heard much about Starfinder. Pluto went from undiscovered to a planet to no longer a planet in less time than it took to orbit the sun. Am I thinking of dyeing my hair a crazy color anytime soon? No, I'm protecting the hair. I'm resisting the urge. I have thought about it. I have thought about it, but I'm resisting. I'm going to be blonde for a little while. We're gonna nurse the hair. It's just finally starting to get back to where it's like kind of looking healthy again. You still have, I literally still have a chunk of where my hair broke off. If you see right here, see how this is shorter? My hair literally like broke. It was that damaged. So we're still growing her back out, but we'll be blonde for a minute. Jupiter Stan, Jupiter's a good one. Saturn is my fave. Blonde looks so amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Laws. Thanks. Y'all ever heard of the Sombrero Galaxy? That sounds adorable. Yes, we're, we're in the healing stage with the hair. We're in the healing stage. We sure are. Um, let's see here, friends. Mm, mm, mm. Well, we have approached our sixth hour of stream. So we're probably going to wrap up for the evening. But if you are new here, and you've just been hanging out. You've been vibing. Don't forget to drop a follow so you can see when I go live. We have anonymous followers on, so I can't even see who you are. Um, if you, for some reason, want more of me, I am on all of the socials. I am very daring on all of the socials. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. We have a Discord server. All of that fun stuff. 
Don't dye your gorgeous hair. I'd be heartbroken if you perma damaged it. I know I have to protect her now. She's definitely got to get protected now. Thank you guys so much for hanging. Thank you for the support today. Um, thank you for the love. Thank you for the subbies, for the biddies, for the follows, for the raids. Thank you all very, very much. I appreciate you for being here. I know today was a little unorthodox and it was a little unusual with the makeup stream, but thank you guys for supporting me nonetheless. Even if you just lurked, thank you very, very much. Thank you for hanging. I appreciate you. The natural red hair. Yeah, so blonde is my natural. I have it lightened a little bit, but this is mostly my natural. Yes, so next week, my friends, we'll be playing, Monday we're playing Cult of the Lamb because there's a huge oh. DLC for Cult of the Lamb that's getting released on Monday. So we're gonna be playing Cult of the Lamb on Monday, Ocarina of Time Tuesday. Thursday will be Fallout 4, um, randomizer in front page. Thursday is front page. I would love for you guys to be here for the front page segment. It's also a charity stream, so I would love for you guys to come hang out and support the cause. Um, and then Friday will probably be Ocarina of Time, so we can get two Ocarina streams in next week. Next week is also Squuggable's Smoke birthday. Weed every day. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, Cult of the Lamb. We haven't played it in a while. I'm actually super stoked because I really like Cult of the Lamb. And I know you guys get to like participate as well, so it's fun. Uh, so it'll be, I'm basically gonna spend this weekend with Duck modding Fallout 4 to to oblivion, not to the game oblivion, but modding it into oblivion. You know what I mean? Just attacking it with so many, so many mods, silly mods. It's gonna be unrecognizable. Is Nixon coming back? Maybe, maybe. Oblivion and Fallout 4? Um, so yes, it's gonna be a good stream. It's gonna be very fun. I'm gonna come up with ways that you guys can interact with the game. I had some help from Cage. So if you've enjoyed any of Cage's fun, interactive Fallout 4 chaos streams, it's gonna be that kind of vibe. So make sure you come hang out. It'll be very, very fun. Yeah, so don't forget, front page is next Thursday as well as it is a charity stream as well. So let's see who be streaming, who we want to raid. Oh. Let's see, how long has Bestie been live? Oh, they might be ending soon. Let's see. We have a few options for raid destinations today, my beautiful dear friends. We have some options. Mm. Y'all, and a very great charity. It's We're raising money for pancreatic cancer research. So it's a very deserving cause. Thank you, Kai. Thank you, John. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I have not played Link's Awakening, but I'd be down to give it a try. I've also been told multiple times that I should try A Link to the Past. So I might give that a try as well. All right, friends. I would love to raid my dear friend Coral, who has been streaming for seven and a half hours doing a DJ stream. I wanna support Coral. Coral came on over, I believe it was, was it yesterday? And so I wanna show the love. I wanna show big love to Coral. So let's bring some hype and some fantastic energy. Queer Venture Time is the username. Coral is doing a bit of a, a fun little DJ stream. So let's bring the hype, bring the love, be kind, be respectful, be lovely as you always are, my dear friends. Thank you so very much for the stream. We brought the mayo. <laughs> Fabulous, wonderful. There it is, we brought the mayo. There's your raid message, my lovely friends. I'll be back on Monday for some ocarina, or no, for some cult of the lamb. All right, thank you guys so very much for the stream. I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care of yourselves. Monday is cult, yes. Monday is cult of the lamb, Tuesday is ocarina of time, Thursday is charity stream, and Friday will be another ocarina of time. Smoke weed. All right, bye, babe. See you later. It's not taking me to the raid here. I'll give you guys the link. If you need the link, here is the link. This is where we're going. Let's bring some fabulous energy on over to Coral, okay? All right, love you, babes. Bye. Love you. Bye. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Be hydrated. Be well. Bye. Oh my God. Did it not work? Oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> 
the raid has been canceled. Shit. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Join back. Join back. We're going. It's fine. <laughs> Darian used to unrage. Shit. Okay, no, we're going. We're going. Thank you for the fart, Dom. We brought the mail. Okay, see you guys later. Okay, love you. 